Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Hopping off with chocolate. Thailand, yeah, definitely. Favourite place I've been. David Beckham. No, 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 no. Never, 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 never. I, I don't get why people want to warm up pineapple. I will survive. <laughs> as long as I know how to love and know I'll stay alive. <laughs> yeah, people never paid me to sing. <laughs> Breaking Bad. Biscuit. Well, a lot of people don't agree with that, do they? But I'd say biscuit. I can juggle. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Makes it look like I can't juggle. Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P and P. Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Hello, good afternoon. How are you all? Welcome to Hobby Maker. It's the afternoon already. It's one o'clock on a Sunday. This is sitting down time now. Hopefully you've done your cooking, your cleaning, whatever you need to do this morning. You've had a potter in the garden. My husband's been very, I have to give my husband a shout out. He's been out in the fr front garden this morning. He was out there about half past eight. I'm like, just be quiet. Uh, so he's been doing all the membrane on the front, getting some of the tops on. All the membrane, he's put all the, all the stones down. Membrane, you don't like that word, cat. <laughs> all the stones down and it's all it's nearly finished so husband i love you he's like that i'm broken i'm like go and sit down now sit down take the weight off and uh, don't get up till you've got to make until you've got to make me dinner later on uh watch hobby maker right we have a fabulous show for you the crew is ready to go we've got the fabulous adam directing we've got the cat the cat producing she's back look who's back da -da -da. cat the cat and we've got the gorgeous crew out here ready to go for you today there's andy there's Andy. What's Ellie doing? Ellie off the telly. She's getting things organised. That's what she does, Ellie, on the telly. She's amazing. And I am joined for this first hour, third hour, and the 5pm hour by the fabulous Jan Brown from Crafters Companion. It's lovely to have you back with us. It's lovely to be back, Ruth, honestly. And it's yes, been we've a got while. a bit of a secret that I think's out of the bag now, isn't like, it? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I think the Christmas tree might I have done I think we might it. have let it out of the bag, yeah, because yeah. it's really, really strange <laughs> having a Christmas tree up and we're not even at the end of June yet. So, I know. Uh, it's the end, yeah, it's just isn't getting it? the head in gear. But yeah, we've got a fabulous, well, fabulous yeah, shows, geez. plural, lined up for yeah. us. For it's, the like, it's like the yep. pre show, pre Christmas pre show. Yes. Because it's all kind of kicking off on Tuesday. And we thought, do you know what? We'll have a bit of that on a Sunday. Because Jan and I haven't worked together for ages. Have we only done one show? Um, I'm sure we've done... It feels like we've done more. No, I think we've done more than one. I think, yeah. I, I think, think we've done, done a couple. Yes. But it's been, it's been too I long. I know where I did my first one. My very first one was with you. But That's I think we've right. done one in between as well. And you yes. came back. I did come back. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we decided <laughs> to bring Christmas Christmas forward a little bit. Because it's kind of kicking off next week. And go absolutely wild in the aisles with some mega sale deals for you today. So if you are brand new to Hobby Maker, it's dead easy here. We're all lovely. All the cool centre have been fed and warm 
supported. You can do it in various different ways. You can either buy with us on the web or you can do it on the phone lines. And it's funny actually just talking today to different people. Some people are like, oh no, I don't want to get on the phone. Other people are like, oh no, no, I don't want to do it on the web. So two options. You can either go to hobbymaker.co.uk Register with us, it's dead easy. Top right, that's where you register or you log into your account. And you can shop till you drop, basically. Keep going all day, just click on watch live and watch the show. Everything from this show is there on pre-order and you can send us, there it is, and you can send us a message as well. So it's dead easy once you've logged in. So you can, are you, <laughs> are you spelling that out, Kat? Uh, she, she missed the happy off because it's going to be more than happy Christmas today. It's going to be a mega exciting, wonderful Christmas. Everything's loaded in. So if you see something you like the look of and think, oh my gosh, this is just what I need for Christmas. I've been looking for that particular stamp, that particular die, grab it. Because if we happen to take the price down even lower during the show, that's fine too. Your order will be consolidated at literally about a second before midnight. So you only pay the final low price, which is brilliant. You don't have to do anything. It all happens magically with our systems. And if you check out, you can come back later and check out again. Come back later and check out. But you only pay one set of PMP. So it's only £3.95 for the entire day. So if you choose to buy every single item from these five hours, one set of PMP. It's amazing, literally revolutionary. So you're getting used to that now with us here. We're very generous at Hobby Maker. So have a good look through because I don't want you missing out on anything because there are so many deals today, so many incredible Christmas crackers. I want you to get them home because there's some big ones. Now, if you are looking for an extra bargain this weekend, you might have noticed on our web if you've had a little look or maybe you get our emails that we're adding in a little opportunity for you to add a little extra sneaky discount code on there as well. Uh, so there was two different options. You can only use it once this weekend. So if you've used it Friday, you've already got that, which is great. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, you have the opportunity to use it. But if you haven't bought with us on Friday or Saturday, you can do it today. And all you need to do when you add to your order is add the code for you 15 and you get 50%, uh, 15, sorry, one five, not five zero. That'd be amazing. 15% uh, off your order. But what I'm going to say is controversial right now because we have another discount code, which is FRIEND15. Now, I'm not saying this. Don't come back to me. Um, but if you've used your 4 u 15 code on Friday, you can't use that again this weekend. I tried the FRIEND15 code today. I didn't say that. Don't bring the call saver and say, Ruth said. I'm just saying, try them. Try them and see. I genuinely genuinely don't know if you've used for you 15 and it's done you might try and find that the friend 15 doesn't work it might do i don't know but i would i, I like worth to the shot it's worth the it? shot it's worth the shot definitely. what's the worst that could happen it yeah. just says no computer, yeah. says, computer no. says no so <laughs> give it <laughs> give it a whirl because you've got an amazing amazing lineup today obviously we've got carol and Haley joining us at two o'clock with dreamies loads there as well but this hour this hour oh we're starting big I have never seen anything like this. If you've had a little look on our social media posts, I've just loaded something onto my uh, social media on Facebook as well at Ruth the Net Presenter about this, because it's, it's the biggest deal I've ever seen so far. Like epic. I know we've brought to you some amazing goodie bags, but this is on a different level. Now there's one word in here that is quite big and that's, well, it could be Christmas or it could be mystery, quite frankly. So I've got to keep a part of that mystery, the suspense, the intrigue alive but not all of it. I need to give you a bit of an idea because we're giving you the chance to own an epic crafter's companion Christmas mystery bag. This is bag one. That to me kind of infers that you never know what might happen down the line. If this is bag number one, I genuinely, again, have no idea, but let's see. So we're giving you a huge mystery goodie bag here, courtesy of crafter's companion. And oh my gosh, when they do goodie bags, when they do mystery bags like this, my word, do they, you have done a mystery bag and a half here. I can guarantee you over a hundred pounds worth in value. In fact, 101 pounds and 90 something pence to be a little bit more precise, but over a hundred pounds worth of value from this mystery bag. You're not gonna pay 101 pounds for it. You are gonna pay a very, very different, very exciting, very crazy price point for this. Um, you need to be on the phone lines now. I'm not going to show you all of this, all of these in here, in here, in here. I'm not going to show you all of that. I'm not going to show you that. They're all crafters companion. No peeking, Andy. They're all crafters companion items. 
What I am going to show you though, are just two of the potentials for your mystery Christmas bag. Now, these alone, phenomenal. You've got two incredible, incredible scenes here. Obviously setting the scene for Christmas as we, uh, as we know it. So first of all, I mean, you've got two fabulous ones here. These are big. So you've got your Christmas village, now, that Christmas Village is an eight-piece set on there. I mean, that is going to be so super handy anyway, isn't they it, are. Christmas? They're, yep. they're, they're all really nice things in there. We've not sort of gone through the corners of the warehouse and looked no. for the, the old bits. No. They are really nice sets in there, yeah. They're amazing. You've got your stamp and die set there. You've also got your beautiful baubles, which again is your stamp and die. They are so, so usable. These are going to be amazing. So just those two alone, so that's 18 pieces in your baubles, yep. eight on your village scene. Those together would be, a, you know, they would be a fair old price, wouldn't they, those two together? They both retail at £14.99 each, Ruth. Right, so, so £30. So pounds, pretty much. Basically. That's, that's the cost. Is that the cost? £30 you're looking at on those two. For those so two? that, straight yeah. away, yeah, great price. So and that's counting nothing else yeah. That's in my hand. I'm being a bit quick. I might show you one or two more a little bit later on. <laughs> you may tune in at three. But there's a lot in here as well. Remember, the value of the items together yeah. come to over a hundred pounds. There's thirty pounds just there. Yeah. And exactly what you said, Jan. It's not that we've kind of. It's not that someone's been sort of scraping around in the warehouse going, "What should we get rid of? Let's get rid of it." Let's no. Say, These are some prime really items. Nice things. Yeah. And like the reason we do this now is because obviously, you know, if we are a crafter, you're yeah. wanting to make for Christmas. So it sounds silly Absolutely. when we say Christmas in July, but we need that time to make totally. with. And these are perfect things to add to your... Uh, yeah. I, I, I never used to buy much for Christmas, to be honest, Ruth. Mm. I used to say, well, it's only once a year. But the amount that you make for Christmas totally. is much more so than you probably do throughout yeah. the year. So, yeah, once I understood that concept, all the Christmas yeah. bits started going in the basket then. And, so, it's, uh, and they're so generic. They you are, are going to use them year yep. after year after year. And Stephen, it does come back every year. Uh, Stephen said, afternoon, ladies, it's nice to start Christmas early. Well, it is because it's planning. And we know you've started your Christmas makes. If you've got any, by the way, do send them to us yep. uh, because we're starting Share Your Makes again today. If you've got any of your Christmas designs, send them through and we'll show them live on air at five o'clock. I'd love to see them because it's nice to get inspiration as well and to share all of our ideas. But we know you're making, we were talking to Hayley and Carol from Dreamies earlier on. Uh, and Carol was saying she's got a friend that's making a card every week already. Yeah. I think get, a lot of people have done that, yeah, just so that they yep. can get ahead of the game, yeah. Because it's busy at Christmas. We're busy and around December, November's busy. Some people send a lot of cards out, don't they? And I know yep. we've got ladies out there and gents that make for sort of charities and things exactly. like that. They make to sell. So yeah, the, there's yep. always the opportunity. And I, th I love that idea of making something each week so that come Christmas, you've got a real stash to sort of delve yeah, into. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's fab. So what price? Are we going to be looking at well this one 14.99 this is 14.99 so there's just you know, a couple of pence off 30. the rest of the mystery bundle how about if i said to you all of this with a value of over 101 pounds we're going to let you have for less than 50 pounds today christmas has i feel like we need like a proper little christmas we need a little jingle don't we a jingle a or a christmas jingle yeah. Like I'd be on a trumpet or like a... Right, no, that's not very Christmassy. We need some bells or something, don't we? Uh, but at 49 99 it's a huge... I mean, we've halved the price. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. And I, honestly, what you've got... This is what I have in my hand here, what I have on the desk. I will show you a couple more uh, across the day. Uh, but very much a great representation of what you're actually going to get. Yep. There might be an item or two that's slightly dissimilar. But generally, which is also really good to know for a mystery uh, bag, but generally, these are the items you're probably going to get, which is brilliant. So you've got over £100 saving here on this. And well done to Richard and Melanie and Jackie. Uh, we've got crafters in Sussex, Cornwall, Lancashire, Aberdeenshire, Kent. I always want to say Aberdeenshire, uh, Yorkshire, Yorkshire. Um, keep going on these because this might be a bundle for you, but think about the crafters around you. Maybe you've got friends that you know are away at the moment that might not be tuned in just yet. We don't have a limitless supply of these, obviously, uh, but we've got a nice quantity, not limitless, but maybe you know somebody who's out and about right now and you're thinking, oh, my friend Sandra would love this or my friend Karen would absolutely love to get this home. That in itself, this in itself is an amazing pre-Christmas present, to be fair. It's wonderful and you will use and use and use these. How about if I said to you now, that's not your price and we're not stopping at that today. Considering you're getting 
over £100 worth in value from these items already at half the price. That's outstanding. We are kicking off Christmas in style today. This is your pre-sale Christmas deals. What did we say the price of those two were? £30, £14.99 each. Do you love those? Clearly you do. That's why you're on the phone lines. If you absolutely adore those, and we're happy to pay £14.99 for those. You've got 18 pieces in that one, stamps and dies. Eight in that, cracking for £30. How about you pay for those? And Crafters Companion and Hobby Maker together, we give you those for free for free it's unbelievable we literally we have a hundred when i said you know we've got a nice quantity <laughs> but we're not limit 100 right I can, I can literally look at that in the corner of my eye right now i love it when we see your names on on big screen yeah. and it just sit, literally starts to light up we now have 40 of these in baskets what loads already thing? checked out uh, this is this is an incredible, incredible it steal, is. isn't it? It is. This is Sarah's way of saying thank you, to be honest, yeah. Ruth. She's really good with this. She puts Absolutely. a lot of her marketing budget into this kind of yeah. deal and literally puts the goods in there. It may give a brand new customer a chance to sort of try Crafters Companion exactly. goods, look at how well they work, look at what kind of job they do, and then that will then sort of encourage you to buy maybe extended selections and things like that. But, it, you know, there's all sorts. There's a mixture in there of stamps, of dyes, mm -hmm. embossing for folders you name it and it, I just think it's a lovely introduction to crafters companion if you're a new customer yeah. if you're already one of our customers or a hobby maker customer you know you, you just know what that good that quality is like and I just think these are great as well for crafty gifts totally. and I think you know secret Santa things like that that, that your friends don't know that you've only paid no for the equivalent of Absolutely two of them not you know so when they know they're yeah. going to know roughly the value of each of those things it's yeah it's it's so no so brainer, brilliant isn't and, it? As, and as you rightly said Sarah <laughs> does this in absolute soup style and it's it's, it's generosity on, on on your side and and well done to you for getting it by the way have you uh, used your 15% off discount code didn't even think about that mm. I mean that's going to make a that's, massive yeah. <laughs> massive difference again because you can take another 15% of what wow. well, 10% is £2.99 so again you, you're going to be paying just what a little bit over 25 pounds for all of this 25 pound 49 why do i feel i need it? to shrink <laughs> when i said that 25 my words so that that's means you're not crazy, even paying full price it? for those yep. then that's ridiculous isn't it i mean it is incredible I'm, i know we're kind of we're going to do this a little bit later on but uh, <clears throat> i didn't show you that christmas tree one either with 11 11 pieces that didn't show you that not paying for that that's great <laughs> Uh, sorry, I won't do any more until later. <laughs> I can't help. I'm very naughty. I can't help it because it's so blooming good. It's absolutely incredible at a price point like that at $29.99. Everybody diving in on this one, which I'm not surprised about. Hello, Sue. Sue said, sitting watching you both finishing Christmas cards, which I sell for the local lifeboat. Fabulous. Absolutely you see? Absolutely brilliant. Exactly. I, knew they'd be, I knew people would have started without yeah. us. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> well done. <laughs> It's such yep. a great idea. And that's so generous of you as well. That's lovely, Sue. A lot of people, as you said, Jan, make Christmas cards yep. for, for charity, obviously, they do. to raise yeah, money. And the money armed forces Christmas. and things like that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's wonderful. So it's nice to be able to give you a little bit of a gift to be able to gift on, actually. And don't forget, use your code TRY IT if you haven't tried it this weekend. For you, 15, so F O R Y O U, just in case, uh, 15. And if you've used that on Friday, Saturday, that's done. Uh, try Friend 15 might work it might not try that just just chucking it out there um, um my goodness me remember everything that you're getting in it i mean this is a big old mystery bag here should be coming into you the value of what i'm holding here is over a hundred pounds yep i mean what an incredible christmas cracker of a deal that is that is really lovely so what was that one i flashed that was your christmas tree uh, so that's your Christmas tree. That's a lovely one as well. Oh, you're going to have so much fun when you... you know, and that's... A, oh, it's a seasonal 3D... Se oh. <laughs> so you've got your background stents. Oh, that's a really nice one as well. You've got all your little Christmas presents. You've got your chimney. You've got your lights, your fire. Half the stock has gone. We've been here for about 18 minutes and half the stock of these have gone. We knew this would happen. It's why it pays to get in early. Get in early. Hello, Julie. Julie said, afternoon, ladies. Great bargain. Just had to buy, unfortunately. Yep, use the code on Friday. Looking forward to the show with Jan's demos. I'm sure you are. Julie, try friend 15. Let me know if that works or not. Yep. It might, it might not. I genuinely don't know. Um, in my head, it's worth trying it. So try friend 15. 
and message back and let me know if that works because because we couldn't do it we the reason we couldn't test this is we're not allowed to use it because <laughs> we're here anyway do you know what i mean and that would just be like super naughty my account says no so try that one as well julie and let me know oh does he not john's tried it didn't work for him it was worth a shot it was, it was worth, worth a try a wasn't it yeah it was you know. definitely worth a try yeah, yeah we're all caring and sharing if yeah. there's something we think we can kind of do we'll say it but anyway at 29.99 i know how happy you are with that to get over a hundred pounds worth of goodies is absolutely incredible i mean we like it we like a bog off don't we we like Certainly a buy one do. get one uh, but this is um a 70 percent bundle a 70 percent bundle on incredible high quality items it's not like when you go out shopping and suddenly it's the it's the the, the, the after or before sales and suddenly you're rummaging through everything you're trying to you know you might be getting 30 50 percent off and you go no nah, that's not right that's not all weird sizes or weird shapes these are top quality products that have been put together by Sarah and the team and the marketing team by everyone at Crafters to give you incredible quality. Chance to try, as you said, Jan. Yeah. It's a great yeah. way to really have huge amount of elements. I'm choosing my words very carefully here, of elements to work with for, for your Christmas card. It is, yeah. And quite often you'll find, you know, that there are some sort of... Um, like the, the one with the village on there, for example, that you'd held up at the beginning roof. Yeah. Um, you'd probably be able to get some generic value out of that as well, not just Christmas. Mm. And I like that there are elements within the sets, even though we're sort of selling them as a Christmas item, there's always something in there that you can utilise at other times of year as well. Yeah, totally. I'm having a, I can't, I can't show yet, but I'm just having a quick sneak. You're going to love this. Uh, Beverly said, didn't work, but it's still a bargain anyway. Got mine, thank you. Yay! Well uh, done, yep. Beverly, yeah. Well done. Should have been £101.96 six pence was it 91, 91. pence that's crazy it's unbelievable if everybody checks out now um we have sold out which we knew would happen quickly i don't think we quite uh, <laughs> expected sort of 20 odd minutes um but you are there for a bargain today so that is fabulous we did well we we, we haven't really said too much about it we've done a little bit on social media uh but um, but great and great that you know it's a mystery bag but we can pretty yep. much say they will kind of represent what I'm kind of showing to you. Uh, so definitely make sure, and this is where your one set of PMP really helps. And of course, remember you can check out now. It, you can carry on buying throughout the day. It's still only one set of PMP because you might be used to perhaps popping it in your basket, coming back later when everything's in there and checking. Don't do that because these will be gone. Make sure you're doing it now. And then obviously you're safe. You sit at home going, oh, I've just got hundred pounds worth of fabulousness for 29.99. Or if you've used your code for literally just over 25, yeah pounds it's wonderful that's Absolutely amazing wonderful. it's yep. just yeah great work on that if you do want to shop ahead don't forget the whole shop is on pre-order everything that we have for you today is on there so if you're diving into i feel like singing a lot today dive into christmas mm. dive in. i know that's not quite the right words but you know there might be <laughs> there might be a lot of uh, singing lovely adam directed uh, director adam by the way is with us on this shift side now which is very exciting so he's going to have to get used to the bad jokes, the singing. Sorry, Adam. Sorry, Adam. Sorry, not sorry. You know. Uh, right. Okie dokie. Keep going on that because that is fab at your list. Now, another little deal uh, before we get into our deals of the day. We've got some, well, we've got a fabulous mini uh, collection. This is your layerable sentiment dies mini collection. Um, very... I mean, I say, I say mini, they're not, they're not, I actually, I think these are lovely anyway. Uh, so I'll show these to you. Which one do you want to have a little look at first or does it not? Joy to the world. I love, I do love singing at Christmas. I mean, <laughs> I, I love singing anyway. full stop. I'm always singing my head off coming down the motorway. <laughs> I know, I love it though. There's nothing, there's nothing so, now so good as singing. It makes you feel alive and awake and happy. Uh, right, so joy to the world. This is fabulous as well. So this is the first one. I'm going to show you three individual mini dies hang fire on them okay hang fire i'm going to put it nicely it's always a little bit awkward uh, but hang fire because i might show you them together as a bundle in a second maybe baby uh, so joy to the world you have whoo uh, nine pieces in there so your joy to the world uh, set here your die set is fabulous if i turn that one around you can see there 
the kind of the different elements. So how does this work then? So this is your, your mini kind of layering die. Yeah, you get the, the, the solid layer there. It's like what we tend to refer to as a matte layer. Yeah. So you could cut that in one colour and then you can cut your wording in a different or a contrast colour. Oh. And then you've got the extra mitts. I love how they've made the J into Very the little candy cane. Clever, so again, it? you can just cut them in different colours, mix and match them yeah. and just layer them up in whatever colour combination you fancy. It's so, brilliant. you know, you might want to go sort of typically red, gold and green for Christmas. Nice. I love how that's been done in the red, white and blue. We've got the yeah. um, the 4th of July coming up soon, haven't we, for, uh, for our American friends, yeah? So, yeah, there's so many different ways again, you know. And, yeah, sort of joy to the world. It's linked to Christmas, but yep. who's to say that you couldn't use that at a different time? Exactly. Yeah. Depending how you decorate yeah. it and adorn it, yeah. it would be for any day of the world, couldn't it? Any day of the world, <laughs> any day of the week in the world. There you go, I'll make it work. Twelve ninety nine, fabulous. Don't buy it. Yep. Don't buy it. Yep. Uh, let's now move to <gasps> Winter Wishes. Gosh, he's a rather magnificent stag. I Have a little look one. at that. It, this that is one. really lovely. Yeah. And again, you know, you could change that out, but because the Winter Wishes is part of the die cut, so yeah. it's separate, the layers. You could actually omit the winter wishes or you could change it into a winter birthday, for example, just by adding a slight little stamped uh, elephant. Uh, elephant? Oh, it's catching. <laughs> the stamp, what's a stamped <laughs> elephant? <laughs> Where did that come well, from? A stamped elephant, element was what I meant to say. My goodness, <laughs> I think there's something in the air today, Ruth. A stamped <laughs> elephant. I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> but you can see, how, and the thing is, if you want to create that scene and pop a little elephant in there, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Who are we to judge, quite goodness frankly? Goodness me. Uh, so again, you've got a five-piece Winter Wishes uh, 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 die set there. Don't buy it. Not yet. I sound like John Scott now, don't I? Don't buy it. <laughs> don't buy don't it. Buy it. I know normally it's saying, just buy it, but don't buy it. Right, have a little look at this one. Last but certainly not least, <gasps> Santa. All together now? Santa, Santa Claus, Claus is coming, coming to town. Oh, we're, oh, are we on different, different songs? songs? Which Ooh. did you go for? Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, nice. Open Santa Claus is coming. What did I go for now? Oh, no, I, I sang a different song, didn't I? <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town. That's the, same, that song. the same song. Are we a different bit? Must have been a different bit, but anyway, definitely Christmas. This one, I think. It's, it's, we, we'll agree that it's it's definitely a Christmas one. I always feel like this is my influence when things go wrong. I don't know why, uh, but anyway, Santa Claus oh. is coming to town. It makes you sing. It makes you chirpy. Obviously, very much a, a, a Christmas sentiment one there uh, with that die. But don't don't buy it. <laughs> just, sorry, John. Sorry, not sorry. Um, in fact, let me just grab all of them. Do you want all three? Yeah, of course you do. Why have one when you can have three? So let's do you a fabulous price though. So if you are buying them individually, 10, 20, 30, 39.97, there we go. Whew, that was quick maths, 39.97. Okay, so that's what you're gonna pay. If you want to buy them separately, fill your boots, don't do it, don't do it. 39.97, we are all about deals today. Deals and Christmas steals, although don't steal at Christmas, don't steal, but deals that are absolutely amazing. Shall we take that price and practically slice and dice and chop it up and crash it down to nearly half of that price point? Yep, that's exactly what we're going to do, um, which again is fantastic. Think of the saving you've just made on that. We've set, so I've got a hair somewhere. I think it's stuck on my lipstick. I feel like I've got a hairy chin or something. It's, <laughs> it's, I think it's on my lipstick somewhere. I'll grab that later. Uh, but 19 99 we've practically just saved you about £20 there. That £20, you can now put towards your mystery bag. And, and if you're using your code on that, that's like them finding just another five, six pounds. Does that make any sense at all in your heads? Uh, but you've got to be checking out on these now. Check out, check out, check out on those. Dun, dun, dun. 1999, well done, Barbara, Veronica, Angela. It's incredible today. We are literally, it's, it's a snooze you lose kind of a day today. Be quick, be fast. You'll be furious if you miss out because these are dyes you are going to bring out every single year. And there's lots you can create on those. And don't just think about cards, think about memory boxes. Think about decorations even for your tree. These have been yep. lovely. There's a lovely little one with the Santa Claus to your left, um, Ruth. There's a little oh, yeah, sample of there somewhere. Sorry. And it's just been done. It's almost like a little tag. 
That one's the tag on, on, the, little, on the bag there, it? look. And I just think that's a really nice that's way of beautiful. using it. I mean, yes, it could be a focal point on yeah. a card or a scrapbook page, but I love that that's been done as the tag on the gift bag. How They're cool gorgeous, is that aren't with they? the belt as well? Yep. These are fabulous. So who, so the, don't know who that's by. N uh, Nicole uh, created this one for us though, which is very lovely. And then look, oh my goodness me, Mary, this is beautiful. That's lovely, isn't that's it? That's really sort of alternative oh, in wow. the pale blues, isn't it? That looks lovely. I love those colours for Christmas. Yep. Those feel really expensive. Yes, I don't know why that kind of blue. Yeah, lovely. 20% yep. of the stock. I love that. I, I don't know what it is about yeah. that one. I just really like that one with the little, uh, oh, the deer. Look. Oh, is this a... That's fabulous as well as this. Does it do a little game. twist? That's what I was wondering. Oh, yeah. There you go. There yep. we go. Yep. See, the, the, the inner crafter in me now is learning. Yep. I looked and went, there's something going there's on something here. something there, yeah. Something going on. When I first started, I've been like, what's going on? That's been stuck on the wrong way. <laughs> now I'm like, no, no, no. That is gorgeous. Yep. Uh, How a fabulous. Twisted easel. Yep. Twisted easel. That's the badger. Commonly known as a tweezel. A, twe oh, a tweezel. Oh, I like that. A twisted easel. Um, yeah, a little, a little tweezel card. I'm going to keep that now. A tweezel. <laughs> I'll call that cat when she's being silly. You tweezel. <laughs> isn't that gorgeous? You're getting all of those. That's a, that's a lovely phrase, actually, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you big tweezel. Uh, 19 and <laughs> 19.99. You could use it either way, I feel, with that. As yeah. Well. If you've been silly or it could be a, a, a term of endearment. Oh, Andy, you little tweezel. <laughs> uh, Tracy, well done, Margaret, Sylvia. Brenda, congratulations. Don't we have fun? I love it here. I don't know about you. I absolutely love, love, love these deals. Uh, that's incredible. So remember, you've got all three of those. If you want to buy them separately, absolutely you can do, but I don't want to pay close to £40 when I can pay £19.99 instead on those. They are just fabulous. Keep checking out on those. Remember, it is one set of post and packaging. And if you haven't used your code yet this weekend, Friday, Saturday or today, Try popping in on the web for you 15 and literally the spelling of uh, for you 15 or friend 15 because you can get an extra 15% off if you've not used either of those so far. It's just one or the other we've discovered. But hey, great stuff on that. Um, and that's just kicking off today. We are going to see some demos in a moment or two. We just want to launch all of these incredible deals to yep. you as much as we can because it's all about singing at Christmas, about gifting. It's about lovely, fabulous stories. And we know what happens when they start to say, "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, isn't it? Stirring, not moving, no. not even a move. Can I just ask before you move, Ruth? Yes. I've been looking at this, I've been watching you sit on the set, and can we just flick it back to Ruth for a second? Can anybody else see the reindeer behind her with his nose in the set dressing, or is it just me? I kind yeah. of know, you mean, yeah. I kind of get your drift. The, the lower one, with the, 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 with the girls that. have done a great job with setting the dress, the, 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 the scene look. It just looks like a little I, reindeer with his, no, his red I, nose I, there. I think it's not obvious, but I'm, I am with you. Yeah, is it just my, my mind works in weird ways. I did wonder it what does. you were having in your coffee earlier, but <laughs> I, I, I am kind of with you. Yeah, on it's just as if bit. he stood there watching us. Fantastic. Rudolph, Rudolph's, Rudolph's here. here, he's in the building. Watching every, yeah, I get that. I yeah. get that. Like you got just your, needs a couple of little eyes, doesn't he? Well, I've got, see, I've got two, I'm going here for two eyes, nose, and I could do with some, oh. don't know. I've also been drinking what Jan's <laughs> We've lost drinking. Kat now. <laughs> anyway. Oh, let's, goodness okay. me. <laughs> let's go to the night before Christmas. Keep going through <laughs> on those mini sentiments. Oh, I've missed working with you, Jan. <laughs> I mean, I need a good few weeks to recover, but it's always good. Oh, dear. Uh, right, so... <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas. This is going to be fabulous. This is one of the Sarah signature collections that we're about to share with you. Um, someone stole my steps. My steps have gone. Uh, no, we've lent them to somebody else. So we just thought we'd have snow instead. Of course. Let it snow. We had to. Beautifully dressed. I'm funny with this stuff, though. <laughs> Some I'm all right with it, but sometimes it's, a, you know, you, you realise how much dry skin you've got in your hands sometimes when you touch it. It's a bit like, uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to put the heels on my feet on. So don't worry, Kat. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Have you seen my feature? I'm not going to get me trotters out. They're not going on. Because that would lift the entire thing off right now. Need some more, <laughs> need some more hemp cream from Primal oh. Living. Um, not getting them out. Right. Let me show <laughs> What is going on today? Well, definitely on. something in the air, isn't, isn't there? This? 
Well, Welcome it's because it's Sunday. It is Sunday. Dan's, oh. Dan's turned the air con up and it's all gone a bit crazy. Oh. Right, so we're going to do this in a second. Julie's like, and back in the room. I don't <laughs> think we have come back in the room. That's the problem, though. I don't know what room we're in. Oh. Right, let me go. <laughs> let me go through this. It's going to be a big bundle, but I'm going to introduce it to you individually, first of all. Uh, let's start with the embossing folder, first of all, which is wonderful. These gorgeous, gorgeous sort of music notes, but all year round, I would, I would definitely sort of say on that one, definitely you've got the opportunity to be enjoying that all year round. So you've got your beautiful embossing uh, folder there. Uh, coming in at £5.99, don't buy it, uh, £5.99. Really, really lovely size on that embossing folder as well. We're talking five by seven, and you've got these wonderful sort of orchestral notes playing out of tune. Obviously, you can make that work for Christmas, but it could be uh, perhaps for um, uh, your uh, orchestral. I didn't say ostrich, <laughs> orchestral. It sounded like I said kestrel. Orchestral. Kestrel, uh, well, it's a bird, isn't it? A kestrel. Is a kestrel a bird? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. It's a, a bird of prey, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What's going on today? <laughs> Don't confuse me, Adam. Don't confuse me anymore. Uh, Kathleen said, my hobby and I are creased here. <laughs> Enjoying the show. Ruth, you're a, le a legend or a legend? <laughs> Depends how you read it. <laughs> Back to those feet again, aren't we? <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a good day today, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be something. It's oh, going to be something. Yeah. I'm really hot because I put cardio. It's freezing <laughs> here normally. It was really hot, then it's freezing. And now I'm roasting. I might get in. I'll come back in a different jacket later on. I've got no arms on this. I can't get my arms out. Uh, right, okie dokie. Let's now have a little look at your clear acrylic stamp. Uh, this is Stockings by the Fire. Again, don't buy it yet. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, again, lots and lots of different elements in here. So that is really cute. Seven different pieces. If I show that to you on the back as well, you can see hand-drawn. So you've got the Christmas tree, you've got the stocking, you've got the little bell on there. Uh, you've got the kind of the corner of the um, of your fireplace, which is really cute. So you've got the mantelpiece. You've got your holly and the ivy in there as well. You've got your little berries. There's loads. The holly and the ivy. Uh, so seven pieces in there. Oh, I, well, I'd, I'd done that down, if I'm honest. I could have gone full newt on that, as my, uh, so my, my dad used to say. Go full newt, you know, when you properly <laughs> oh, go for it. Uh, next up, this is the most random show, uh, we have your decorative, your decorative frame. So that's your die. Isn't that lovely? Again, that frame you can use all year round. The ribbon you can use. Yeah, that little bow's really cute. Sweet, isn't it? And then obviously you've got your little flowers in there. You've got your coat. Obviously your little pine cone. Autumn, yep. the berries in there. That is that is not just Christmas. Lovely sort of poinsettia in there. Beautiful. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Uh, let's do. That's because that's it. Oh, oh, oh twelve ninety nine. Here she goes, knocking everything down. Next up, this is fact. There's loads in this one. Uh, so this is your builder sleigh stamp and die. So lots of different elements on there as well. I mean that is jam packed full, isn't it? Absolutely, and you can stamp all those elements out and then you've got the ability to pop that together and make that sleigh. <laughs> Sorry, that did sound like I just said that's jam-packed full, isn't it? <laughs> jam-packed full. Jam-packed. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, there we go. Jan has packed some deals oh. into this show, however, for you. It is a Jan-packed deal of a show of a deal, whatever. <laughs> uh, so lots in there, I did lots of deals. <laughs> wow, so it's moving on very quickly. Pine tree edge on there. Two more elements to share with you. There we go. Autumnal. Well, summertime as well, if you just... Yeah, there's the lots and thing. lots. It's just about thinking outside the box. Just because something says to us the night before Christmas and we're sort of marketing it as Christmas, thinking outside that box and using them. Yeah, lots of different ideas. Exactly. Well, think summertime, you've got your little... Maybe you've got a little tent on there, pitch a tent. Yep. Going camping, or it could be yep. you can make it you can make it sort of a more of a Swiss feel. You can have lots of snow. You could put some gnomes on there as well. We all love a gnome. Yep. And finally, now this is really. Are we adding up these prices, by the way? Because I've not been. Uh, last up. Now this is wonderful. You've got sixty berries and ten pine cones in here. So these are your festive embellishments. There is a seventy-piece set in there actually. Yeah. I just think these are. You know, these are really kind of like the cherries on top of the cake. They're the berries. Uh, because if you're doing mixed media as well, they work really beautifully. But even just a, a little something like that on a card or, or a, a box, whatever it might be, not only is it that 3D kind of perspective, it, it totally changes what you're making, whether it's a tag around the neck of a wine bottle. So many different uses for those. 
There is. I know when I looked at, when this was first launched, I bought more than one of those roofs because I love that yeah. kind of thing. Like you said, you know, if you're decorating your presents at Christmas, pop a tag on and a couple of those little berries added to it. It just takes it to the next level, doesn't it? Yeah, completely. They're lovely. And you can see you've got the variety in there. You've got just perhaps that lovely sort of uh, gold, that lovely sort of metallic polish, if you like, on there. Have you got a little acorn? You've got a couple of, a couple of acorns. Can you see those? There we go. You've got a few different acorns in there. I was trying to get in. Uh, so you've got, I'm going to have a quick look. So you've got three. I know Ellie's put the tape on there. She's like, get out, Ruth. Uh, she knows what I'm like. Uh, three different colours of the berries. So you've got the gold, the silver and the red. You've got frosted and unfrosted options yep. of the berries and the pine cones. And those gorgeous little, I mean, they're not acorns, Count. They're pine cones. Pine cones. Oh, she, I did wonder when, did, I thought. Mm. I know, she's like, well, the acorns, I'm like, there we go. Pe pine cone. Pine cone. We were close. We were close. Now, this entire bundle, there are 101 pieces, 101 elements within this entire bundle. And um, this is the price we should be looking at for the entirety of the Sarah Signature, which was the night before Christmas collection. £58.94. There are so many individual elements within there, so many different uses. Yes, we're having a big, fabulous sort of celebratory Christmas show, but there are loads and loads and loads within here still to go. Gosh, look at the time. Uh, my wordy. Right, let's get this straight down. We've been having far too much fun. <laughs> I mean, on, stop, stop having fun, everybody. And um, let's take this price down for you today. £58.94, all of this laid out, nowhere near that today. We are not just going under 50. How about we take it under 25 pounds? Under 25 pounds, this is why we do these Christmas shows early. So you can get involved, you can get prepared, and you can get making in time for your Christmas collections. It might be that you're using these for birthday cards as well. Maybe you want to add a different focus onto that. Uh, the music notes all year round on that. That might be for a wedding card. You might have those fabulous music notes on there uh, as maybe the back or cutting sections out of that for a wedding card, for a birthday card. We know we're starting to make early. It's not even early, you're just getting prepared, starting to do this right now. Maybe maybe you never stop. Maybe this is something you do throughout the entirety of the year. So when these times arrive, you are chilled, you are ready. You can turn your focus to something else like cracking open the sherry. Uh, Sue, Catherine, Debbie, Tara, very well. It's Christmas is the only time, really, I have a little sherry. Yeah, I always have a little sherry just to toast me nan. So always, every oh, year when I wrap my Christmas nice. presents, I have a little, a little certain brand of cr cream. Bristol cream. You know where <laughs> I'm going, do. don't you? Yeah. Little one of those, I always go, cheers, Nam, every oh, year. Oh, that's lovely. So, yeah, very special. And I'm sure you all have those kind of traditions in your life as well. £24.99, that entire collection. Amazing. I'm going to do that and trot over here because we need to see some demos. Uh, Jan... Thank you for waiting. That's um, so good. We've been having a lovely time. We've, we've had fun, haven't we? We have had. Very now, much so. it, was a, it was difficult to know where to start with this one because there are so many nice elements in there. But what I've done is I've tried to uh, sort of mix and match some of the elements. So we're going to work with the embossing folder, the musical notes embossing folder. Fab. We're going to cut out the little frame just to show you what this one looks like and use the bow in there as well. And then I've already, because I know how much time it takes, I've already stamped and coloured some of the elements out of here because obviously Brilliant. you know we do bring you colouring shows I know I've done <coughs> colouring shows in the past um, but it does take a little while with yeah. the colouring so I've chosen with this lovely sort of deep cherry red that there's the theme running through this collection the craft card works beautifully with it I love that dark red and the, the craft card so I've made sort of a, a trifold card here so we've actually got three nice places to work on so the first thing that I'm going to do is just run a little bit more of the craft card through that folder now it's a 2d embossing folder it's normal what I say normal size it's the most common size for a, an embossing folder it's the five by seven so I've literally just cut my card down to fit in there and I'm just going to grab I'm going to use the smaller plates just to save a little bit of time but for a 2d folder with our Gemini's you just need your two clear cutting plates and I'm literally going to pop that through the Gemini and impress that into that craft card to start off with and then just to bring out some of the embossing detail I'm just going to bring in a little bit of ink and we're just going to sort of take that ink over the top of it and bring out some of the detail it's not overly obvious yet if you bear with me until we've done the inking you'll be able to see yeah. that um, that lovely detail in there so again I'm just gonna I've got sort of Bordeaux which is that nice dark red 
and I'm going to first of all just take it round the the edge of the cardstock and then I'm just going to literally swipe it across the top of that embossed area mm -hmm. to add some colour and I love this combination lovely that is Gorgeous combination of colours. I'm a big lover of the, uh, the the craft card anyway. Yeah. But I just think with the reds and the greens at Christmas and the gold, you know, those traditional mm. Christmas colours, we've got that lovely combination going on. So again, all I'm doing is just taking it over the top. You can see that musical sort of staves appearing on there yeah. now. Just to highlight it a little bit. And that's all I'm going to do with it. Pop those to one side and then I'm going to mat and layer that onto a piece of that diced dark green to bring in the green tones there. So I'll just reach for my um, tape pens. If you've got any gilding wax or anything like that, you could actually add a little bit of the gilding wax to it as well. Nice. So I'm literally just going to use my tape pen for this. Yep. Nice and quick. So this is the double sided tape pen. If you want to use wet glue, you can. Yep. But I'm just for speed, I'm just going to pop yeah. that one on there. And don't forget, Wash, you've got your 15% off discounts as well to use this weekend. This is the time as well to really stock up on your glues, your tapes, all of those uh, individual items. Just literally fill your, fill your drawers, fill your, fill, that doesn't sound right, does it? Fill your, fill, <laughs> but stock, stock up on these. <laughs> And then I'm going to bring in that little frame now, the decorative frame. And this, you know, this has got nothing to do with Christmas, to be honest. It's in there. It's, we've called it a decorative frame. And it literally could be used for anything. Now, if we do it with just the frame by itself, there's no cutting edge in that oval in the centre. So you're going to get a lovely frame with a solid background. Oh, nice. If you want to take out the aperture in the middle, you have actually got the oval die that will fit in and you can okay. cut them together and that will actually create you a lovely little like a photo frame almost it yeah. would look nice with a photo if you I know some people send photos at Christmas of maybe mm -hmm. children and grandchildren things like that would look terrific now yeah. for this particular one I'm going to do it without that extra frame so I'm just going to pop that with a little bit of tape and then pass this through. And I've got a piece of red Miri card here. So I like to sort of swap and change out the textures when I'm working, uh, particularly with Christmas. You know, you've got matte colours and then the nice shiny pieces yeah. in there as well. So pop those in, pass that through the Gemini again. And don't forget the And the I've actually got my junior plates here today because it does make life a little bit quicker. They're nice that they kind of fit in there as well. So these are exactly half the width of the... Um, the, the, the large ones yeah, here. Yeah, cool. Yep. So all I've done is just turned it, whereas this one would go through long ways, mm -hmm. I've just turned these to go sideways. And I, right. I tend to use this. This is my setup at home. I have the large Gemini out on the desk, yeah. but more often than not, I use the smaller plates. Mm -hmm. So again, all I'm going to do is just take some of those pieces out. The frame bit, I mean, you could keep the frame if you wanted. Absolutely. You could use that for something. Yeah. But I actually want this section here. And again, just pop all those little pieces out yeah. if you've got your dye brush handy you could use that nice. but just to pop them out and that particular dye that you're using at the moment that's normally around 12.99 on its own so as part of the kit the entire bundle is 24.99 and there's so much more within there so again we're talking about incredible value aren't we on this they are and, and it's, it's a really nice way to sort of buy these yeah. what happens with the signature collections we launch them as a full bundle yeah. and more often than not the paper pads are the first elements mm -hmm. to sell out so yes a lot of these will have come and some of you may have actually got that collection they may have got the paper pads at home yeah. um, but as they sort of dwindle, uh, um, we, we sort of bring elements here. And yeah. I just think there's a lovely representation there of this particular kit yeah, as totally. a nice little bundle. And that price is phenomenal. Yes, yeah, great. So there's just a couple of pieces there at the top just to pop out. And we've got that ready to then go on our card. So this is actually going to be the centre panel. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use those um, embossed pieces yeah. at the side. So... Let, you, let me show you where I'm heading with it. We'll bring in the card blank. And what I was planning to do is pop this one on one side. And then I've already recreated that with a little bit of ribbon round uh -huh. at this side. So let's just pop some ribbon to match on this one as well. Yep. And this is just from my stash. I think everybody's got pieces of ribbon yeah. in their stash. So again, I'm just going to fasten this on the back 
with a little bit of tape just to add another texture and sort of dimension to it. So these are going to go on either side like so. We'll get those stuck down in a second. And then again, I've gone, I've flicked to the red this time for the centre panel. And these are just some pearlescent cardstock from my stash. This was actually a little bit of paper from that original paper pad, which I do have at home. Yeah. But if you haven't, you know, we've all got different Christmas paper pads. If yeah. not, you could make an ink background to go in there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to lay this one in the centre of here. So you can see where we're sort of heading with that. Yeah. So let me just stick these ones down quickly. Again, I'm using that tape pen just to pop those down. So we will have a new Sarah Signature collection coming oh, for Christmas. Sarah always okay. does a Christmas collection. So you can mix so. and match that when it comes. I'm sure you'll be able to yep. mix and match that with Absolutely. these. Absolutely. But these are your kind of your staples. So uh, yeah, get and loads of you are checking out on these. Very well done. And we'll go over that fantastic mystery bag uh, in a second or two because we're, we're we're down to the teens of those. So we'll have a little Ooh. look in a second. I know. So that one's going to go on the far side there. So again, I've just cut these a bit smaller so that we've got those panels going on. And then I need to pop the paper on the red one. And then I'll show you the stamping that I've done from yeah. that stamp set. We've got some elements then to decorate with. And it just shows how well these actually fit together mm -hmm. then. Uh, we've got three separate elements from the actual kit, but just mixing and matching everything together and they go beautifully. So again, just using that tape pen, all the mats and layers, the tape is more than strong enough for the job. Yeah. So I'll pop that one in the center. Okay. Beverly saying this is a beautiful bundle that can be used all year round. Another great bargain said uh, Beverly in Cardiff. Yeah, 100, 100%. The whole day today, honestly, it's bargain after bargain today, isn't it, Jan? It's amazing. And then I'm just going to swap over to my dotty tape pen for this one. So rather than the double-sided, if I use the double-sided one on the back of all this filigree work, you're going to see strands of the glue yeah. behind it. So this one is exactly the same tape. It's just in a dot formation. And again, on the back of here, just nice and light. And this will just add dots to the back of your die cut. If you press too hard, then yes, they're gonna go through the gaps, but just nice and light, we'll apply dots onto there for you to actually stick this then onto your project. I'll put a couple of bits in the center there. Such a clever invention. Oh, of tape, it was, yeah. Brilliant. It's just brought a whole new level to yeah. the die cuts because trying to use a wet glue on there, you always ended up with little bits yeah. splodging through. And like this is Miricard, that would show up as mm. well on there. So what I did then was take the um, oval die and I've just cut a centre panel there with the oval oh. and stamped on there. So we're going to pop that one and I'm going to keep a lot of this uh, reasonably flat because the card's going to fold together. Yep. So we're going to pop that one in the centre as our greeting there, celebrate the season. And that was just a stamp from my, uh, my Christmas stash. Yep. I got the Christmas box out and dusted it down so that we could actually get into this uh, theme. So if I bring in this stamp set now, if I show you this one here, yeah. you've got a lovely range of stamps in there. I'll just pop it on the back of the craft card. You can see that Christmas tree is a really nice size there. And what I've done is I've stamped him out and coloured him in with my pens. And I've done that twice. I wanted two of those, one to go at either side of my card there. And then just extra elements I've got. I like the, uh, the little bell there as well. So we've actually got some bits, just pop those out. You can see here, we've got that lovely little bell with the holly there as well. And then I've just got the little separate pieces of holly that I wanted. But there are other elements in there as well. There's a little sentiment there that says believe. You've got the stocking, you've got that corniche there. So we're just going to use the elements in there to actually build up and decorate. And then the little bow that we were talking about in the, in the die set here, just really, really cute there. Just, and I've just Gorgeous. popped that in a little bit of gold satin just to add a touch of that red, gold and green in there. So all we're going to do with all these bits then is just embellish what we've got left. Mm -hmm. So I've popped... Some foam pads on the back of the um, Christmas trees there. I didn't want to raise it up too much because this card's going to fold sort of concertina style. Yeah. But just to take the, uh, the backs off, whoops, just the back off there. We nearly lost the whole thing then. <laughs> and I'm going to pop one in this corner here. And then we're going to mirror it at this side with the other tree. So again, 
take those pads off the back and pop that one, this one. Okay, I've got a couple of little gems I'll add on at the end. And then I was going to pop this one at the top there. So I think we'll go with the little bow at the top. Just want a wee bit of glue on that one. So I've yep. just got my wet glue just for speed there. Okay, just to pop a little bit. And we're going to pop that one at the top just to add to the frame, like so. Gorgeous. I've just popped a little gem in the centre of there. And then the little, oops, stick down there. And then the little bells there are going to go in the corners up here. So we're going to have one at that side and one to mirror it again at the other side. And these have all been stamped and just fussy cut with my little snips. And all I mean yeah. by fussy cutting is just leaving that little white edge around it. If you don't like the white edge, you can cut right up to your stamped outline. Yeah. I never trust myself because I usually end up losing a bit of the, uh, the design. So I quite like that little white edge. Yeah. It lets it stand off the, uh, the design. And then I've got the, the holly is gonna go towards the bottom here so we've got one oh and we've got a message coming in from Jacqueline uh, from Jack saying afternoon Ruth you make my Sunday you're a joy on top of that you've got the lovely girls Car Carol Haley and Jan and 15% off as well I know we've literally got it all today haven't we Jax we have we have it all we have oh my goodness got, I'm nearly there we've still got one more deal to fit in we're meant to have one more deal in another demo but we did far too much talking and giggling earlier on uh, <laughs> I think it's the deals that have sent us crazy I know <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to leave it there. I've got a couple of little gems to pop in that corner, but I can do those afterwards. That but you can wonderful. see there, we've got that lovely sort of concertile style. So you've got the front of your oh. card there, but it opens up to make sort of like a... Stunning. And if I turn you that one round, it will stand in its three sections there. How and just gives you that. something a little bit different, trying to it's show beautiful. you as many of those elements that we could. Yeah, it's great. And don't forget this collection you are going to use year after year after year. Your embossing folders, your metal dies, your, your stamps, all of these. You're going to be able to create so many different designs. This is one that Wendy created. That's beautiful, John. I love that. I love the craft paper anyway. The craft cards yeah. are just fabulous. But look, we've got bells on here as well. Yep. Bells and ribbon, obviously. And that's that a different way of using that fantastic frame. Of course, the entire bundle here, we should be looking really at almost £60 for that. I mean, look how fabulous... These are, isn't that amazing? So again, using this, I love those images as well. Obviously, get the papers from the new collection. That will be coming out, um, hopefully, not too soon, actually, this year. So you can definitely mix and match with all of these. You can go as in-depth as you wish. Put as little or as, as, as much as you want to on those. There we go. This is from Alexia. That's a lovely card as well, isn't it? So you've got those beautiful, yeah, build a sleigh. Build a sleigh. And then last two designs to show you here as well. So we go, you see, can how you're using those fantastic trees, giving you, again, lovely depth when you're looking at that fabulous card. And last but not, uh, not least, again, you've got that fantastic frame uh, that Jan's just worked with. Lots of the... Uh, I know, it's like we've got lots of little cats running around. Those little bells and the, the extra them. bits just finish them off nicely, don't, don't they? they? Really yeah, and having do. a look at what you've got at home, you probably have one or two little embellishments like that. Right, now, this is going to be the quickest thing ever. We can come back to these, don't worry. So, obviously, you're not going to be going anywhere. You'll be back with us at three o'clock because we have loads more to do. Uh, but, first bundle, let's bring this to you. So, we've got some... These are, these are fab. I don't think I've seen these before, actually. Uh, so, these are your kind of reveal... Um, You've got the stocking and you've got the, this is the Christmas cracker, isn't it? So have a little, I mean, these are big and they're, they're brilliant because these are, in terms of revealing these particular designs, so these are your reveal dies. If I show one to you like that, and I'll show you a couple of, of examples that will give you an idea as to how these work. They're really fun, these are, I think. So it's kind of taking you, 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 your cards here uh, and, 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 and opening up and actually you reveal the little, the little message or the sentiment within there. So you've got wonderful movement on them. Uh, they're 16 99 each. Uh, so we've got them on a bundle deal, which is fabulous. And you've got the instructions on those how to do those. So don't worry about that. Today's deal, again, ridiculous, fabulous, is like a buy one, get one free. Yeah, 16.99 for both of them. So 16.99 normally each, 16.99 for both of them, which is amazing. I'll just show you a couple of these uh, as examples. They're really, really sweet, these are. The they best are, the different as well, different. So they they'll are. stand alone like that, a standalone yep. pieces, or you can use them as a decoration. But when you lift that one up, you can see that lovely little reveal. 
So it could be a personal message to someone. And some of that, I was having a look at some of them. Um, I think most of them are big enough to fit a little gift card inside as well. Oh, that's a nice idea. Yeah, if you want to, that's again, really use them cool as a idea. tag. So again, you've got the cracker there, there so look with got the little reveal. Naughty or nice? Definitely naughty today. Oh, dear. Definitely naughty. Uh, so your cracker and the stocking, 16 99 I'll show you more of these again a little bit later on. Then option two, bundle two, we've got the Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Um, let me bring these over here because it's a little bit easier. So you've got your Christmas tree and you've got the uh, the gift of Christmas. I love that. So you've got your little prezzies in there as well. Full instructions within there. And again, it's going to be like a buy one, get one free uh, when we get that price down. Could be paying $16.99 each. I mean, they're, they are big. They're, you've got a lot in there again to give you the, this fantastic uh, movement on these beautiful cards. These are great. These must be a real bestseller as well, I'm sure. Honestly, they're really nice. It's something That's different. Fair. We're so used to making cards, but I just think this, this just adds a completely different look to it, I doesn't it? I love them. I mean, really yep. fun as well. If you're sending these, well, I was going to say sending them to children, but send them to me. I love yep. them. <laughs> and again, they're you know, great. like done in different colours, different papers all yep. year round. You know, it doesn't great, have to have they? the Christmas elements on it. No, and every, I mean, just for a birthday, yep. absolutely beautiful. I mean, that could be a lovely little, a bit slightly different, but a lovely little tag on there yep. as well, as we saw yep. uh, that one earlier on. So Christmas tree, let me show you a Christmas tree. All of your die pieces in there so you can create these. And then you can just build them as you wish. That's lovely. This is uh, by uh, Sandy, Sandy Brooks. And then again, let's find the, uh, oh, where's me? The where's top me of the tree. Oh, it's top of the, the tree, top of the it? tree there. Yep, there you go. They're really cute. I love them. Fantastic, so they do aren't come. They? Yeah, they're brilliant. They do come Phew. with their own. Where did that go, Ruth? I have no idea. Gosh. Literally no idea. Just remember, keep going through with all of those deals. Don't forget, they're $16.99. For two, you should be paying $16.99 for one and you're getting two in a bundle deal. Keep adding in your mystery bag. We've got teens of those now. I don't know how many, 14, 15 of those remaining. £101? No. We take those down today to 29 Is that right? It is, is it? £29.99. It's just, I, I know, but it is, <laughs> I, it is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And there's just, I will show you a couple more elements from that later on. But for instance, those two themselves, I mean, that's, that's 30 quid. Job done. And don't forget, get to you there's 12 left of those now oh get them checked gosh. out on i know amazing yep jan go and recover for an hour sorry we didn't, <laughs> get, to your... dark room. <laughs> sorry we didn't get to do your second demo don't worry we'll we've got plenty of time later three yep uh, right don't go anywhere we have loads more still coming up for you uh, we have the fantastic hayley and carol joining us from dreamies and we are going to stay in our homes with home sweet home <laughs> David, David, wake up! What are you doing? I'm catching some rays and having a pina colada. There's no time to laze around. Christmas is coming to Hobby Maker. It's June. I know, only six months to go. Up you get, my friend. There's a lot of love for Santa at Hobby Maker. A brand new show starting on Hobby Maker Monday to Friday from 6 a.m. until 8 a.m. featuring loads of new things. The early bird special, a special offer only available during the Wake Up to Hobby Maker show. Who the Hobby Maker are you? A slightly extended interview with our guest designers, Help Me Hobby Maker, encouraging you to email in with all of your crafting queries, and a sneak peek. The final 20 minutes of the show, letting you know what's coming up later on in the day. So don't forget to join us. Set your alarms 6 a.m. until 8 a.m. on Hobby Maker. I think I'll get five more Zeds in. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. This is Gemini, one of the fastest, quietest electronic die-cutting and embossing machines on the market. Its industry-leading high-pressure system delivers fantastic results from intricate dies and folders, all at the touch of a button. Its oversized opening and platforms provide for edge-to-edge -edge cutting of US letter and A4 size with thin metal dies, allowing you to cut materials such as thin cardstock, vinyl, craft metal and fabric. 
No cranking needed as it will move the plates through automatically and quickly, which means you may spend less time on preparation and more time on inspiration. The Gemini has optical switches, making it hands-free and fully automated, with a built-in auto-reverse function for protection. It's easy to use, so you're always in control. Its sleek low-profile design makes it a superb addition to any craft workspace. It has built-in handholds, meaning you can easily take it anywhere. The Gemini is a universal die-cutting and embossing machine that works with the majority of all leading brands of thin metal dies and embossing folders. All of the platforms that you need come included in the box, as well as a thick rubber embossing mat for intricate detail work on your dual-purpose cut and embossed dies. The addition of the metal cutting plate allows you to cut intricate dies in a single pass through the machine and enables you to cut multiple layers of fabric. For a perfect cut every time, you need Gemini, the electronic die cutting and embossing machine made by crafters for crafters. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Yeah, go on. Hopping on with chocolate. Thailand, yeah, definitely. Favourite place I've been. David Beckham. No, 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 no. Never, 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 never. I, I don't get why people want to warm up pineapple. I will survive. <laughs> as long as I know how to love and know I'll stay alive. <laughs> yeah, people never paid me to sing. <laughs> Breaking Bad. Biscuit. Well, a lot of people don't agree with that, do they? But I'd say biscuit. I can juggle. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Makes it look like I can't juggle. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the show here at Hobby Maker today. We are having a fun day, that's for sure. Um, and it's about to continue. My name is Ruth Lynette. I'm now joined by the fantastic Carol from Dreamies. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Ruth. Nice are to you? see you again. I'm very yeah. well, thank you. Good. Yeah, I'm very excited. We've got loads going on today. Sunday fun day. It's living up to its name. Oh, so yes, it is. I've heard all the fun. That I'm sure you have. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. We've been a night. We have been a nightmare. I will, no. I will be honest, we've been in it, but then, but then what did I say? I said, here's trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's my middle Carol. name. Yeah, <laughs> that's my middle name. <laughs> Bless you. Right, we have a fantastic showcase for you right now. Um, and we thought, do you know what? We're going to introduce everything to you super quickly uh, so then we can charge into a wonderful demo. I absolutely love this as well. It's yeah, incredible it's nice. what you can do. And this is essentially working with, with, with MDF. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, people that's not worked with MDF, just think of it as a card base. Yeah. But then, obviously, a shape or something like yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It smells amazing as well. I love <laughs> the smell of MDF. Um, and everything's cut for you. And is this laser cut? It is. It's all laser cut and it is all four mil. Right. Okay. Uh, a lot of people go for the three mil, but we just go that extra one mil. It just yeah. makes it a little bit more substantial yeah, yeah. perfect it's, it's, it's brilliant so we're going to kick off first of all uh, with our home sweet home wreath kit um, it's 
fabulous. It's all pre-cut, ready for you to kind of pop out. Um, and it's only £6.99. So in, essence, in essence, it's just it's like getting that kind of template ready-made. You pop the pieces out and then you can decorate it and adorn it to however which way you want to. And then obviously Carol's going to show you some different ideas in terms of how you might want to decorate it, how you might want to kind of dress it. So this is, if I bring it down a little bit, if that helps you, Andy, uh, so you can see there. I mean, the, 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 obviously Home Sweet Home doesn't get any better than that, does it? It doesn't get any sort of uh, more simple, but actually more sweet on that. And then you've got the little bird houses. You've got the tops of the bird houses. You've got the little birds themselves. Um, so a real tweet to this one, I would say, for the era. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to get any better, let's be honest. <laughs> and then every single one of these elements simply just pop out and then you gradually build your wreath. You adorn it, you, you celebrate however which way you... And, and with MDF, if, if people are watching for the first time and, and you're obviously crafters, and maybe you've just been used to working with cardstock, if somebody's watching and seeing MDF and thinking, oh gosh, I don't know how to start to work with that, talk to us about it a little bit because do you, do you need to prime it can you use inks can you use paints you can use anything really on mdf i tend to like to cover it with paper or card okay but today i'm using a bit of gesso which is gesso right. is coming up in the next show yeah. uh, of ours but you can use whatever you want you can put ink straight on it but personally if i was putting ink on i'd cover it with white yeah. gesso white just so best. you get the true color of the ink but you can literally put anything on gesso uh, on mdf it's fabulous. It's, and you can see there, obviously, the quality that you were talking about in terms of that being sort of four mil uh, at the back. It's fabulous. And obviously, you don't have to keep that, that sort of open and exposed like that. You could put paper behind it. There's loads of different ways that you can work with that. But it's such a great size. Even at the top, I'm guessing it, you've got little holes there. Are they pre-drilled for you to yep. hang if you want to put ribbon through? Or Yes, or you can have these hanging through. You see, oh, like these. Yeah, Should we show you? Let's show this because this is absolutely fantastic. These so we've are, gone from that. These are doubled up oh so you've got gosh. a back and a front but if you were so minded and you wanted to get more from your kit you could use the wreath part then you could use one of the wow. bird houses and then the other so you could use it as like three separate elements if you wanted to That's or you can do something amazing. elaborate and have all oh the lot gosh. in one how incredible is that? So that's what you're talking about, that being yeah, sort that of... Yeah, that doubles up, double yeah. Double-sided. I love this moss. Look out for that. That's coming up. So it's already loaded in. That's going to be incredible. Oh, these are beautiful, Carol. Absolutely stunning. And then we move to a different kind of colour combination. How beautiful would this be? Obviously, for a brand new home, for a new home gift. Or maybe somebody's going away to university and you want to take a little bit of home with you. I mean, that is just fabulous, isn't it? Or just kind of judging up your, your, your house a little bit. And wreaths are really popular anyway, aren't oh, they? they are. on your sort of, your, obviously, I wouldn't put that on my front door exposed to the elements. Uh, but if you've got a porch, if you're looking enough, or just yes. like, even wherever you are, we've not got much, sort of when you open the front door, it's kind of a little bit small as you walk in. But something just kind of as you enter yeah. is a lovely greeting, actually, for That's guests, right. isn't it? That's right, it is. It's lovely. That's, I mean, I'd have that in my bedroom, I shan't not. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. And we've got pearl embellishments on here as well. We've got a mega, mega deal on your pearls, but they're fabulous, aren't they? So you're going to have the chance to see this in action in a second because even, you know, again, so many different ideas on these ones. Um, but let's bring in your family plaque. Again, beautifully cut, precision cut as well, isn't it, when you're, you're laser Yes, it these? is. It's so precision. You know, the amount you can get, it's, it's minimal. And yeah. it, it still amazes me what uh, what Jimmy does with with the MDF. I admitted this is a bit wider, but the, the delicate... Mm sentiments and everything like yeah. that that you can do it's it's truly amazing just from a laser machine yeah and i guess it keeps that uniformity as well doesn't that's it? right yeah. yeah which is which if you're buying a couple maybe you've got you want a couple of different designs in a, in a similar area you want them to look identical pretty much then fantastic i mean you could even maybe mix the family plaque with the home sweet home i guess you could you could yes yeah, well, i was just thinking because you do get extra of the hearts and the yeah. circles so you could just hang a circle in the middle of that and use your uh, bird houses yeah. separate or use the circles or the hearts on a card anything yeah. like that you know you can use your plaque separate if you wanted to you know that would be ideal to put like little hooks or something and mm. keys on if you wanted to so you know oh clever yeah Ah, so, it, so that's your kind of your backing board, isn't it? Yes, and then you you decorate uh, like your hearts or out. yeah, and hang them up like that. Yeah, like such. <laughs> <gasps> How cool is this? 
I mean, you could do whatever you want to do those little hearts. I'm, I'm actually imagining little photographs of the family, yes. the pets or anything on that's there. That's it. I've not done that because obviously that would be mm. for us. But, yeah. you know, I've got one that I'm going to demo in a bit and I've just put initials so on. Useful. But, you know, you can... Oh. And you can decorate the other side if you want as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. So, so you could have could sort of spinning around. And can, and can you make to sell? You're okay. Oh, yes, yes. Is? Make and sell, yeah. That, super, the more you can super. sell is better for the us. The more the better. We like I'm going to come back. <laughs> yeah, and especially, obviously, running up to Christmas, that's what it's all about. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, the Ultimate Pearl Collection. This is extraordinary. Um, you are not going to be stuck for pearls for a while, that's for sure. Um, there is a lot in here. Um, there are over 7,000, over 7,000 pearls. Now, I'm going to try and tilt these forwards a little bit because the, the light's getting a little bit naughty with those. The colourways are amazing. So, if we said green pearls, well, you can't, can you? Simple as that because there are so many different shades within there, whether it's the forest floor greens, the emerald greens, the mint greens, the apple greens, I could run out of greens, uh, <laughs> but there's loads in there. Then you've got this gorgeous, gorgeous mix in here. Are they kind of bronze? They look like bronze and... Yes. Not, not bronze at all, platinum, gold and... Yeah, maybe bronze or a pewter yeah, or something. Yes, yes, they are gorgeous, they are. And then like lovely the, metallics. Yes. Well, certainly very beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> I'm here all day. I like that. I'm here all day. <laughs> then we move. <laughs> and luckily for you then we've got kind of sunshine and amethyst there so you've got those beautiful sort of peaches and the, the bright bright yellows are gorgeous that's summertime for me that is i love the purples obviously it's the color of crafting isn't it your purples in there and your lilacs and then we move to the top tier do not fear there is a top tier here as well pinks and blues gorgeous Pinks, blues, were more kind of purpley tones again at the bottom. Sky, it's kind of baby blue and baby pink, isn't it, at the bottom of those? Yes, Real it is, classic. yes. I love that pink at the top. Yeah, but it's also like, the oh. navy, it's very rare you get the navy pearls. Oh, it is a navy, actually, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That is unusual. I think I'm just not used to seeing that. I think that. what it is, is, you know, once you open the packet, See you a get a true, true, yeah, you do that. <laughs> if you oh, spill crumbs. them. <laughs> yeah, if I spill them, it's my fault. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. <laughs> it's all right. Is that a little bit? I don't know where to pop that, Andy. There you go. So you can see. If I open the lid, ta-da! Oh, yeah. Very. And I love the fact that you do get them in these little containers as That's well. That's right, you? yeah. Which you is do. brilliant. So you can keep them all really nice. Oh, hello. <laughs> you keep them all nice and organised. They are gorgeous colours. They, they are. That's what I say. Once you've got the lids on it, like mutes it down yeah, a little bit, actually. but they they are oh. absolutely gorgeous. In which case, I've got to open up those <laughs> pinks because those pinks are going to look ultra spectacular. That's not even your price today. You have over a thousand pearls here. Over a thousand pearls. Oh, in each. Sorry, 7,000 in total. There's a lot of pearls here. A lot of it. So six boxes of pearls, three different colours per box. So that's, oh, it says over 1,200 there. Hold on, let's do our maths here. Is that in each one of those? I'm not sure. I ought to have asked Hayley that. 1,200. <laughs> 1,200 in there. Yes. So 7,000 to, gosh, we're good at maths, <laughs> aren't we? My work, they are, well, yeah. 1,200, Adam. Adam's still arguing with us. So 1,200 in that. 1,200. So you've got six of them at 1,200. Yeah, of course it is. Six, 12, yeah, absolutely. Seven, that, there's a lot of pearls here. There Carol. is, and they are four <laughs> mil and five mil. So that's the difference. You know, you've got oh, the two. Yeah. So you, this one is the four mil, and that one is the five mil. Oh, coordinating oh your colours. So like if you do small flowers, you want right. a small pearl in, a slightly bigger one, you put the Oh, that's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. Look, that's not even your price point either. So for 7,200 pearls with the two different sizes, we've already taken £10 off. We're not going. What is it per pearl, Cap? <laughs> Come on, Cap. Oh, Get God. that calculator <laughs> out, kid. Um, let's take it right. So £39.96 for 7,200 pearls. Whoever gets that, first, gets that first gets prize. I'm not even going to attempt that. Simple as. I don't think Cat will, she's going to, I can hear her on the calculator. <laughs> six pounds 66 a box. Wow. That wasn't the question, Cat, but I like it still. <laughs> so you're paying 0 0.05 per pearl. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, crazy. So a penny for two. That's, yeah, bonkers. 39.96. And just the most wonderful, wonderful array of colours. They are amazing. Get them for your stash. Build up on those because you've got absolute rainbows of pearls. I mean, look at all of those. The colours are absolutely fantastic. Get them home and see them for yourself. You literally just need to flip open. Oh, la, 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 la. 
And don't forget, if you haven't used your code this weekend, um, for you, 15, or friend, friend, 15, <laughs> try one of those uh, this weekend if you haven't used it already, and you'll get an extra 15% off, which is amazing. So that's another 5 99 off all of these. Oh, gosh. Can't that's amazing. That. No, is, you can't. Yep, that is incredible. And it's up to you which way you do it. You can do it on the phone, you can do it on the web. Uh, we all have our own preference, don't we? Yeah. We were yeah. talking about this earlier. Yes, we were. I did mine on the web the yeah, other day. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You did. Yeah. Got a shopping. I got did. Got shopping on the web. Um, <laughs> now, your go-to glue. You need your go-to glue. Now, this is a set of three. Shall I put them up there, Andy? There we go. Why not? We've got a little shelf for those. Andy gave me the... Yep. <laughs> uh, thumbs up. Uh, or did, are we just saying, are we actually going, go? <laughs> Was it like... Sling your up. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, Seven ninety-nine. your dreamy's go-to glue. Now, what are we looking at sticking with this glue? Is it is it specific to the MDF or paper or pearls? Or You can literally use it on anything. We use it for glu gluing our papers onto MDF. Mm -hmm. We use it for paper onto your cards. Right. And we also use it for putting your, glue, uh, your MDF together. You know, if we've got, I don't think we've got a... A 3D one, but yeah, we right. use it like that. So any of your boxes or anything like that, what you've had from us, you can use that. So literally, go to glue. Everything. Yeah. And is it instant stick or do you get a bit of wiggle? You get a little bit of wiggle, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's it it's sticks great, and it? when it's stuck, it's stuck. Brilliant, <laughs> which is what you want, obviously. Yeah. And of course, you've got that lovely kind of precise nozzle on there as well. So it allows you to kind of just really be in control of how much you actually uh, deliver. So it's your go-to glue. It's a set of three. I mean, great that you've got that amount as well. And they're quite actually really lovely size to travel with. They are, the yeah. Go. Just pop them in your bag or whatever, yeah. Yeah, really nice. And obviously with your pearls, they work with your pearls, all yep. of your MDF. So you're getting the whole collection today. That's what we really want to share with you. Um, next up then, should we do the puffball flowers? Oh, yeah. These are, I mean, just <laughs> awesome. My goodness me. So you've got a mix here. I'm going to have to bring these back a little bit. Sorry, my lovely. Let's pop that one down there for a second. There we go. So we've got a mix here of your stamp and your dies. Um, puffball flowers, I mean, you, you can kind of start to... It, they, they are what they, they, they say. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> you could use them like a daisy. Yeah. You know, so you've got that sort of look if they're just flat. Um, and then obviously your puffballs and things like that. That's what I've done on this one. So is that so one of the puffballs as well? Uh, yes, that's the puffballs. That that's done amazing. in vellum and then coloured on the Ooh. on the reverse. Yeah. Wow, that's absolutely stunning. Goodness gracious. And obviously you've got your pearls in the centre yep. of that card as well. And that's not it. That's not it. That's your, there your dies. Then you've got these incredibly, incredibly detailed stamps. They're big as well, aren't they? They are like, big, really yeah. Huge. Yeah, so obviously we do quite a lot of home decor. Yeah. Um, so if you want them for big for your home decor, mm. we, we cater for that. And also your smaller ones for like if you want the smaller cards. Yeah. So hopefully we Covering cover everything. Yes. Very much so. And £26.99 to be able to obviously to do your stamping and then obviously to do the die cutting is brilliant. And they work together absolutely perfectly. So you're not going to worry about trying to cut all of those different elements out. So £26.99, that is your puffball flower duo. Uh, and again, lots of different ways of using this. That is beautiful, isn't it? have a look at that as well isn't that gorgeous just so so again you've got that beautiful uh, sort of vellum at the back yes as well. yeah. i love that uh right plenty more to share with you so we're just going to get all of these uh, on for you if we move to move me trolley out the way um if we move oh i've got here there we go uh, <coughs> excuse me so you're <coughs> just my voice is disappearing <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. My voice just decided to disappear for a second. Um, happens at the worst time, doesn't it? Uh, divine dyes. Your dream is divine dyes here for you. These are beautiful. So this is called the loops, loops and, and laces. Lace. Yes. Loops and lace. Loops and lace embellishment uh, oh, collection. Cute, yeah. Aren't they? So you've got loads of your uh, leaves in there. You've mm. got your bees, which layer up, which that is one of my favourites. But also the fern leaf. The fern leaf in there is. Is something else you know but you can layer all those up um 
you know, you've got three different sizes of your bees as yeah. well. And two that's layered up. And so popular oh, as well, yeah. aren't they? Always. Exactly, yeah. You can never have too many bees in bees our Bees or butterflies, that's yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah. And wonderful, obviously, working together with the wreath, the home sweet home wreath. Obviously, you've got your little birds on there as well. But if you want to do your little stamping of your bees or add any of the leaves on there as well, they're totally, totally workable. These really do cross over absolutely perfectly, uh, which is kind of part and parcel of the, the entire show really isn't it we want That's to be able right. to sort of pick and choose yeah and work all together if you happen to go for yeah. everything you know which they are great you can pick and choose as well loads in there as well absolutely wonderful then we're going to move to um let's go up here first of all i keep knocking all the stands off <laughs> jeremy uh, right so next up again some more fantastic dies for you I've moved everything around and caused myself all, all sorts of issues here, uh, but that's okay. Uh, so now moving on to these fantastic dyes. These are your uh, sugared romance. Yes. So I mean, that is beautiful straight away. Isn't that's it? right. And you've got all those are individual. So six. That yes. Little heart in the oh, the, the little, little one. Little yeah. Thing. I've got to say, why would I go for the smallest one? But same. it's just something. It's just cute. Yeah, so <laughs> cute. You can just put it in the corner of your card or anything yeah. like that. Um, and obviously you could use them as frames so like if you yeah. put the biggest two out you know mm -hmm. you've got that outside edge so you could totally like a frame so yeah. you can put photographs and things in there gorgeous and I love the I love the design on those as yeah. well it's not just a strong sort of heart you've got this kind of little wiggle this little frill that's right that's kind yeah of almost going yeah. around it that's not it I mean look at that very much like kind of almost French lace there's a wonderful delicacy it is, to that. yeah that is so it is so delicate and we call that the heart doily if it was on its own uh, so yeah. yeah 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 it makes total sense and then last but not least tell us about this one so this one was designed for like your eight by eight cards Wow. Um, so if you cut two of those and put them side by side, mm -hmm. obviously you, you can do them as you want, then that would be your basis of your background. But also what I've done on here, Ruth, hearts as well, aren't we? if you can see here, oh, yes. I've just cut into that yep. and then just used like the little lattice Gorgeous. piece and you can just pop that in. Oh, it's beautiful. You know, as an it? extra uh, a, embellishment. Bit. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Um, I mean, you've got all, th these should be £14.65, was that? Fourteen sixty-five each. Um, so definitely, definitely an amazing opportunity to get these together as a bundle. We're going to take those prices down for you. I mean, look at how wonderful they are. You've got hearts, you've got that big embellishment there as well. Um, we're going all the way down to £24.99. Uh, that, are you all right, Carol? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> 24. No, so the whole day is like this today. So that now works out at just over £8.30 each, £8.33 wow. each die, which is incredible when you consider those hearts. You've got six of those, obviously, in that heart. It looks like a heartbeat as well. You can imagine going... Doo -doo. Yes. You could create some fantastic kind of... Uh, maybe could. 3D or matting and layering. Yeah. Or loads, yeah. loads, loads, loads on that one. Uh, fabulous. And then it's certainly not, uh, well, last but certainly not least in a second, I'm just going to show you that's one of the hearts on there, isn't it? Isn't that cute? So again, yeah. you've, you've got pearls, you've got some of those floral designs. You've got one of those sort of heart uh, frames there on your anniversary, very, very beautifully uh, designed. And then we've got some amazing, amazing embossing folders now these are wonderful i'll show these to you because uh, we've got them kind of we've, we've got them um sort of embossed so you can have a little look at them in a little bit more detail you've got so these are six by six they're 3d uh, embossing folders so let's bring these in so you can have a little look at these ones so you, you are getting three it was a bit there we go if i tilt them forward so we've got first of all we've got the uh the music notes so you can see all of those in there. That is wonderful. And this has come in at price for you straight away. Then we've got, I don't know what we call that one. That's the Itsy Ditsy. Itsy Ditsy, of course it is. The <laughs> Itsy Ditsy. I should have known that. I should have known, sorry. It's because I'm all itsy and a bit ditsy today. That's why it I It might be that. ditsy itsy knowing me though. <laughs> it's Maybe who's yeah. itsy and who's ditsy? I'll, I can I'll be any, I can be any, I don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'm probably ditzy today. Uh, and then you've got this, the beautiful sort of script on this one as well, which is absolutely lovely. That's good. Does, uh, uh, do they all have specific names? I mean, I've just called that uh, script. But. Yeah, that one is the script. And I think the music one is the music script. Music And scripts. then obviously it's a ditzy or ditzy. It's, no, it's it's a ditzy. It's a ditzy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're about to burst into song when we say that. Uh, followed up with a bikini. Itsy <laughs> yeah. ditsy. Uh, and then let's have a little look at them so you can see. There we go. So there's your your, your sort of your script. I mean, it does look amazing when, when you oh, see it the does. crossing folders. Yeah. And obviously we've just done that in white. Imagine wow. it in your mirror board or things like that, yeah. your satin board. 
um, from Unky Dory and things. It, <gasps> they are truly amazing. Wow, that's phenomenal, isn't it? Really comes alive when you yeah, really see yeah. them. And obviously, if you're going over those with your rinks or anything, really, really going to yeah. make those pop. They're That's up. right, yeah. And also, what we tend to do, you know, like the hearts or something mm -hmm. like that, or your flowers, yep. um, cut those out and then put them back through the embossing folder so it embosses nice. either your flowers or your hearts yeah. or, or things like that, yeah. Literally, you can do whatever you choose. It's, 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 your, it's your canvas, basically. Uh, but let's have a little look at some of this in action, shall we? Let's go right. back to the Home Sweet Home wreath and see how we can start to, uh, to build this up. Right, so I've done so much of it just to save a little bit of time. So I'm just going to do the black gesso on this bottom bit. Same as I say, this is coming up later with Hayley, but I yeah. think you said it was on uh, Yeah, it's all on pre-order. Yeah. So just undo this. And this is the first time we've had our own gesso. Mm -hmm. And obviously we've put it through its paces. So Absolutely. making sure that it works as we want it to work, like on the MDF. And you just need one coat. So just get this onto here. So I just tend to use it out the lid to start with. Yeah. And how long does it take to dry? Oh, it don't take long at all. In fact, what we'll do, we'll just put this on one side and you'll be able to see it's just minutes. It's not, okay. it's not long, probably two, three minutes, something wow. like that. Especially on the MDF as well. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, that's a bit okay. So just pop that over there. Mm -hmm. Right, so then we can start. I'll just wait for that drying before yeah. I do the top of that. Um, so then we can start to create our bird houses. So I've covered these already. Oh, lovely. And that is just go to glue, straight on with your paper, yep. smooth it out, trim it off and file it. Fabulous. And same with these. So we're just gonna layer these up and decorate these a little bit. Okay. I've got everything on the other side. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the hearts, but I'm just going to use so much of it just to decorate this side. So we just get a little bit of our go-to glue on here. Just a little bit, just to yep. pop onto there. Okay, so then we can cut that off in a second. And then I'm just going to got a little couple of little bits of paper so you know we never throw anything away do no. we as crafters so no. just add something like this to this bottom part okay there then we'll just layer this one on mm -hmm. top just offset it a little bit okay and then i'm just going to pop that on top of there and then we'll put our string in between yeah. The detail on it's beautiful as well. With that oh, laser it, cutting, yeah. you can really do some intricate designs. You see, what I wanted to do was put pearls on there, but I don't want to cover those holes either. Ah. So I'm not going to put pearls on because okay. I like the holes. <laughs> yeah, but that's the, that's the whole thing you've got. With exactly, shorts. exactly. You have, and then we've got our little birds. So we just I've just done this with the white gesso. Okay. We're just going to pop those. A little under. love doves. Yes, they are, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> right. So we just pop those onto there anywhere you want and then I've got a little flower there so we'll just make one of these mm -hmm. up and then we'll do the others when we get on to the other part so all I'm doing with these is just these are the puff balls okay so these from your die stamp yeah die. so I just scrunch them up and then open them up obviously you can do them like a daisy if you wanted yep. to do whatever you want with these flowers and flowers at the end of the day then they're, they're never going to be perfect Mother no never no that's right be, so. yeah actually look more realistic if you do them without so much precision sometimes yeah right so then we just scrunch that up a little yep. bit you can have a go with one of these in a bit <laughs> i don't know whether happy to get involved. i don't know whether it's this one that i've got it for you or oh it might be the later one mm -hmm. if we get to that so right so we're just going to pop that onto there and then we're going to do this other one. So this is going to be the reverse of this. Yep. But same as I say, what you can do, you can just use one if you wanted mm -hmm. to. It's entirely up to you. Right, so just get a little bit of glue along here. So I've just done them slightly different. So we're just going to pop that across there. And there's the details of your puffball flower stamp and die on the side as well. So if you haven't got those yet, you can definitely, definitely add those into your order. Right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of what we call sisal, 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 whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just a little bit of hairy stuff that's going to just pop onto there. <laughs> <Or> hairy stuff. <laughs> yeah, hairy whatever stuff. Whatever you prefer. Yeah, whatever <laughs> you want. 
I do love a glue gun as well. I oh, I know, say. yeah. So just pop that one onto there as well, just level it all up. And then I'm just going to pop a heart, I think, on the middle mm. of this one. Because you do get your hearts as well. There we go. And then I've got a little flag. I thought I'd got another one of these. Yeah, I have. Somewhere. So really nice project to kind of make with, with other people as well, isn't it? You could buy sort of three or four of them. Yeah. Around to your friend's house and you all sit there for the afternoon, have a little, well, cup of tea. Depends what time it is. <laughs> cup of tea, Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we'll sit there and, and come up with really different designs. I think it's a really nice idea. Oh, you could do it with children, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah you know. absolutely. Right, so I'm just going to pop these two flags onto here. Just layer those on. One, oops, one on top of the other. Yeah. There we go. So it's just going to go slightly under there because I didn't glue it right to the end purposely. So this shows you as well how you can use up lots of different little bits of pieces of paper that you might have collected at home. That's right, yeah. I might put some hot glue on that because mm -hmm. I'm going to lift that up. I just need to make sure it's yep. stuck. Okay. Obviously, you're going to have loads more time than us at home. Oh, it? yeah, take exactly. Yeah, take your time. Because obviously, these, what we've yeah. done, has took uh, a lot longer as well. Yeah. Um, but you can do as much or as little as you want. If exactly. you just wanted to just paint it, then that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so this one, I've already cut it ready. So this is one of the paper pads that's coming up later. And I've okay. just run that through, through the embossing, the embossing folder. folder. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, I think so. I think we can see it there. Yeah. Yeah. That is, yeah. It does make such a difference. Oh, it does. Folders. It does. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to pop this onto the MDF. And this is all you do with your... MDF. I tend to do it just with my fingers. Obviously, mm -hmm. if you don't like that, just use a bit of card or something like that just to smooth yeah. it all out. Do a little patch test and yeah. away you go. Right, and then we can get that onto there. So I've cut it more or less level-ish and then we can just smooth that out. That's all we need to do. Mm -hmm. Just smooth it all out. And then we'll trim that back. So this is, again, all I do, just trim your paper back up to your MDF. You can use a knife. I tend to not use a knife because I'm not always that good with knives. Yep. <laughs> and I'd hate to cut my fingers or anything. And then all you do is just file all this back. And that's just a nail file? That's just a normal nail file. You can get sanding blocks, but we just buy loads of these in and it just smooths that edge off. If you do cut it with a knife, then obviously you do get a nicer cut. Yes. But for me, it's just easier to do that. And mm. that cut is, uh, that cover there is quite nice. Right, so then we're just going to pop the holes the through holes. here. So we're just with the uh, poker tool. Yep. And then we'll get these through. Hopefully, this is going to go through. And you could use string. I guess you could, you could use ribbon. Oh. But that's right. Yeah, I've just grabbed this because it was the first thing on my desk. Mm. That I've <laughs> yep. So, obviously, just pop this through. And also, so if you don't want to hang them, you can obviously just fix that to a wall or whatever you want Of course you, you can, to. yeah. So I um, think Producer Cat's going to use those as a dream catcher, should I say. Oh, is she? Yes. Nice to have it in the middle of a room if you wanted to, not just kind of flat against the wall because you've got that, that centrepiece to move around, so... Yeah, so you do get the holes in the top of there as well, but I'm just going to glue this here. Okay. So just glue it straight down there. Oops. Just glue that onto there. And then we're just going to glue this one again onto the top of that yeah. one. So that is as simple as it is if you want it to be. Obviously, you can do as much or as little as you want. Yeah, sandwich it together. That's it, sandwich it there. I'm just going to, oh, we'll just glue that up to the top mm -hmm. just to hold that. Just while it, oops, just while it, yeah, that's going to go into it, I know it is. <laughs> it's because I'm right handed. <laughs> right, so that's just there. Okie dokie. So then we've got that. So that's like the effect we're going for. So that is going to swing around there. Cute. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's really sweet. And then we're just going to decorate across the top here now. Yeah. So you can put another one in there. I'm not going to do that just for on TV, but you can do all those sort of things. And these are the fern leaves, what I was on about with yeah. the, uh, thank you, um, the embellishments. So we're just going to pop a few little flowers mm -hmm. on here. 
So again, that was from your loops. That's right. Yes, that one. Loops and lace. Yeah. And it is an, an embellishment set that you'd go to time and time again. Are. So you've got your bees in there, you've got your ferns, you've got lots and lots and lots of different embellishments to use there. He's saying embellishments. Hello, nice. that, that wasn't a good idea, was it? Stuck to that now. Have you stuck to that? <laughs> 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 well, it's all right. We're, we're going to have a quick, a quick uh, little look at... Uh, at, at um, Something else. Something else, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's just bringing your loops and your lace in there. So that's £12.99 on that one. And, of course, if you are a brand-new um, customer, if you are with us for the very first time, should we show everybody how to get involved? But if you've never done this uh, potentially before, uh, obviously there's different ways of doing it, whether you're doing it on the web, whether you're doing it on the telephone lines. It's very, very simple. And, obviously, you can, you can buy as much as you want to from the show right the way through the entirety of the day for only one set of postage and packaging. So it's very, very simple. Uh, a very sort of easy and simple way of doing it. And obviously our call centre, our, our customer service centre team upstairs are always ready to take your calls if you've got any questions or anything you want to ask them anyway. So nice and easy. Right, this is what I should have done, you okay. see. Not put it straight onto my map, there put something underneath it. So you've learnt something there. I did a live last night, uh, yesterday afternoon, and I did everything wrong in that. Well, there you go. And I, I said I hope it was yesterday and not today, but obviously it's carrying on, isn't it? But it's great to show you. <laughs> but, it's, but, it's, but, you know, there's, there's no real disasters. You no, can just kind no. of amend or just, you know. That's right. So, again, just scrunching those up. We will use the hot glue. So this is going to be, I think I've got two of these, have I? Yes. So we'll just pop these two in the centre so I'm going to put two together there okay so that one is a little bit different a bit more like a daisy that one where it's curled up okay and then we we'll just add some more of these just around this edge and then that's just going to decorate that up a little bit we've got a blue one here but that'll be fine oh we've got another blue one there so that'll be fine so obviously you can do this as much again yep. or as little as you want, just adding your little flowers. And then I've got a couple of hearts. I think this is, I've got one left and one right yet. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to add that onto here. I've done those in the purple because they're going onto the blue. They look lovely, they do as well. Yeah, so they're from your... Um, the middle of the house and everything. Mm -hmm. Right, so this is our B now. So let's just move that up a little bit. Can we see there? Yeah. Um, so I'm just, this is the layer of the B that we've Ooh, got. So yes. you get a solid one and one that's got your black bits on. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to use my, oops, my fine tip applicator now. Look at me, hand shaking. <laughs> Anybody would think I were nervous. You're excited. That's what it is. I, that's it, I think. It's, it the is adrenaline. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> right so and then that just layers onto there obviously we know we have yellow and uh black bees but you yeah. can do them in whatever color you want yeah obviously in our crafting world we do whatever we want don't we exactly right so just going to get that onto there okay and then they are really cute i think i'm just going to add a little bit of the blue moss just along mm -hmm. the bottom of here and the moss so, is coming up. I think that's on the uh, on the web, but we are going to have a little look at that a little bit later on as well. It's absolutely great. The moss. It is. It's gorgeous, and we've got all the different colours now. Yeah. So whatever project you're doing, this should be something for you to match it up with. Obviously, I've gone for the blue on that one. Okay. So there we go. How cute so that is that? is that one, and then obviously you can turn it round. Yeah. Or you could just do one if you. Want. You could decorate both sides of yeah. one. Yeah, and absolutely. then you've still got one spare, one haven't one you? Spare to use as well. Yeah, they are. They're fabulous, and all of that, of course, comes from just that one particular circle of MDF. Everything's ready to go, pre-laser cuts. You just got to pop those out and then create your design. And six pounds ninety-nine. I mean, a brilliant price point on that. If you use all your little bits and bobs from perhaps your stash, uh, whether you've got pieces of paper and embellishments, pop them all on there. Uh, but do stick with us. We are coming back to the other side of this with another really fabulous demo if you're maybe a little bit more familiar with working with your cardstock check this out in a second
Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we love seeing what you've been making and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobbymaker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobbymaker. Welcome back to the show here at Hobby Maker today. I'm joined by the fantastic Carol from Dreamies. Uh, we are going to bring you to some more gorgeous demos in a second, but I just want to recap on this fabulous stamp and die set. We'll do a few actually for you, uh, just in case you've missed out on these, in case you've just joined us right now. They are fabulous. There's a lot on here as well. These are big stamps and these are matching dies for them as well. They are, so, I love these, absolutely love these. And when you see them in action, the quality of the floral uh, sort of designs you can create are absolutely mesmerizing. I love this as well. You've got this beautiful, I mean, they're just so, so alive. They're, they're very sort of naturalistic in terms of, of what you've done with them in terms of the actual creation of the designs. Exactly, yes. Um, it's quite, if you say a simple flower, it is, yeah. but it's got all the detail like from in the, in the center of the stamps and with you having the stamps and the dies, you can either yeah. use your dies as is, so you can do white on white, yeah. or you can create like vellum flowers or things yeah. like that, or you can stamp and, and cut out with your yeah. dies. And they are gorgeous. I mean, that's, and obviously using the little pearls on this one as well. So you can create some beautiful plaques. You can use them for cards. Literally, Game World's your oyster. But you can see the variety. Because you've got some lovely different sizes on there as well. One, two, three, four, five, six different sizes. Yeah, yeah. So same as say, like, if you're doing the bigger ones for, like, home decor or wedding things or anything like that, you've got your bigger flowers. I think that one, what that. you've got there, will be the biggest one. Yeah. So even on, a, I would say that's probably a seven by seven card. You know, it can be a focal point, can't it? Oh, completely. I you just know. think that's, that's absolutely beautiful. And then if you want to decorate around, look at this as well. You've got some of the gorgeous flowers. You've got the moss on there as well. That's coming up in the four o'clock hour. Uh, but you've got your embellishment. You've got your pearls in the centre. Oh, my word. Look at this. Oh, I hadn't spotted this. <laughs> this little bunny rabbit is the cutest little thing ever. Oh, come on, you. Come on, you. What does it say? I'm so lucky to have a friend like you. Yeah, we're getting the right way I around. I think that's what we launched <laughs> last time we was here, the cute? card kit, yes. That's really sweet. And again, using those beautiful stamps and dies of the flowers on there. So lots of different ways to work with those. Uh, so keep adding those into your order because they are, they're incredible. So that was your puffball uh, flower stamp and die. Uh, which one did you want to have a look at next, my lovely? The loops and lace, why not indeed, because eh? it's obviously, this is the one that's got our bees on. Uh, the dreamies, divine dyes with those beautiful bees. So you have the, the sort of the, the um, I want to say the, blank. The, um, yes, the solid one, the solid so bee. like, oops, like this one. Let's just pop it onto there. Oh, sorry, do you I'll want to move? Yeah. Flying in. So there's your solid B, and then obviously you have the little uh, the, the, the part that brings you the detail, which would be that bit as well, which yeah. is where you see, I guess, more of the, the body shape is it more of the detail of the bay that's right there? yeah yeah they are they are gorgeous then you've got the, the ferns you've got the little sort of the leaves in there as well a, and a nice selection of different designs which is really lovely so that's your loops and the lace and then the sugared romance i'm going to show these two because i didn't do this last time so you can see here how they're going to look when they're cut out so i'll do them kind of side by side this is for your hearts so you've got six different dies there so if it's six different size dies you will use those all year round don't forget i'm presuming obviously if you put the larger one maybe with two well, if you go down to smaller you could actually create sort of a frame from those yes size, can't you? yes you could and also just think about tags as well you know, for like Christmas or birthday presents, just put a hole in the top there and you've got a heart oh, really tag, haven't nice you? Gift tag. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Uh, that's part one. Then you've got this wonderful, gorgeous kind of doily, uh, doily heart on there as well. That is lovely. 
I mean, lots of different things you can create with that as well, but the detail in there is superb. And last but not least, this incredible, uh, incredible die. I can't remember what this one's called again. I do apologise. Uh, that's the romance panel. Romance panel. Of course it is. I'd like that in my garden, actually. I'd like that on the side of the garage. Yeah, yes, in fence. metal. Yeah, that would be really Or nice, metal, please. yes. If you could sort that out for me, that would be Yeah, great. we'll try that. Um, <laughs> And again, when it's cut out, this is what it looks like. So you've got those lovely little hearts. It's really romantic with that kind of almost trellis feel behind it. You can use certain little sections of that. You don't have to use the whole kit and caboodle. You saw that a moment or two ago uh, when Carol literally just used a tiny little bit of that on the side of the, uh, the, the family there you go, you can see it there. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So that's your sugared romance dye collection if you want to grab hold of that as well. Um, and we're going to zoom into another demo because again, it's 10 to the hour and time is oh a ticket. Gosh. I know, I know, running out today. <laughs> so we're going to have a look at that using the... Um, yes, kind of the, yeah, the romantic. The romantic, uh, yeah. I so I can't remember that today. It's literally just doing that. <laughs> I think it's romantic panel or romance panel. We get that many, you know, and you just think, oh, crack it. I can't romantic. remember all the names. It's romantic, it's <laughs> It's got arts on it. <laughs> exactly. A lot of love with all of these today. Right, so, so just gonna, what I've got here is a eight by eight card and I've just cut two inches off of there. So we're just gonna pop this on the inside. So I'm using double-sided tape in this instance mm -hmm. for this one. We'll just leave a narrow border all around there. And yep. then this panel is just going to go onto there. I was going to put it on the front and then I thought, no, it'll look nice just on there. Mm. So if 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 it was an eight by eight card, oh cracky, I haven't got anything to show you. So use that and then another one, and then you would create your full eight by eight from yep. that one panel. And you put a strip or some okay. ribbon or something like that down the center. So this is going to go onto this inside bit just to make it nice mm -hmm. to look at on that side so i'm just using a bit of the this is our go-to glue in one of the uh, fine tip applicators so we'll just get that running down there there we go so that is just going to layer up onto that so i'm putting it right on the edge mm -hmm. so that we can still see that um paper on you know do you know? <laughs> and I'm sat here watching you do it, so I don't know which is worse. <laughs> it's I'm going to... Oh, dear me. It's, I tell you what, it's Sunday. Sundays do funny things to us here. Sundays oh, and weekend. glue that don't... I'm not saying the glue doesn't stick. It's probably because it's warm in here, to be fair. But, there we go. Right, so that's what you would do. Yeah. It's because I'm trying to do it quick, I think. I think that's the... Well, you, well yeah, exactly. You, you I know. Mean, I, and I did say we've got probably about 10 minutes left, so <laughs> something it's like the pressure's on. Right, so then we're going to pop this onto here. So this is uh, another one of the papers. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do, we'll just stick it in two parts. Obviously, you would stick it all the way round. Of course, just, it gives it all a, just for a bit speed. of an idea. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to just go onto there. Then the bit what I've cut off there mm -hmm. is going to go onto here. Nice. So we don't waste that either. And then if I've got time, I'll cut the heart out for you. Is that okay? okay? Yep. Right, so let me just try this if we've got, yeah, we're leaving a border. Okay. Lovely coloured paper as well. Oh, it is, yeah. Really sweet. I think, I think there's a multi-buy of the three oh. paper pads together. I think oh, that's well. coming in later right. with Hayley, yeah. Super, so they're on pre-order actually now. So if you want to have a little look on the web at hobbymaker.co.uk, you can find them there. They are at the final price as well. Not that, that necessarily matters. Obviously, if we take the price lower, you only pay the final price. Uh, but yeah, get ahead of the game on that and make sure you chuck those onto your, your one set of P&P. Right, that's, so you can see the heart. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, I have got one already caught, but I thought, you know, it is nice to actually see it cut out in person, not just to say, yes, it cuts out. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Have a little look at this one because all everything we've used in this hour if you want to go back and get your at home sweet home wreath or any of that you can do right and also don't forget you can use that if you cut it correctly could use that as a frame uh, yeah exactly. you know so yeah so right let's just get this out of here 
got glue on there. Oh dear, I'm having a nightmare, aren't I? Ailey not let me do the first show again. I was all right on the second well, one. Well, <laughs> I have to say, there has been, uh, there has been a phone note. Oh, <laughs> we'll always have you back, don't you worry about that. Just can't get that in. <laughs> Adam said, just the comedy value. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm known for, Adam. Comedy, but not like this comedy. <laughs> it's all good. Let's get the scissors in the in the thing. Yeah. I mean, the detail as well that you've got on that. I mean, you've got one cut out there. Yeah, I have got one cut out there, but just so you can that. see. So look, that's straight out Gorgeous. of there. Obviously, you just need to yeah. poke these little bits out, which I've already yeah. done there. A doily heart. Yeah. So isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, very fancy. Right, so we're just going to pop that on there then. So it's I'm really just nice. going to use the hot glue this time. Yeah. Now just pop that onto there. And then I've got one of the smaller ones that's going to just sit in there. And then one of the tiny ones. Yeah. So again, just for speed, we will use the... It's very English country garden, this for me. I don't know why. Yeah. I feel like I need to be wearing a big hat and having a lovely <laughs> cup of tea and a slice of cake. Could you sort that out, Andy, please? Slice of cake and a cup of salad. I can't salad. Oh, where's all gummage? Cup of tea and a slice of cake. <laughs> yes, please. I will as well. <laughs> all rounds, please. Everybody wants that. And then this one, I'm just going to... I've just got a bit of white card here. So if we're all right, are we all right for time? We've got about five, six minutes, have we, Adam? Something like that. Right, let's hope then. So I'm just going to rub this through the embossing yep. folder. So again, just pop that through there. This is just showing you there's different ways of using these stamps and dies, whether you're using them on your MDF or if you're a little bit more familiar with obviously using your cardstock, take them wherever you want to. It's completely up to you. It's, it's exactly. All, all crafting adventures, basically. So, yeah, so just one little bit of the card there. So, as you can see, again, so that comes straight out of there. And then this piece is just going to wrap around, hopefully. And just you can have it on the deboss side as well. Yeah. You know, if you if you yep. want something a little bit different. So we'll just pop that onto there. Instead of ribbon, I thought I would just mm. put some paper around. So nice then with that is just gonna slot into there. And I guess you can have something like that that you took in that you can actually take out. Yes. That might hold a gift card, that might be a little sort of an invitation part or something. I'm gonna be aware on this one as oh no, we're all right, I think, for the glue on that. So then with the flowers, I'm just going to put these on um, because obviously the time. These are the loops and lace. Look how delicate yeah, that is. Nice. Yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely. And they are so nice just to pop in. Yeah. So we're just going to pop these along this side. And this is the one where I'd bought a, a flower for you to do, Ruth. But I don't think we're going to get to it, are we? See what, see what I can do in the, in the, uh, in the four o'clock hour. Yeah, Ailey might let you do one <laughs> right so nicely <laughs> so again i've got more layers with these yeah so and then just scrunch them up scrunch them up really mm -hmm. and then just poke them in the side there so we're just gonna have that one up there and then we're just gonna pop these couple down here and we'll recap on your pearls in a second as well. Oh, yeah, I've not put pearls on yet, have I? Get some pearls on, Carol. Right, what we'll do then. <laughs> Let's just pop that on as it is. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll get some... But that looks great, though, doesn't it? With a little pearls stamp on. there. So grateful for you. Yeah, that one's coming up in the next hour as well. Amazing. So we'll get some pearls so on here. So we've also got your pearl tool. We'll look at that in a second as well. Oh, so yeah. Have you, you've got I've got one or should have somewhere here. These are great. These, I can see it's lying under there. Oh, yeah. Under your moss. Uh, so your ultimate pearl collection, don't forget the 7,200 pearls, a massive amount. So you're getting six boxes of pearls. You've got over 20% of the stock's gone. Uh, so you're getting three colours per pearl, but you are getting... Um, three colours per box, sorry, but you're getting two different sizes. So 1,200 pearls per box, and you've got the two different sizes of each colour as well, which is amazing. So you've got the smaller and the larger on there. So 0 0.05 pence per pearl. So two pearls for a penny. Simple as that. I remember in, 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 in olden days that were, you used to go to the <laughs> shop for, and you used to get like half, your half penny sweets. Oh yeah. Or you used to get like 20, you were Penny, days, penny Andy. chew Andy. or something. Andy. Andy. <laughs> He's not impressed with that at all. Just call just him Annie. Annie. Oh Annie. Dear. We got Annie. Right, so I'm just going to pop another three on here. But obviously I could have gone for any of the shades of the yeah. 
purple on there. So Carol's using her pearl tool. These are yeah. brilliant. So is that like a little, almost like a little waxy? It is. It's a wax, a wax tip. I just put those on halfway. Yeah, so it's just a wax tip. Oh, you've got yours there. Yep. Yeah, wax tip there. So you literally just... Just you pick up your pearl. Yeah. Pick they're pearl they're incredibly, incredibly clever. I mean, yeah, easy, it's just so it? easy. That's it. Just dot it on. That's it. It's amazing. And it does also pick paper up. We've got some daisy dyes and you've got just a very little bit. I, I bet oh. it would do it with that. Oh, wow, yeah. So, you know, all your little bits. It's magic. Just, How does it work? You just, I guess it's just, just, just... You actually... It's yeah. funny because you feel like you've really got a poke on it and you haven't uh, actually... You haven't. No, you've just got to actually, literally just touch it. Yeah. Yeah. Magic. It makes... That makes your life so easy. £5.99. Brilliant. And um, keep checking out of these. What have you got the other end on that one as well? That's like a precision point. Ah. So, you know, like if you... Let's just say we've oh, got so the... You could poke your bits out of your dyes from that. Yeah, you could, thing. yeah. Or if you've got it tipped over like that, just tip okay. it over, pick it up with your other one and then put it into place, you know, like, right. like that. Top just... buy, top buy, £5.99. That looks beautiful. Oh. I know you've done that incredibly <laughs> quickly, bless your heart. It's a bit um, of a mess. It's, it's not at all. It's big, it's just, I'm quite happy to take it from you. It's not a problem. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Uh, if that's a mess, your your real designs must be phenomenal because <laughs> uh, I think that's stunning. Very English country garden, of course. Uh, and, you know, you've got those fantastic stamps and dyes that Carol's used. Uh, you are going to see some of these in the uh, next hour at four o'clock. We've got Be Happy coming up for you. We've got the envelope box. The envelope box oh, yes, is amazing. It is. Uh, and the moss that you've seen uh, being used in this hour is also coming up. The floral paper pad that you need in your life. You can obviously say why. Uh, yeah. Coming up, there's loads. Uh, but th thank you so much, thank Carol. You. Thank Are you, you all right, my lovely? Yeah, I am now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say I'll do a second show next time. <laughs> I need to give you a hug. Uh, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, stay with us because we are making a return to Christmas at the other side of this. But keep shopping, keep checking out. Thank you very much, my love. Thank you. And Thank don't you. go anywhere because Janny's back at the other side of this. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24 7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. We've got a brand new show starting on Hobby Maker, Monday to Friday from 6am until 8am, featuring loads of new things. The Early Bird Special, a special offer only available during the Wake Up to Hobby Maker show, Who the Hobby Maker Are You, a slightly extended interview with our guest designers, Help Me Hobby Maker, encouraging you to email in with all of your crafting queries, and a sneak peek, the final 20 minutes of the show, letting you know what's coming up later on in the day. So don't forget to join us. Set your alarms 6am until 8am on Hobby Maker. I think I'll get five more Zs in. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. David, David, wake up. What are you doing? I'm catching some rays and having a pina colada. There's no time to laze around. Christmas is coming to Hobby Maker. It's June. I know, only six months to go. Up you get, my friend. There's a lot of love for Santa at Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, 
size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Happy Christmas! Yay! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! Uh, happy Christmas, everyone. Right, Christmas has come early, as you've probably just gathered by that. If you didn't join us at one o'clock, oh, where were you? Where? I don't actually want to know. Where were you? But we had an epic, epic start to the show. Uh, and I will tell you what it was, what happened, and what you might just about still have the chance to get involved with. Um, I am now joined again by the fantastic Jan Brown from Crafters Companion. Are you, are you all right? I'm good. I'm all refreshed. Yes, I've been and had a spot of lunch and I had a drink and I'm, nice. I'm good. It, it just went so quick. Didn't it? It was like, click your fingers and all of a sudden it was like two o'clock, wasn't it? I know, One o'clock, two o'clock, two o'clock. Can't Christmas. remember what time we're on. Christmas Honestly. magic, that was. Christmas. And we've got more of the same, I think, for the next we, hour, haven't we? We absolutely do. More <laughs> magic for Christmas. More yep. deals this hour. Uh, even more at five o'clock as well. I mean, five o'clock is going to go like that because it is jam-packed yep. to the rafters. I, I think uh, jam-packed. <laughs> That's got to become something, hasn't it? <laughs> Um, right, we started off at one o'clock with an amazing, huge, huge bundle. This was our mystery bag. We had uh, 100. We've got four. Four left. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. We are going to make a call on this. Oh, we, okay, Kat's made a call on this, as in um, she a phone call. Um, we're going to see, and I cannot promise, we're going to see if there is any more available. Uh, obviously, we're making a phone call that's got to go to another phone call, another phone call. Uh, it's Sunday, but that doesn't matter. We, we do weekends. Um, because this was so amazing, we knew it would go very, very quickly. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we can find some more somewhere for you to be put together. Um, all I will say is, this is a mystery bag. I've got four left. Glynis is now joining us as well. That could go to three very quickly. Jan's there as well. Not our Jan, another Jan uh, in Aberdeenshire. It could go very quickly. We know Jan's here. Uh, this was, now, don't worry about the price at the moment at all. You are getting a mystery bag of fantastic crafters companion goodies. All Christmassy, but various different opportunities to use them at different events here. But what we did earlier on was spectacular because, and I'm just going to show you, oh, I'm just going to show you these two still, and I'm going to keep with these, but I might show you one or two more. Uh, because these on their own, 
You've got an 18 part die set with the baubles, the Christmas baubles, and then you've got an eight part set there as well with your fantastic Christmas village uh, scene. They're beautiful, stunning, stunning scenes that you've got merry and bright on there as well. Uh, and if I just turn around, I want you to see the backs of these as well. So you've got your Christmas village with your stamps and your dies. You've got the beautiful baubles on there as well. Wishing you a sparkling Christmas. Those together, those as is, 14.99 14.99 would cost you just shy of 30 pounds and you can see how you can break all of those little individual elements down you can use them in many different ways so that's just two of those okay that's 30 pounds worth in there you're going to get over a hundred pounds 101 pounds 91 pence of value within this mystery bundle because there's all of this in here as well you are practically going to get a, a very very similar um, uh, bundle good representation of what you're about to get in here but I'm just going to pick out maybe one, maybe two. Oh, 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 oh. Woodland embellishments. Ooh. Oh, that's a cracker. Look that's at those. a cracker. Yeah. No, it's a card, sorry, not a cracker. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness me. Who bought cat today? Crikey, oh, right. Can we have a different? Oh, no, you're with us permanently, aren't you? Uh, right. <laughs> so, if you have a little look on the back, how fantastic is this? So, with your, your, your woodland elements, you've got a stag, you've got your fantastic branches in there as well. Um, is that a little, you've got your little, um, your woodland, what do I want to call it? Your woodland cabin. Yeah, it's your woodland cabin. Then you've got your trees again in there as well, your little forest. Kind of hard to see now. I should probably get that out. Um, you, that, that is a another stamp set that you're getting in there, dying stamp set. Can I tell you now, you won't pay for that, okay? You're not going to pay for that as part of this. Going in again. Ooh. Can I, can I just... Again. Are you having a lucky dip? I've lucky dip. <gasps> Here's another one you are not going to pay for. You have to have a star at Christmas. Yep. It's as simple as that. Your Northern Star, maybe somebody, maybe take that out of Christmas. Maybe some, somebody you know close to you has done something amazing. You think they're an absolute star yep. for it. Yep. Perfect card to be using there. Do you know what? That, that particular one, you're not going to pay for that die either. Nope, that's going to be absolutely free of charge. Should we tell you why? Should we show you why this absolute ultimate, ultimate deal, all of this, £101 worth in terms of value from everything you're going to get in here. But those first two I showed you, £30, that's all you pay. You still get the lot. You still get over, there's two left. You still get over £101 worth of value, but you are paying the price of just those two, can't show you all of those, just those two, it's a mystery, it's a mystery bundle, I can't give away all the, 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 the mystery behind it, at 29 99 that's what you're paying for, they're incredible, very good representation in here of what you will get, there might be maybe one element perhaps that's different, but essentially you're kind of getting to know what you're going to get, which I actually quite like, and none of this, none of this is perhaps something that we've just, you know, that we've just found in a corner, these are some of your prime dies and stamps yep. that you're getting, and not just dies or stamps, some of the best Christmas goodies I mean you've really gone to town on this and as you were saying earlier on this is something that you do at crafters as kind of a, almost a you know a thank you or a, a it is thing. Sarah's very very much One about minute. her customers I think she's very yeah, aware that without you guys out there we wouldn't be here we wouldn't yep. be doing this you know for a no. job um, and it's her way of saying thank you she puts a lot of money into these mm. mystery bags goodie bags the free gifts that come with the magazines and things like that there's a lot of the budget put aside for that on the basis that if we give you our products to try so you maybe try one of the stamp sets one of the dies an embossing folder and find your feel for craft it saves you splashing out on a whole big bundle of something that yeah. you're not going to use but you oh oh, 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 oh stop right press. okay did i for just now, hear that right you did oh. for now uh -uh, uh -oh. sold out but stay with us stay with us we are waiting to hear if we can get any more quantity for you we've made the call cat's made the call on the break so we'll wait and see because we knew that this would happen so hang fire if they're in your basket you've not yet been successful but stay with us stay watching because hopefully hopefully at some stage we're hoping within this hour because we said look we need it now really yep. like we need it fingers like, crossed yeah Fingers crossed. We, we are we're normally pretty good, but I, I can't make any any promises because you were like Ruth said. Ruth said <laughs> we're trying. We are trying because it is. It's got to be the ultimate Christmas gift, hasn't it? The ultimate ki uh, Christmas present on those. Uh, so keep watching. We will update you as soon as we get the phone call. I will let you know. Do you know what though? Do you know what though? I feel I feel like I'm having a wobbly. Oh, I feel like I'm having a wobbly wobble. right now. You can have a wobble. I'm having a bit of a, a wobble, wobble right now. Oh, like that. A little bit of a wobble. A bit of a wibbly wobbly. It doesn't mean I'm about to throw my toys out the pram and have a wobbly. <laughs> um, it means we're literally going to get wobbling. And I'll, I, I, it will all make... 
<laughs> Might not make sense. Look, I'm going to do these individually for you, first of all, because they are the cutest. They're so much fun, these. Oh, I mean, Christmas, what, you've got to have... I'm going to pop all these together. You've got to have Mrs Claus at Christmas, because, do you know what I mean? They're at the side of Santa Claus, Mrs Claus. It, I mean, she is the cutest, cutest thing anyway. Um, and we'll show you how these work in a moment or two. We'll give you the wobble factor in a second. <laughs> uh, so you've got... she got her oven gloves on? Yeah. She's busy, Adam. She's got a little gingerbread man on a tray. She's been baking. She's been baking the gingerbread men. That's why we've got the candy canes on the back of that as well. We've got gingerbread coming up in the moment. But what you'll notice on this, obviously, I mean, this is a six piece set on there. Um, and and it, Jan, you'll talk us through these, obviously, how they work in a second. Well, they're, they're great, but don't buy that. Okay, <laughs> £5.99, don't buy that. John Scott's back. <coughs> don't buy it. The elf. I mean, if that isn't the most joyful little elf, I don't know what is. Oh, it's Adam. He looks very like our director, Adam. Adam <laughs> Christmas. Apparently, he's got a little elf suit that has he wears. He, has on he got a little, little hat with a pom-pom on? <laughs> Apparently, he has. Apparently, he has. I have a little elf outfit, actually. I used to wear on Christmas Day on our sister channel, which was hilarious because I was the world's tallest elf. <laughs> <laughs> Five pounds. But you know what? Don't elf yourself to that. Don't get it. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Um, let me now show you the rocker blocks. These are great. Now, this is a two-part set, yeah, of your rocker blocks. You've got the larger and you've got perhaps the medium, because I can't call that small at all. And they are a staple, a staple, a staple when you are coming uh, to start and do your, uh, uh, to do your stamping. And that's obviously all year round, isn't it? What's brilliant on... Uh, practically everything that you share with us obviously at crafters you always take us through it i love this yeah yeah there's always instructions and if they're not on the packet there's a yeah. usually a link to our website with instructions on yeah you. exactly yeah. so you're never left on your own with this uh, so this is a great way of doing your stamping by hand by using the rocker blocks these are 9.99 don't buy them don't buy them we talk about them all the time the rocker blocks again great if you're traveling great if you really want to kind of do your stamping manually and um, they're brilliant and they they are kind of as they sound so they have that kind of curve on them which makes yep. them rock so it just gives you the opportunity so to use those front to back or back to front whichever you whichever way you prefer to rock it will work both ways whichever way you even rock and pressure roll. on them yep yeah so you've got the larger surface for larger stamps then the long narrow ones great for sentiment strips yep. and things like that yeah they're brilliant so obviously if you're thinking about popping on your little your little elf on there you can but um <clears throat> don't buy it don't buy it. don't buy that on its own don't buy the elf on its own and don't buy mrs claus on her own because we're going to do you a Christmas bundle. And I have to say, this is very generous because your rocker block isn't a Christmas specific element at all. That is something you are going to use. Core tools. Every day, yep. day in, day out. It's one of your core essentials, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that together with your elf, with Mrs. Claus, ready to go with the wobble factor, which we will, will, we will tell you how they work for an amazing, amazing price on these today. They are fabulous. I mean, they, they are the cutest characters. You will want these in your life. They're going to make the most wonderful cards, gift tags. Again, so much you can do with those. But we're going to do the most fantastic, fantastic price on them for you. So this is for your two fantastic stamps and your rocker blocks. Let's crash that price down. This is when you need to buy them. This is when you need to buy your elf, Mrs. Claus, and the rocker block as a set. Because we are giving you today both of those for free. Freebies. Free, oh, she said dropping them all. That's because they want to come home to you. So your <laughs> elf and Mrs. Claus are <coughs> free of charge. And they're at, so if you perhaps don't have your rocker blocks, maybe you're just starting off on your stamping journey, how lovely to start it. And you've got those for free as well. Really, really cute. That is, that's why I've said, don't buy it. Buy it now. If you've already checked out on anything, you can always call the contact centre. 8000 001 Give them a call absolutely go for it and to be fair if you're just starting out and you're thinking oh I love the stamps Ruth I'm I'm probably not going to do so much for Christmas gift them yep gift them yep or vice versa if you've already got the rocker block you yep. know you want the stamps you can actually gift the rocker blocks to someone yeah totally. make a great gift for somebody that's just starting on their crafting yep. journey maybe you've been doing yep. it for a long time and one of your friends has been saying for a bit now oh, I'd love to do that yeah and you gift them and then you can sit and start to do it together yeah really Using nice means to, do that. to actually join in doesn't it yeah totally yeah, yeah. Lots of these in baskets already. Hello, Natalie. Nice to see you there. Tracy's there. We've got Mary and Lynn and Susan and Jean. Uh, Jean? Not Jean at all. Jean. <laughs> Where's my head right now? <laughs> 
three. It's 20 past three on a Sunday. Do you know what I mean? Gin. Uh, nine and <laughs> 11 o'clock. 9.99. A fantastic, fantastic bundle. That is a bargain. That's a posh bar a bargain. Posh bargain, I was going to say a then. Um, a posh? A bargain. A bargain. A posh bar round. Uh, look, we know Sarah is incredibly, incredibly generous. We've seen that anyway with that amazing mystery uh, bag, a bundle which we've not yet heard on. We're going to make the. We're hoping, we're hoping, we are waiting. Yeah, I'll give him another poke. I know Liam's in, <laughs> in a forest somewhere or something. He's in a field. I don't know where, where he is, uh, but that's all right. $9.99. Fantastic, fantastic deal. Keep going through on that because do you know what? I'm going to do that again for you. I'm going to do that again for you and I'll show you why uh, because maybe. Oh, look at the little Robin. Now, if that isn't the perfect, perfect character to go bob, bob, bobbing along, I don't know what is because this is the wobbling Robin. The wobbling? That's hard to say. The wobbling, wobbling Robin. Robin. It's great. And he will wobble. They will. He will wobble. You yep. can see that little kind of coil on there. You, you'll see how that works in a second, I promise you. Uh, but then your little Robin, I mean, what a cute little Robin he is as well with his little scarf on. He's so cute. Uh, and obviously you can have his little Robin red breast. You can colour him in any which way you want to. Don't buy him. Don't, same thing applies. Don't buy him. Don't buy it. Then, friendly little gingerbread man. Isn't that cute? So that's the gingerbread man, I think, that Mrs. Claus was cooking. A little, although that sounds a bit vicious. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's going into the grim tales, isn't it? A little bit. Um, he's a little, yeah, he's, he's very happy with life, though. You can see he's very chirpy. And again, you are going to get this wonderful wobbling gingerbread man. And it will really give you the chance to make your designs come to life. They're so festive, but they're incredibly fun. Don't buy it, though. Don't buy that, even though you're getting a seven-piece die and a six-piece die for your Robin. Because again, I'm going to give you the chance to rock and block. Rock your block. Rock a block. Um, $9.99 on its own so if you're thinking well if i've already got the other set Ruth, i don't need another rocker block no you don't but somebody else will absolutely somebody else i'm sure you can invite in uh, and get involved with all of these crafty deals because they're fab oh natalie sent us a, a message i do believe uh, we'll have a little look at that where's she gone there we go natalie said i wanted the larger size of rocker blocks but now have two free stamps Boran. <laughs> there you go <laughs> just see? the job just the job. Yeah, yep. exactly. That's fantastic. And we're going to do exactly the same with this bundle, which is amazing. So keep your rocker block for a rainy day. You might have one at home, one when you're away if you want to. Uh, but if you absolutely want to perhaps give one to keep one where? <laughs> in the motorhome. I've never heard that before, Kat. I thought you were in the moho. The moho. I've never heard that. No, I haven't. I must admit, I, I guess what it was, but I've never, moho. I've never heard it referred to as a moho before. No, I haven't. It sounds like a haircut, really. <laughs> uh, $9.99. I'm trying to think of other expressions and I can't even, I'm, I'm not even going to say them out loud because they'll probably come out wrong. Uh, but yeah, fabulous. Isn't that lovely? $9.99. Ninety-nine. This is really going to get you going uh, and, and bring you into the crafting world, which is absolutely amazing. For a fabulous price to get two free dies like that, I think is incredible. They're so beautiful, aren't they, those? And Christmas comes around. And you've got your sent the sentiments in there. There are. Yeah, to say that, you know, those. they're a little packet. There's a lot crammed in there. Yeah, there really Honestly, is. Honestly, there really is. Can I, can I open one of those up? Am I allowed? Is that naughty? Or we, oh, well, actually, well, I won't. I've got to say, I've got the gingerbread safe. man over here. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, shall we, shall we do a little Let's demo? Let's have a little them. look. They are very, very cute, I must admit. So, you know, if you've got sort of kiddies crafting with you and things like that, these are perfect. Um, the little stamp, so this one particular is about two inches tall. You can see there we've got so the stamp sweet. set. <coughs> Excuse me. But around him, it is packed with little sentiments that fit with it. So for this one, you've got goody gumdrops. We've got have a tasty Christmas, peace, love and sweets, and then gingerbread wishes and kisses. Oh, so they're horrible. all in there. And then you get the metal work to cut out your stamped image and then the little wobbler bit, which I will talk you through. So what I'm going to do, there is a little bit of an instruction uh, mm -hmm. sheet in there as well. It just says simply die cut the mechanism and manipulate your acetate to show the desired 
spring effect. They do recommend that you cut this out of acetate, but I'm actually going to cut it out of a little bit of cardstock yeah. while I'm here because acetate's not easy for you guys to see at home. So first thing we're going to do is just stamp him out very quickly onto, and because he's gingerbread, I thought, well, we're halfway there with the craft card. So I'm actually oh. going to stamp him onto craft card. Uh, just show you how that works. I'm not going to do a lot of colouring because I've already got one uh, done, but I wanted to show you the stamping and the cutting out element. So again, just to add your ink of choice, depending on what your colouring medium is. I was going to colour with my alcohol markers, so I've got my alcohol proof ink there. Literally stamp him onto your cardstock whether this be a white card I just chose this because I thought well, I'm halfway there with the gingerbread I can yeah. just color around him then you can see he's so oh, so cute he really is and then I was going to take the pens I've just got sort of red for his hat little bit of brown to shade him with I've got my white gel pen which shows up terrific on the um the craft card just to fill in the little bits of icing that would be oh, on him nice. Yeah, so if you've got a, a little white gel pen there, that shows up really, really nicely. But as I say, I've got him already done and coloured in, so he actually looks oh. like so. So we'll just save a little bit of time with that. And to get him to that stage, you're going to take your metal work here and literally just place it around it. Fab. Seal it with a little bit of tape because you don't want it to move. And you should be able to see the whole of your image mm -hmm. inside that die. Okay, and then pop it on there and literally pop him through your die cutting machine. Now, the way that I've actually worked with these for this, the, uh, the demo that I'm going to do, I've actually cut it out once like this with the stamp and then I use just the die on its own to cut another layer yes. of the craft card and stuck them together because I wanted something a little bit more uh, durable for, mm -hmm. to put on my design. So you can see there, when we pop all this to one side now, let me just move that out of the way, you've got your little guy there ready to go okay. on your project there. You can just see him there. Absolutely, so, so cute. And as I say, when he's coloured in, this is what he looks like coloured in there, all ready to go. Now, the mechanism is about the size of a, a penny. Um, so I'm just going to take this off here and you can see it's like a little coil. Okay. Okay, so let me just pop those to one side. It's just like a little tiny coil. So again, if I pop this in, it recommends that you do this in a piece of acetate. All right, but as I say, it's not the easiest thing for you guys to see. So I'm going nice. to cut it out of the cardstock so that you can see it there. And again, just pass that through the machine. And what it does is create that lovely little coil which becomes the spring behind him and allows him to sort of wobble. So you're not sticking him flat on yeah. your project. It just gives you that movement behind there. So let me just make sure I don't lose that bit. You can see there now we've got that lovely little coil let me just take that one off the plate there. Okay. And what we actually, it tells you this in the instructions. It tells you to pop a tiny little bit of glue or tape in the center of the coil. Right. And then a tiny little bit on the outside. But you need to do that on both, on opposite sides. So if you're sticking into the center here, you need to flip it over and stick on this side for the end bit or vice okay. versa, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, I'm not gonna pull this one too much with it being card. This is why yeah. we recommend using the acetate because it's got more sort of um, rigidity with it. Mm -hmm. But you're basically gonna manipulate it and you can see how we've got that sort oh. of spring shape appearing. Back yeah, you detail. just see there, yeah? And this is gonna allow your, your um, design to move. So on the back of here, I've actually got my little coils there in acetate oh, yeah. ready. You can just see them on the back there. Yes. And we can actually sort of pull from the middle here, if I can get my pokey tool. This will, this will cut out with your machines and you can, can you pick that up there? Yep. They're not the easiest thing to see, are they? You can just see how we've got that behind it there. If I put it, where's the best place to put it to show you? See that. you see that okay? Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, fantastic. Look, let me just lift it up again. That's perfect. Just how we had it there. 
There we go. Look, you're you brilliant. Are. You can just see how you've got that sort of movement in yeah. there. Yeah. So he's ready. He's ready to go. And I stamped out a little sentiment as well. I love the sort of gingerbread kisses and gingerbread wishes. And what I was going to do is just pop him on a tag. So I've just cut a couple of pieces of cardstock to make uh, just a tag die that I've got in my stash at home. And we're just going to make a little tag to pop him on. Okay, and you know, you, these are great for if you're wanting to make a batch of Christmas tags. If you sell your things at craft fairs, you could make like a little pack of six and package them up and actually pop them into a, a gift bag, you know, sort of to mm. sell. So I'm just going to layer one of those on top of the other. And then on here, I've just popped some tape right in the very, very centre of that coil. And I've used my red line tape for this. When I'm working with acetate, I find that to be the best option. Yeah. All right, and I'm just going to take the back layer off. I just want to take that off rather than the whole piece of tape. There we go. All right. Oh. And then you're going to stick him as if you're sticking him down onto your design here. Okay. But because it's got that behind him, here he goes. Here's his wobble, wobble. They, are they so really adorable, are aren't they? cute. Yeah, and I think for the kiddies as well absolutely great so again i've just used the smallest one out of my tag die to add in that lovely gingerbread wishes and kisses okay so we're going to pop that one on here i've also done a little tiny bow all right sort of just looking through my dies at home to see what i'd got available and that one's going to go right at the top of the tag just there and then we need something to pop him on. So I've already made a little gift box with his friend on here. Oh, that's He's wobbling cute. on the gift box. And I thought this would just look nice on the top of there, just as a gift, you know, whatever. You could even, if you, if you make your own gingerbread, how great would it be to put some homemade gingerbread just oh, inside gosh. there yeah, and actually now give that to somebody. <laughs> now, I'm no good at baking whatsoever. I stick with the paper craft products because me and, yeah, me and baking don't get on. But yeah, all of, those, um, all of those that we've got on. So we've got Mrs. Claus, we've got the Robin, we've got the little gingerbread and the elf. Yeah. They've all got that same little mechanism on them that we cut out but do recommend that we do it in acetate. That way you yes. don't see it and it is stronger, but you've got that lovely little wobble factor Gorgeous. on there. They really are a cute one them. to play with. I love them, love them. And of yep. course, you can find the acetate on a website. If you go to hobbymaker.co.uk and go into the brands, go into the different shops, you will find acetate yep. on there. Um, I'm just going to show you four different cards with those four different um, uh, characters. So we've got, I mean, look at that. He's with his mates there as well. <laughs> you've got a hot look. So it's the, in the centre there. So you've got your little gingerbread man in the centre who's got a wobble on the others are all sort of stuck with the uh, with the little pads so you've got goody gumdrops so you've got those wonderful sentiments that's by leslie that's beautiful i love that they're so cute on not even paying for them these are freebies of course you're paying yep. for your rocker block but you're getting the dies free of charge then we're going for our little elves now i just wanted to read some of the sentiments because they're so cute but obviously they're a little bit smaller so i just wanted to grab that so i could show them to you it says you're a friend like no one else <laughs> love it yeah yep. oh what fun is another one and a jolly hello is that ruth saying is it <laughs> you're a friend like no one else um, <laughs> gorgeous so you've got the two little elves there again on the uh, i wonder what a group of elves should be called oh now then the collective the mm. collective noun for a, for a group of a elves. group of elves i don't know that i don't know i'll give you a minute on that send it send send in the, i don't think there is actually one cat i'm just like you know a you'd mischief be surprised of elves. maybe well, i like a mischief of elves yep a drove, I'll go, I like a mischief, a mischief of elves. We've been like mischievous elves today. <laughs> then we've got, look at this, is lovely. This is Mrs. Claus. She's just freshly cooked those gingerbreads in the kitchen. Again, some wonderful sentiments. I just wanted to show this to you. So that's your, so you can see your stamp and then you've got your die. That's obviously the kind of mechanism. And again, in terms of sentiments, there, it says, have a sweet Christmas. Love that. From our home to yours, beautiful. And sending you sweet wishes. I had to get that out because I, I couldn't quite read them because I, mean, I haven't got my glasses. Um, and then that was by Cheryl Clayton. Thank you for that one. And then Leslie King, have a little look at this one as well. Gorgeous. Now, your little robins... Look at those. Oh, they're cute. Oh, they're, they're lovely, cute. aren't they? Real cute factor. I love them. I wonder what the, uh, the group, a group of robins, because is there a group of robins or just a group of birds? I would imagine there is. There must be. Yeah. I'm going for a flutter. So. A flutter. A flutter around, around of robins. robins. I like a flutter, a flutter of robins. Thank you, Jan. Mm. Thanks. 
Uh, so you've got a little collection of them. And of course, on the acetate there as well, which is absolutely beautiful. So those, you're getting free of charge, don't forget, because you're paying for your rocker blocks, but you are not paying for those fantastic wobbling elves or Mrs. Claus or the, the, the gingerbread man. Amazing, 9.99 for those bundles. Get them both. I know you're gonna get a double up on the uh, rocker blocks, but I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Sell it, sell it to your friend, just saying. <laughs> you could be generous, you could just give them, absolutely, but just saying. Right, very, very quick deal for you on our um, Christmas tree sets here as well. These are your stamps. So I'm going to start with Merry and Bright, Season's Greetings and Merry Little Christmas. Do, 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 do. Uh, so let's start with Merry and Bright. We've probably got a tune for every single one of these. Uh, so £4.99, it's a lovely little stamp. You can see the way that's kind of uh, the way it's been built, basically. May your days be merry and bright. And I love all the different sort of script. You've got different, if you can see that, every single word that you've got is different, whether it's perhaps done in a more bold stamp, whether the, the actual typing, the fonts are different all the way through. Yep. And then the sentiment creates a Christmas tree. It sure does. It's I've adorable. popped you a few samples, I think, to one side. Uh, have indeed. They are. Uh, yeah, they are lovely, especially, I think these look really, really nice. If you like heat embossing oh, so nice. to sort of do them or like kind of dark color with a, a gold embossing powder or something like that yeah isn't that yeah? lovely but each one of them creates that tree shape but they're all different hold on that's different yeah i was looking at different. that again. Oh, let me just giving you a, a quick peek of what's good here we go that's all right that's okay so there we go so that's the one that i've just shown to you so may your days be merry and bright this is from laura Ta-da! That's gorgeous, actually. That's so you a can lovely, see different yeah. ways of, lovely of shelf using piece, it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, really fabulous. Look at that as well. That looks really absolutely, yeah, stunning. I like the little angel that you've got at the top there as well. It's very, very cute. So that's your first one, merry and bright, with your Christmas tree. Then we are going to have a little look at uh, season's greetings. Did you say? Have yourself a little, yeah. Have yourself a merry Christmas. We've just had a little preview of of that one so you can see how this one uh, is going to work as well so four pounds 99 on that which is going to look absolutely gorgeous um and just just all about incredible incredible deals on these ones today uh, so i know a bit like an octopus today really got arms and legs everywhere but let me have a little look at this so that was did i just yeah there you go so have you we saw that a little bit earlier i love it with the uh, the easel card design and then you've got the little poinsettia at the bottom as well. I mean, that is very magical, isn't it? And finally, certainly last but certainly not least, we have a season's greetings. This is cute as well. So four nine. Don't buy any of these, by the way. <laughs> Always feels weird saying that. <laughs> Don't buy any of these yet. Uh, let's just say. So this is gorgeous, isn't it? How lovely is that? So this is your season's greetings, which we can show to you here. There we go. How lovely is that? Season's greetings. I mean, imagine all of those cards together on your craft store. Maybe you're thinking yeah. about different cards for different ages, for different people, for different um, different characters, different sort of personalities. Um, well, we're going to give you the opportunity. That hair's back stuck on my lip again. That was in the first half. <laughs> I can't find it. I'm literally like going around my face. It's literally straight across my face. I'll grab it later. Right. In the meantime, oh, in the meantime, let's bring in. Oh, bless you. Oh, there it is. Have you got it? Oh, it was a cracker. There we go. Um, let's do a fantastic price on all three of those then, shall we, for you today. So you've got Merry and Bright, Seasons Greetings and Merry Little Christmas, which you will absolutely use all of those. Very beautiful, different cards, similar feel, but you can actually obviously build your own sort of designs uh, with those. Should be $4.99 uh, each, so we should be looking at £15 for that sweet of a loveliness, but we're going to do you a fantastic price on this again today. Honestly, it's gone. Is that where we can it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that gasp then was just that that price got, came in my ear before it came on the screen, and I was just like, I, What? My heart, I can't, can't go with this. I have no idea it's going to go. Goodness me. Yeah. Six, nine, That's nine. for all three of them. So that's that's hold on. Wow. So that's like, and that's like two pound thirty three per. Wow. Yep. And this isn't you know what we're talking. That's amazing. Uh, Twenty percent of the stock's gone. Thirty percent addition is is it? They're going to fly. 
that is you will use these these are classics as well real aren't they? nice um oh quick goodness. cards as well with those you know yeah, it might just lovely. be matting and layering and that on the front maybe a little yeah. bow or something and you've got your christmas card My if you goodness. like batch making uh brilliant for that yeah absolutely that's incredible. You, you that literally, is crazy. That is crazy. You have to be checking out of your basket on those because uh, they are literally flying out of here, which is not a surprise. I'm totally shocked by that. £2.33 each stamp. That's just, that is, that is, look, Christmas starts on Tuesday. We decided to do a bit of a Sunday, uh, a Sunday Christmas sale to get you going. This isn't last Christmas's stock. These are for every Christmas every year. Yep. We've just picked you some of the most incredible stamps and dies and bundles and just decided to go a bit wild in the aisles today. And maybe you've never, ever done this before. Um, give it a go. Obviously, when we see these brand new collections coming through for the Christmas, um, you know, we are doing a sale today. We are yep. doing a sale. Just yep. to put that out there, you are in for some absolute Christmas treats over the next uh, couple of weeks but my gosh absolutely these are in perfect condition there is nothing wrong with these whatsoever we're just starting we're just whipping up the Christmas frenzy and we want to invite you in maybe you've never done this before you might be a brand new bidder we've had loads of brand new customers joining us today so thank you so much for that it's dead easy to get going dead easy we're massively oversubscribed on baskets now if you've got your rocker blocks and you've got these what a brilliant way to start you just yep. get your inks absolutely fantastic i'm gonna do that again actually because we're feeling generous it's christmas you have to be generous at christmas of course we do yeah it's about course. caring it's about sharing isn't it so i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you again not to buy the merry christmas tree not to buy this merry christmas the merry christmas tree i didn't say that quite right did i <laughs> the merry christmas tree the Merry Christmas tree. Now, you know not to buy this. I've just knocked over me robins. Uh, so you know not to buy this straight away at 4 99 Wait for the deal. Loving that one again. Let's show this one to you. So you've got that fabulous, um, fabulous sentiment on there. So Merry Christmas. Really, really very much a, a kind of a statement on that one as well, which looks fabulous. And it does say, if you look at the bottom there, it does actually say Happy New Year on that yep. as well. Very, very, very cute. It's lovely, isn't it? And look at the top. You've got a little stag jumping and leaping across the top of the Christmas tree on that. Don't buy that. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. <laughs> then we're going to go to <laughs> uh, Most Wonderful. It's the most wonderful tree of the forest. <laughs> Ding dong. Uh, four pounds. <laughs> No, you have to waltz to that, don't you? Of course. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. Uh, four, nine. Do you fancy a waltz, Andy? You're good. Okie dokie. Four. <laughs> wow, that was a that was a solid, definite no. <laughs> definite no. That one. Uh, so fabulous oh. on that one. I'll show you some samples of these in a second. Um, right here we go. Finally, it's a holly, the holly jolly Christmas. <laughs> oh, I love it, love oh. it, love it. Just makes you happy though, doesn't it? Does, it does, doesn't it? It does. You can't yeah. help it. Yeah. You can't help it. So have a holly. Oh, hold on. Let me read this properly. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas. Yep. Yep. There we go. They're great. So fabulous. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Um, right. Let me show you some of these samples. Don't buy that yet. Don't buy that yet. Here we go. You see, look at it there. Love it. Let's bring in the bundle because everybody's checking out on these already. Isn't that wonderful? Beautiful opportunity. So we're not going to charge you 14.99 uh, 14 even. Uh, we are going to go lower on that price point for you again they are fabulous you know where we're going you know be quick on this because these will absolutely be flying out of here they are absolute magical magical deals today they are gorgeous we've only got a couple left of the previous bundle uh, let's swap this one over so now we're going to have a recap there of uh merry christmas tree have i got one with memory i can't find that one i'll have, have another look you one of each i thought i had yeah i'll have another check clearly through. i've maybe missed one maybe i missed it through. might be me jan my you apologies know, you know it might be me that's right uh so this is your most wonderful there we go most wonderful that is lovely as well gorgeous choice i love i've got to just open that out because it's just beautiful they're fabulous aren't they really fabulous so what am i looking for i'm looking for um Merry Christmas. Just Merry Christmas. Very simple, Ruth. Let me just double check. I've not put it somewhere else. Uh, it, might, it, might, it might be yeah. me, Ruth. I might have only got... I thought I right. got all six out, but maybe oh, not. I think I've got that one instead. Have, you, have I doubled up on one? Maybe I've doubled up on one. I don't have to worry. 
I don't, not to worry, it's all good, it's all good. Look, before I find that, these are gone. <laughs> so we haven't got to worry about it. You are getting all three for 6 99 So basically, five pounds each or two pound 33 in a bundle. Amazing. All completely different if you've got the yep. other Christmas tree bundle, by the way. Uh, so don't think it's one or the other. There's no duplicates going on at all. Only four left of the previous bundle. So if you miss that, grab it because then you've got all of these. I mean, this is your Christmas cards set up, ready to go. Yep. But do think outside of that. You're not just going to use them for Christmas cards. You can make wonderful little uh, sort of framed pictures to gift at Christmas that uh, that perhaps you get out every year. Yep. I used to love your little that. Christmas tree shaped tags again for wonderful. Christmas presents, things like that. Additions to scrapbook. Pages. Pages. Yeah. There's so many different ways you could use them. You used a fabric uh, ink on them. You could actually yeah. stamp them onto fabric as well. Yeah, yeah, lovely. And set them onto fabric, yeah. And Christmas, I love wrapping at Christmas with just the, the yeah. brown kind of craft paper. Yeah. My uh, my brother-in-law got me a massive roll of it. I mean, it was yeah. I can hardly lift it, it's so heavy. You could stamp, stamp all over it. Stamp all over it and make your own wrapping paper, yeah. Guess what I'm doing this Christmas. <laughs> and on your ribbon as well, you can stamp on your yep. ribbon. So yep. you just get little bits. So you don't have to have the whole words, you just get the whole... Yep. Tim Foyle, are you going for Adam? Uh, wrapping. I had a Christmas present where we did a Secret Santa when I was on our sister channel, and mine was in Tim Foyle. <laughs> Bless. It wasn't you, but it was the, honestly, it was brilliant still. I loved it. Now, we're going to do the pop up dies for you next. Everybody checking out, well done, Anne, Tracy, Rosemary, Eunice, Susan, Leslie, Yvonne. I can't read your, all your names out. There's so many of you there. Uh, make sure you get all of those because they are fabulous. Okie dokie, right. We've got the Star of Bethlehem. Oh, we've got the Sensational Snowflake. And we've got the Stacked Gifts. These are lovely as well. Oh, my goodness. Let's start with the Star then, first of all. So these are all... Um, right, OK, so on its own, starting with the Star. Follow the Star. Uh, so you've got the classic. It's the Star of Bethlehem. I said the Northern Star. It, well, I guess it's, it's, it's as you wish, really, isn't it, for Christmas? But Star of Bethlehem. So that is your... Now, these are your Christmas, your Gemini Christmas pop-out crater card dies. Uh, we will see a little demo on these in a second. So literally, the, 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 the images that you're getting... Kind of, they pop out of pop the out centre of, the of your card, card, yeah, and I'm going to show you how that system works. I've got one ready-made, but I want to demo that sort of pop-out effect and how to yeah. sort of achieve that, yeah. They're fabulous. So that is your first one at £9.99. What do I need to tell you to do? Don't buy it, well of course. Done, Don't Absolutely. buy it. Don't yes. buy it. You have to do it like... <laughs> we have to do it like John Scott, though. Don't buy it. You have to, you have to do the arm movement. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Next one up, we are going to go for <laughs> Sensational Snowflake. If he's watching, he will message him. <laughs> I do love him. I don't, is he on his Ollie Bobs at the oh. moment? Is he in Spain? Oh, oh. he'll be lying out on the beach be with watching, the then, you? No, don't think not so, right no. now. Not right now. We'll send him a video. Uh, so next one, 9 99 This is lovely. Uh, Sensational Snowflake. I mean, that could be very detailed. What, what, what have we not got to do? Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. And finally in the bundle. Now, this could be for any time of the year because these are your stacked gift boxes. Brilliant <coughs> for birthdays. Absolutely <coughs> for Excuse birthdays me. on that. That's all right. We've all got frogs today. Uh, 9 99 I mean, that's just going to take you throughout the year. You can put different colours on that. You can add embossing. The world's your lobster on that. But what have we got to do? Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Don't buy, don't or what buy have it. we got? What have we not got to do? No, I don't know. Is that a double negative? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we're going to give to you though a fabulous gift on all of these amazing gift price. So you've got your gift boxes, you've got your uh, Bethlehem star, and you've got that fantastic snowflake. We are close to thirty pounds. Cat the cat, chop it up, dissect it, slice it. Let's take it down. Let's take fifty percent off that price point. Half price these are massive savings today yeah. we're not just giving you like 5p back or five percent off it 50 percent <laughs> this will not continue for all of our christmas christmas starts on tuesday here at hobby maker you are going to get some don't get me wrong it's hobby maker you are going to get some absolute brilliant christmas savings but this is a prelude to what, what's happening yeah this is a massive sale just to just to dip your toe in the waters of christmas £14.97. Get stocked up, get started, get ready, get ahead of the game. Because I have, I hate to say it'll be here before you know it, but it, it, it just will be. It will be. Uh, Beth, well done, Marilyn. Lots of crafters joining us, County Durham. Congratulations to you. Let's do the second bundle and then we're going to go in for our next demo. 
Wow, this is... I, do, I feel like all I've done today... I do apologise, Jan. I feel like all I've done is... No, talk. I think that that's what it's all about today, Ruth, isn't it? I just want to sort of look at the concept on this. I'm not yeah. going to do a full demo, so don't yeah. worry. It's about it's, getting those deals across today. It's I know. Just, they're too good to miss, aren't they? They really are. Yep. Uh, classic festive Christmas tree, which, again, you could actually make that more summery if yep. you wanted to. Yep. Completely. Just changing the colours and the design of your papers and things like that, yeah? Yep. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. <laughs> Don't buy it. Oh, look at these. They look like they're in love. Santa's reindeer. Yep. Got, which, again, you could make that more summery. You could add a little... I just want to add a little ribbon round his neck for some reason. Yeah, but, I mean, sort of think about masculine colours. I think that would be a nice one for the guys, wouldn't it? Yeah, tartan sort of in, as well. Yes. Oh, that would look nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Tartan stag would be Ooh, quite Oh, very nice. Yeah. Really lovely. Um, and finally... Oh, it's, I mean, isn't that gorgeous? So you've got your nativity scene there as well. That is absolutely glorious. I like that kind of glow. It looks like you, you can imagine kind of a warm fire yeah. in there, can't you? That's, That's the one I'm going to use, actually, to, uh, to demo oh, with. Oh, yeah, you ah. must have known. <laughs> oh, super. Well, don't buy it. Buy them together because all three <coughs> of these together... And we're going to chop that price up. Forget your £30 price point on that. We're going to chop it up and take it under 15 which is amazing on those. So you're going to be paying around 4 99 per die. It shouldn't happen. It generally doesn't happen, but we're doing it as a bit of a, a super saver deal today, getting ready for Christmas. Oh, they are just absolutely adorable, aren't they? You are going to absolutely make your cards this Christmas. Again, you can use these in so many different ways. But once you've got them, you will bring them out every year. You will yeah. work with different... Uh, oh, Okay, oh. Beth, I own it. John, well done. Breaking John, news. Break. We have an announcement to make, apparently. Do we do a drum roll? Thank you, Jan. I don't know what the news is. But... No idea. <laughs> it's a no idea. No uh, idea, but we had got a drum, drum roll, roll anyway. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Did we get more stock? Oh, oh we've did got you get more? through? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Liam. Oh my God. Brilliant. <laughs> Liam and the team at Crafters Companion, yep. I have to say, working very hard behind the scenes. Oh my gosh, thank you. Right, okay, in which case, in which case, now we can't do the same price. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for this one, you are going to have to pay the value price of £101. You're not. No. You're not. Uh, this is, oh, how exciting. Right, if you've just tuned in, quick recap on this, because we do need to move to Jan, but this is amazing. We'll come back to this at five o'clock, but just so we can kind of set you off on sale again, big mystery bag here. Uh, these two dies, which are massive anyway, you've got an 18 piece die and an eight piece. You've got that fantastic collection of Christmas baubles. You've got that wonderful, wonderful sort of winter wonderland scene there with your stamps. You basically, those two together would come in at just shy of 30 pounds, 14.99, 14.99. The value of this bundle in here is a hundred, with those, is 101 pounds and 91 pence. That's the value of what you're getting in there. So wouldn't it be absolutely ridiculous to say you're only going to pay the price of those two? Of course it would, because that's like a is that like a seventy percent saving? We'd never do that, would we? It's exactly what we did, and we've managed to get you more stock. Hurrah! Doesn't always happen. If you miss, and once these are gone, these are gone. I don't believe we can go and do that again. Uh, Twenty nine ninety nine. So if you missed it, and I know there was a few Janet, uh, I've got quite a few of you that missed out on the mystery bag. I did say if it's in your basket, stay where you are, hold fire just in case. And we've got it. So thanks to, uh, yeah, people are coming back and multi-buying as well. Great idea to multi-buy on these. Yes, and them actually. absolutely, yeah. Split them up. I well, might if, just If you run a craft you. group or anything like that, they'd be Fantastic. ideal, wouldn't they? Yeah. Maybe on your dinner party, you want to put us a, a little sort of gift at your dinner party. Yeah. That would be cute. Um, but we, we'll, we'll, I might show you one or two more uh, in the five o'clock hour of those. But I am just, yeah, if it's a mystery, close your eyes, just put your fingers in your ears and la, la, la for a minute. Uh, but uh, just phenomenal. Your value is £101. Very much representation of what you'll get there as well. But keep checking out on those. I'm going to do that because we need to look at this beautiful nativity scene. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demo the concept on this and then I've got a finished sample for you because that pop-out element looks tricky, but actually when you see it in real life, it's just a die. It, that, you know, you're just going to do a die cut. Mm -hmm. So I've chosen the nativity scene. It's one of my favourites. I know Kat said she liked this one, but I love this one as well. I think it's very typically Christmas, this. Yes. And I wanted that black silhouette, so I'm going to cut it into some of our black cardstock. Now, your die, when you first get it, you think, oh, it does look a little bit 
bit odd, but just to explain the pieces on here, you've actually got the detailed of the, the scene here with the stable. And then these ones here are going to create those fold backs to allow it to pop out. Oh, okay. So what we've got on here and the all the dies are the same they're all the same concept they're just different shapes and, and designs on them but each one has got a little tiny notch you can just see it each side on the design here there's just a little tiny notch on them and that's the bit that we're going to use to line up now this does come again with a little instruction sheet so if you prefer Brilliant. something written and something to refer to this comes in your die uh, in your packet now they're all generic so it actually demonstrates the star on here but it's the same idea for all of your designs right. so what I've done is I've decided on the size of my card that I want to make and I found the halfway point allowed uh, mine's going to be a top fold card so this is actually going to be the, the, the card itself here and I want the fold at the top yeah so what I've done is I've come down the long edge and I found the center point and just put myself a very faint pencil line in here rather than a score line if you score the center first you're going to end up with a score line through part of your design right. so it does say on the instructions to wait to add the score line in so what I'm going to do is put my die face down and where those two little notches are I'm going to line that up with my pencil line and then just sort of go for about an equal distance at either side here. And then when it's in the right position, get it taped down so that it doesn't move. OK, and then we're going to pass that through our machine. All right. So let me just I don't need the, uh, the metal one in there. OK, and pass that through our Gemini. And that's going to it's going to place the cuts in the right place. And then it's also going to put the score lines in the right place as well to now enable you to start folding uh, these pieces. And it's just a case of taking each little bit at a time and popping the, and you'll get to a point where it will literally fold in half. Yeah. I'll show you what I mean. All right. So once we've got that cut in there, what I like to do, actually, even though the die puts the score lines in, I do like to just reinforce those sometimes with my uh, scoring tool. So I'm just going to take that back off the piece of cardstock there, pop that to one side for a second, take all the bits out that we don't need. So most of those have come out anyway. Yep. Get those to one side out of the way. And you can see we've got the beginnings now. If I just fetch this one back in so you can see a bit better. Yeah. We've got the beginnings and you can see that this bit now oh, wow. is all loose. Okay. Just get rid of that one there. We don't need that piece in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my ruler and a score tool. And this is optional. Uh, I just prefer to do this um, just to sort of uh, help a little bit. And all I'm going to do is just follow where the dice put in the score lines and just make a little bit of a deeper impression I just find it helps with the folding because yeah. you want a nice crisp fold line along these and then we're going to sort of do a little bit of what we tend to refer to as mountain folds yeah. and valley folds mm -hmm. so if your fold is on the top edge or the outside edge we refer to it as a mountain and if the folds on the inside we refer to it as a valley mm -hmm. All right, so again, I'm just lining this up with my ruler and just going over where the die has actually put those score lines in. So again, it's not necessary. It's just me that's a little bit pedantic. And it does, it's actually worth the couple of seconds with when it comes to actually doing the folding. So particularly that piece at the top there. And then I'm just going to run this across the bottom as well here so where we've got those pieces at the bottom you'll see there's another score line now the original score line that we would put through the center again you can do this on your scoreboard if you wish but on that pencil line now I'm just going to score from the outside up to the design so from each side up to the design I'm not going to go through the center so that's all that work done there and then what we're going to do is just gently start and add the folds in so this first one you want this to pop up so we're literally going to push against that score line here and get the animals to start and sort of work the way forwards. And then you've got the people, you've got the little crib there 
and then we've got the animal again at this side. So all I'm doing is just pushing against the cardstock and you can see that that's starting to lift. Yeah. The centre of the card will fold as normal. So if you were making a card, you would actually fold that centre line in. And this is what I mean about a valley now because okay. we've created that shape on the inside. Same at this side. And then I'm going to turn it round and come this way. So again, we want this top section to come out from yeah. the card. So I'm going to, again, I'm just going to push against those score lines where I've added those little lines in mm -hmm. to get that roof to start to stand out away from the card. Okay, and then the last set to put in there, we've got a second set of score lines here. And again, all I'm going to do with these is make that mountain and just knit them along that score line. So you can see where I've added it in and just nip them along there so that we're starting that, that, that fold. Don't worry if it won't fold all the way across yet. As long as you've taught that card where you want it to go, which I've done all of them now, then I'm just gonna gently start and push against the card. Okay, and you'll find that the whole thing will fold across, fold it flat in the middle, and again, I'm just reinforcing them. Each time it goes that little bit further, reinforce those fold lines until you get everything in the right place. And you can see here how it sort of folds down. Line up the edge of your card. Okay. And then just reinforce where everything's folded okay. now. So across that bottom there, across the roof. And then I'm also just going to go inside and then reinforce this bit so when we actually f open it up now if I pop it back on that white one again you can see that's brilliant it folds flat and then you've got the detail and if I put the white behind it now I've just made this slightly smaller put the white one behind it you can actually see that detail Very so incredible. much more okay so it's just a little bit of time working yeah. those folds working those little creases in and then when I actually popped everything together I've kept it very plain on the front all right, just popped a greeting on the front, but you've got that lovely oh, gosh. pop out wow. inside. That's, okay. that's really stunning. Yeah. So all I've done there is I've added a bit behind the silhouette. So I've popped a bit back here. Yeah. That's got that lovely sort of orangey glow on it, like you said, to create the idea that there's some sort of sunset in there. And then I've just cut some matte layers to go on the top. And that top layer, the easiest way I can explain that one is when it's laid flat. So say this was your inside layer, pop the die on it again, draw around the outside, and then I cut through into the middle and cut that out, which creates you the aperture here. You can see all the way around here where it's been cut. I've just used the die to cut that and then overlay it so that you've got that layer that goes over the top to create your matte layer on the inside mm. there. I mean, you'd never okay. even start to even dream about cutting that yourself. or even. But honestly, it start. just, you know, you think, oh, my goodness, how on earth that being achieved? But yeah. when you see it, you know, yes, as I say, the, the most time, I think, is just making sure that yeah. you've got all those little folds it's in the right stuff. place and the inside. But They're yeah, fabulous. absolutely. And they all work the Thank same. You. So whether it be the snowflake or the star or any yeah, well, of the other designs, of those. same concept. Yeah, yep. let me show them to you. Thank you. So they, just to give you a bit of an idea, here's another one from Carol. And you can see the front <coughs> of the card looks exactly as. And then when you open it up, there it is again. So you get that fantastic nativity scene inside. Same with your Christmas tree. You think, oh, it's a beautiful Christmas tree card. And then suddenly when you open that one up, there's your Christmas tree. Yep. How fabulous is that? Same concept all the way through. Let it snow. I was looking at these cards going, where are they? And then I went, they're inside. How spectacular. Isn't that gorgeous? Just to show you these. I mean, one, and look at the snowflake as well. Yep. These are fabulous. Oh, and the gorgeous. little stags. I think I've popped you the stags in there as well. Yeah, we've got the really stag there cute. as well. That was Nikki's design. And then the stags. Oh, my goodness me. Here we go. Again by Carol. They're fab, and there they are again, look. They're <laughs> wonderful. Keep checking out on those. They are absolutely amazing. We will have a big monster recap for you yep. uh, at five o'clock, and we've got even more deals at five o'clock. Literally don't know how we're going to do all of this. Oh, and you could, there we go. I've got to do your prezzies as well. There we go. So open that one up. That was Leanne. Just, uh, there you go. And of course, don't forget, 
That's gorgeous as well. Really beautiful for Christmas or for birthdays. Don't forget your mystery bundle. That mystery bundle is £101 worth in value and you're going to pay £29.99 for it today. Epic. So keep checking out on that. I'll give you a stock update when we come back with Jan at five o'clock. But they are literally selling like hotcakes. Over 100 gone. We've had to restock on those. Jan, thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll Busy. see you again Busy. in an hour. You will indeed. Even yep. more deals at five o'clock. Uh, we're going to have to go like the speed of light. <laughs> Uh, stay with us because I'm joined by the fantastic Hayley from Dreamies at the other side of this. And it's all about being happy. You'll find out what I did there at the other side of this. Don't go anywhere. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. A brand new show starting on Hobby Maker Monday to Friday from 6 a.m. until 8 a.m. featuring loads of new things. The early bird special, a special offer only available during the Wake Up to Hobby Maker show. Who the Hobby Maker are you? A slightly extended interview with our guest designers, Help Me Hobby Maker, encouraging you to email in with all of your crafting queries, and a sneak peek. The final 20 minutes of the show, letting you know what's coming up later on in the day. So don't forget to join us. Set your alarms 6 a.m. until 8 a.m. on Hobby Maker. I think I'll get five more Zs in. Let's do it. Gin. <laughs> I love Australia, but Turkey. Cow can in Turkey. I need to go back. It's my heartbeat. A cat, I love my cats. Sleep all day, get looked after, get fed, go to sleep again, get snuggles, go to sleep again, eat again, cat. Never seen The Godfather. <laughs> night in, because I'm old. Pajamas, big glass of gin, cats, husband, night in. Torn, Natalie and Bruglia. Uh, you give no, can't do it. Da, 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 I'm already. No, don't, can't even do, do that again. I can't even do that. That's horrendous. David, David, wake up. What are you doing? I'm catching some rays and having a pina colada. There's no time to laze around. Christmas is coming to Hobby Maker. It's June. I know, only six months to go. Up you get, my friend. There's a lot of love for Santa at Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, welcome back to the show here at Hobby Maker. How is it four o'clock already? What is going on today? But it is four o'clock and that can mean any one thing. I'm now joined by the gorgeous Hayley from Dreamies. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Yeah. Have you enjoyed the show so far? Yeah, of course. It's been amazing, hasn't yeah, it? It has, yeah. I mean, some of those dyes. I needed incredible. them. Incredible, I know, <laughs> absolutely incredible. I wasn't quick enough though, I was in here and I was oh, like, oh, I need to go back. <laughs> and, uh, I missed. Gone. <laughs> but amazing deals. <laughs> yeah, fabulous. And you're bringing, them, bringing yeah. us some more amazing deals as well. We saw a couple, obviously, uh, uh, some fantastic demos with you, with your lovely mum uh, in the first hour. And also your mum, Carol, was using some of the fantastic moss, a few elements, the gesso that we're going to kind of revisit in yeah. this hour as well. But also some brand new deals to take you through and some wonderful, wonderful demos. And just to tell everybody at home, just very briefly, how did this all kind of start for you? Because I, I meant to ask your mum this earlier on, and we just <laughs> steamrolled it into it. Uh, but how did how did this begin? Because obviously you do this with your mum, don't you? Yeah. How did you start to, to, um, to bring this to life? Well, most of my life she's always crafted. Yeah. So um, she was crafting when I was younger. She was knitting and things like that, mm. sewing. Um, and I was never really interested. And then yeah. we got a rescue dog. Um, and she was like, oh, I want to try and make um, some cards to make some money for this rescue oh, just as a thank, thank you. you and just to try and raise them some money because obviously it's, it's yeah. all charity yeah um and then she started getting into decoupage and things like that and i was like oh i, I can't do like this um but still very much like no yeah. I, I don't like it that Too much cool for yeah that. yeah i was still <laughs> i was still like mid-teens so i was like mm, don't know um and then i got to 18 and she was um demoing at a craft shop near us um and she would do the computer classes you know for cd roms and things mm -hmm. like that and then i was just doodling one day and someone said oh that would make a really nice stamp Oh. Really? So then the shop that we were at made the stamps for us oh, and wow. then we started doing little craft shows and came home with fifty pounds from the first one and I was like, Yes, this is the Win. this is my job. Yeah. Yes, I'd That's love amazing. to do this. Yeah. How cool is that? And that's how it all began. And yeah. look at you now. I mean, there's so many yeah. different ideas that you keep coming up with. That was literally just CD-ROMs and stamps in the beginning. And now yeah. we've got machinery, we've got embellishments, we've got a bit of everything. And yeah, yeah it's really grown and it's, it's amazing. Wonderful. It's fab. Look, we're going we're to actually start this out with the, the multi-buy and the paper pad because we saw a little bit of this in the earlier show and everyone's been asking about it. We did promise it to you. There's a lot in here as well. And they are absolutely the designs are beautiful on these as well oh and they are double-sided i didn't get a chance to check yeah. oh my gosh wow now you've got all that flutters golden glow and you've got subtle sweet pea i love sweet i'm growing some sweet peas at the oh. moment uh yeah I'm, fingers crossed the bottoms are looking a bit dodgy so we'll see uh, <laughs> but i do love a sweet pea i love flowers so you can have a little look all eight by eight in terms of size on this all 120 gsm as well the colours are gorgeous. So you get 48 in each pad. That's amazing. I'm going to show th them to you kind of, for, oh, she said, front and back. How lovely is that? So you can see just how wonderfully complimentary they are. Each one of these sort of beautiful, beautiful designs is going to take me a... All right, do you want me to find some out for you? Do you know you? what? <laughs> I'm not sure how to even do that. <laughs> do you know what? I'll, let me do them to you kind of one by... Oh, I'm making a pickle here. Right, yeah, let's have a little look. <laughs> let's look at the three actually yeah let's look at the three pads because you get an idea then of kind of what's in what's in what pad to be perfectly honest and then i can scooch through i'll grab them i'll do them like that there we go so you can see that you've got the three very distinctive uh, kind of looks to this and i'll show them to you kind of front and back as we move through so i'm with the golden glow at the moment so you can see that there's your golden glow so that's your front and your back on there as well i mean they are the quality of these as well is absolutely fantastic then i'm going to move to uh, your next one, I don't want to get these in a pickle. I mean, I don't, I mean one, just even one sheet of those individually, it, I think would be absolutely gorgeous to be perfectly honest. They are such, and they do actually, the pads are really complimentary, aren't they? Yeah, that's it. You've got a lot of different colours in there. And again, if maybe you're just starting out, this is a great starter bundle. You're going to get a lot for your money. And then obviously they're really usable. You can put them on MDF, you can do them in your card making, yep. you could do them on boxes all sorts of different things and most of the time our individual pads are 8.99 so you're getting oh, wow. a lot for your money okay. here and again great quality printed in the uk so it is They're a gorgeous, really yeah it's a lovely bundle and yeah. i'd the use these things. three all the time i'm sure and again you can use you don't have to use the entire uh, kind of sheet in one you can use kind of different elements but the price together bearing in mind you're getting all three pads here that's exceptional, I have to say. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those. I'd like that wallpaper, please, if you could arrange that. <laughs> yeah. That would be very nice. <laughs> I just stick all of those on the wall. So £16.99. 
Uh, they should be $8.99 each on these, don't forget. So it is a phenomenal, phenomenal deal. Again, just to show you around these, because they are just beautiful. 10% of the stock has already gone, so please be quick to check out on these. They're gorgeous. We saw Carol working with these as well in the very first hour, so I don't want you to miss out on these because they are just beautiful. Uh, did we see that one? Do I need to get the next one? There we go. Next one's superb. I apologise because these are going to be in a right old pickle when you get to uh, <laughs> sort these out. There we go. Is that Andy's job to sort these out again? <laughs> Should we give it to Andy? Why not? <laughs> not loving me today. Those butterflies are gorgeous as well, aren't they? Yeah. Again, really you could sweet. snip into those and make those into individual embellishments. Yeah, really absolutely. Wanted. These are wonderful. We keep on going. <laughs> Carrying on with the butterflies again here. That's a lovely colour. That green's gorgeous. Yeah, isn't it? quite subtle. And in that pad, you do get the lilacs, blues, and the greens. So yeah. it is a nice spring, summery sort of palette. Really lovely, that. Yeah. Is. So this is a, a kind of the first part of your all that flutters. Yeah. So we've done the golden glow. You've seen the subtle sweet pea. This is all that glitters. Not all that glitters, all that <laughs> flutters. I'm mixing the two up there, aren't I? All that flutters. Uh, so let's show these. You can, though. You are getting all three, don't forget. There we go. So that's another opportunity. I do like those colours. As you said, the kind of the greens, the blues that you're seeing together. Yeah, you've also got your watercolour in there as well. So obviously, if you want to do maybe a mail card, you've got a nice background to start on. Definitely. You can stamp on the top. And if I bring in the third one, look how well they comp. So it's not just about having the front and the back. This is your, the, the next design. And again, wonderfully complementary as you're kind of building up your scenes there. They're gorgeous, I, absolutely. These are these are just bang on. Uh, make sure you're checking out on these. I've got one more quickly to share with you with the butterflies. There we go. Superb, aren't they? Really lovely. So where the, I mean, it's a perfect complementary trio actually. All that flutters, subtle sweet peas, and the golden glow. So you can use these on your MDF as we saw Carol doing that earlier on in the show. So you can use, well, you could cut out, you could fussy cut out some of those little butterflies, the little sweet peas in there. Oh, I've made a right mess. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's completely up to you. Use as, as much or as little as you want to from those three fantastic paper pads. I will sort that out in a second. I've dropped a couple. I'll pick those up in a minute. Uh, but I want to show this to you because it's absolutely fantastic oh my goodness these are so pretty aren't they yes yeah, so this sample actually has used one of the elements in the kit and i'm going to yeah. use the other other element in my demo so i've just tied in a different sentiment here so you don't have to Jeez. use the whole kit as it is yeah you can then break it down i've just backed that with cardstock so you can make two with this if you really want to you do get the embellishments if you want to just layer it up as we yeah. designed it to be but obviously yeah. split it up make as much as you can they are, I mean, these are brilliant in terms of value for money. So this is your Be Happy MDF kit. That's not your prize either. And you get two elements or two parts of that. So that's kind of your backboard, isn't it? Yeah. And then you've got your MDF with all the detail. And again, laser cut so you can pop all of those individual elements out. And like you said, you can use some of it, all of it, none of it. Yeah, exactly. Really mix and match. Yeah, and because it's MDF, it takes a lot of different materials. So you can put your paper on there. You can put your inks, your glue, not glues, I'm thinking. Can, gessos yeah um, you can put your pearl you drops can glue on it though obviously it? yeah yeah you can glue it together <laughs> we um, know you yeah you can put gilding waxes it really does take anything and if you're not happy either just start again rip all your paper off yep. and flip it over and there you go you it doesn't have to be as daunting as it may seem no exactly and we're going to have a little look at our first demo six pounds 99 for this and if you've been used to perhaps working with cards or you've, you've not worked with mdf give it a go honestly we'll, we'll quickly actually bring a few of these in so they're all on uh, screen for you let's do the teapot because this is lovely we've got the teapot we've got the envelope box to show are you envelope or envelope 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 i never know until i say it, actually <laughs> this is envelope i just said envelope but i'm not quite sure <laughs> I'm, I'm not quite sure why <laughs> anyway <laughs> so we have your teapot it's teapot God, <laughs> you know have i gone upside down now so it's because well it well the teapot's the right way but yeah there you go right into the other way Unless you really, I mean, I'm just trying to get every <laughs> drop out of that possible. Every single drop out of that. Uh, now, again, $8.99 is not your price point on this one. There's always time for tea. Absolutely. I always have a cup of tea before I go to bed. You yeah. have to. Yeah. yeah. Always first thing in the morning and before yeah. I go to bed. Yeah. My husband's like, what? How do you sleep? I'm like, I just 
I have to have a cup of tea. Well, yeah, it's, it's the settling rules. down, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nice cup of tea. Uh, so now, do we, you only get one of those, don't you? We just got three. You don't get three. Oh no, yeah. you get three. Yeah, you get all three. <gasps> you, yes. For, get out for six ninety nine. Yes, and you can That's also make really and sell generous. with all of our products. So if you are doing a craft stand, maybe you're doing Christmas presents. Wow. Yeah, this is a, a really nice one. Imagine if maybe you put oh some of gosh. your crafters' companion dies on there, and you do them as Lovely. Christmas presents. That's incredible. Yeah. I can't believe you're getting three of these. And obviously, if you're seeing, and again, they pop out, they've all been laser cut brilliantly. Um, and if you're thinking, okay, well, how's this going to look? What am I going to do? Get ready. That's good. And the paper pads, obviously, that we've just seen, you've, you've used some of those beautiful paper pads within there. That looks amazing. Yeah, so obviously we've not coloured that sentiment on there, but you can do heat embossing on there, you can mm -hmm. put your white gessos, you can do whatever you fancy with them, and you can just leave them in MDF as well, like they do look nice yeah. just with the laser cut as yeah. well, if you don't fancy um, putting them all together. But again, we've used stamps and different flowers on there, so you can add to the kit, but yeah. you have got all the bits if you just want to use what's in there. That's so cute, you've got the little mini teapot, you've got little yeah. teaspoons, uh, the teacup, the, the little butterflies in there as well. And obviously you can stamp on them, you can do what you want. They're, they're lovely there. What a gorgeous gift. And you're getting three. I mean, so £2.33 each. What an amazing gift. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely. That's incredible. Maybe that for really your crafty is. friends as well. Maybe you nice. just want to add to their stocking. Yeah, that's, I love those. They're really cute. And I've never seen anything like this in my <laughs> life. These are amazing. Uh, so we're going to bring to you the envelope. I'm going envelope. The envelope. <laughs> <laughs> the envelope envelope. Tomato, tomato. Uh, <laughs> box multi buy. Unbelievably sweet, these are. And again, you've got everything comes to you in, in terms of your MDF. Um, look at that. How gorgeous. So if you wanted to, look at the little. <laughs> um, if, so obviously, I'd have that by the front door. Well, you could put it by your front door, cat, or if you wanted to, you could hang it on the wall by the front door because you really have thought about everything here. I can't take credit, that's Jimmy that is. Is it? Yeah. Good work Jimmy. Yeah. Good work. So <laughs> you can actually pop that on the wall and then when your post comes through you can put it on there. How about for a wedding? You know you sometimes get the little areas to put cards and things. Yes. You can have a couple of different ones of these or cash. Yeah, let's think about this correctly, Adam. Uh, so you have <laughs> cash <laughs> at the wedding. You, you can have a few different ones. You could have house fund. You could have yeah. your holiday fund, you know, Ruth's clothes <laughs> fund, whatever, Ruth's makeup, uh, whichever you wish. But also, you don't just get that one. You get the two little, the two sort of baby ones as well, don't yeah. you? Adorable. I mean, just gorgeous. You could have your business cards in there as well, couldn't you? Oh if you've my got gosh, your yes. That would be so, so cute. Cat was on the same, same wavelength <laughs> there as well. But again, <laughs> wonderful little gifts. If you've got a little message you want to send to somebody or maybe somebody's had a couple of, of rubbish days or have had a bit of a downtime, you want to send them something lovely, you've got this wonderful kind of exploding bouquet of flowers from within those i think they're absolutely gorgeous i can imagine invitations for those as well if you want to ask somebody to be oh, your bridesmaid yes, or that would be really cute you can adorable. just put a little tag in that pulls out and just says well you've been yeah. my bridesmaid and also maybe if you've got somebody that's in hospital and they can't have real flowers in now oh great so that'd be a nice little gift wouldn't it that's just a to really good call. Say thinking of you aren't they wonderful and not your price today you're going to get all three of these and we're still going to go down the price as well I love that as well because you've actually covered the, can you see the edges? You've obviously got those amazing pearls, but actually you've got little pieces of ribbon going yeah. all the way around on there as well. They're adorable. You could obviously put a little sentiment that's used in the embossing folders as well from earlier on. Utterly gorgeous. And I think you can really make these masculine or feminine. Feminine? <laughs> Not quite sure what feminine <laughs> is, but anyway. <laughs> 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 no idea. Uh, <laughs> nine and nine. Ten. Told you, told you. It's cup of tea time. <laughs> uh, right, let's bring the moss to you right now as well because we've seen this a little bit <laughs> earlier on. Fle Flemish maybe was a, maybe was where I was going. So you know, global. <laughs> uh, right, so let's do <laughs> let's do your moss. I love this as well. It also. It also reminds me of coral when I'm looking at the yes. top of those. Yeah, imagine if you're doing a sea project and then you put it all along the bottom, like you say, as coral. Yeah. 
Absolutely. I, yeah, that's just going to give you the fabulous finishing touches. You've got more of your classic colours, obviously, your forest floor greens, but even kind of the purples. Some of these different colours, if you think about heathers, there's very many different colours out there. I love these. Uh, no, the plant. <laughs> <laughs> 20, heathers, the plant, not the musical. I've not, I don't know too much about the musical, actually. I've heard it's very good. £29 from the musical theatre queen. £29.90, not your price. You're getting 10 grams and 10 different colours. Oh, they're really soft. I expected them to be spiky. Oh, um, yeah, it's really soft, isn't it? Oh, they're really soft. Oh, they are very... Just what you said about heathers, though. You know, if you just got some green wire or something and then just put a little bit on the top, you could make, like, little lavender stems. Nice. And little yeah. mini little trees. Yes. If you're doing a little forest... Yeah. A little forest scape or something, you could put the little bits of the green on, on a little yeah. stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they feel absolutely, oh, they're very soft. They're spongy, kind of spongy-like. And they will, go, I mean, you literally just pull out little pieces. They, they go a long, long way. Yeah. Um, well done for checking out on those. Let's see all of this in action, shall we? Let's not, not wait around any longer <laughs> with me gabbling on. Uh, let's have a little look at the first demo. So we're going to, right. into the Be Happy, aren't we? We are, yes. So with the hexagon, I've just used the back panel for this. So at the moment it's plain, but I have covered the other side. But I was just going to show you what I did. This is a great one for with your scraps. Yeah. So I've just got some squares of paper here. So then I'm just going to pop them next to each other and then I've been using all my different off cut bits and then if I flip this over you'll be able to see once I've put all those together I've kind of got a patchwork oh that's nice so if you've got all your little scraps this is a great way to just use them up don't chuck them all away so with this then I'm just gonna pop some ink just around the edge I think the dinky ink is maybe on the website if not we'll be bringing them back very soon but yeah, I'm just adding a little bit of ink just to frame it a little bit and just finish off those edges. And then we're going to pop a big hexagon in the center. In fact, actually, I'll do my painting first and then it'll be dry, mm -hmm. won't it? So we'll do a bit of gessoing as well. So we'll pop that to one side. And then I've just got, I've already painted my B and my happy. And instead of putting the two E's, I'm just going to go for one E and just spell it like a normal B happy. Yeah, and then yeah. it doesn't have to be B themed then, True. does it? You can do it whatever you fancy. Yeah. And then I've just got a little bit of my white gesso and I'm just taking this onto the MDF here. And it goes on so easily, doesn't it? It really does, gesso. yeah. So I'd probably be giving this two coats, so I'll give this a blast off in a minute and then we can just add another one on top. Yeah. Um, if you do let it air dry, it does air dry a little bit better because okay. if you heat it a little bit, some of the brown from the laser comes through a little bit mm -hmm. as if like the glue is melting again in the MDF. Okay. So if you let it air dry, you don't get any of the brown marks. Right. I just give it two coats then and then that hides them. But yep. if you do just want to do one, you can do that. Right, and then I've also I've painted up some of my little bees that come in the kit. If I just show you the inner part, you can see all you do is just give them a little press and they just come straight out. So, so you've not got to worry. Even the little antennae. Yes, yeah. And then I've got a little bit of a, um, almost like a, I want to say a nubbin. <laughs> I don't <Nubbing>. know why, <laughs> nubbin. <laughs> looked a bit fluffy as well. Yeah, that's it. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a, a rub here. And then if you really wanted, because you can see you've got the little bit of MDF coming through, you could go over with a marker pen if you wanted yeah. it to be brown again. I don't really mind it, it's no, fine. I think it looks quite natural, really. Yes, exactly. So we'll pop, oh, in fact, I'll give that a blast and then we can put a second coat yeah. on. The gesso is so handy as well as a base coat, but you don't have to use it as a base coat. I tend to use it just like my white paint. Yeah. And again, it is um, really easy. It's just a great base for inks, for all sorts. And it is just, I mean, the black as well that you get in the collection is yeah, so, definitely. yeah, it's and smooth. Good coverage, I think. Yes. Is the thing to note with both of those, because you are getting both the black and the white on the gesso. Uh, the coverage is amazing on those. So you're talking sort of 4.99 each. And that little pot will take you a long time to get through as well. Yes, definitely it will. Right, so there we go. Give that a little blast again, and then that'll be dry by the time we need it. Right. So then I'm just going to move these to one side, and then we're going to make some of the flowers. So I thought I'd get all my pieces ready before we start. Oh, <laughs> this is 
from our pom-pom collection earlier it on. It is, right? yes. Right, so I've got three of slightly larger flowers and then one that's a little bit smaller. Now, yeah. I've just got a spritz bottle. It is just water in there. It's a little bit stained from when I've had ink in, but it's fine. And then I'm just going to give these a spritz. Okay. And flip those over as well. So we want to get them quite soggy and then we're going to give them a scrunch. Okay. So we can just scrunch these all the way up and then we're just going to heat set them so that then we get this gorgeous crinkled effect. It kind of looks a bit like a carnation. Yep. So we'll squeeze that. And then with the four layers, it just really fills out the flower. And I've got some in lilac, but the white, especially mm -hmm. if you have just, maybe you're just starting out and you have just got white card to hand, you can then use your inks on it. You don't have yep. to necessarily have all of your coloured card. Right, so we'll give this a blast just so it doesn't tear as I open them up. Mm -hmm. I've got a little message in from Margaret. Hello, Margaret. Mark said, always pleased to see the Dreamies. Ah. My friend and I were at Sheffield at the Sheffield United Craft Show, which I think was your first. Yeah, it was. <laughs> ah, how long ago was that? Oh, that was... Are we talking years or months? Yeah, it was 2010. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so 12 me. years. Oh, so Margaret's an avid, an avid <laughs> dreamer. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> the strangest thing though is um, my partner Jimmy at the time he worked there and we we didn't meet oh and then gosh. like we met all them years later and I was like I'd love oh, to know right. if our um, paths crossed at oh, the time strange. and we just didn't know. Meant to be then. Yeah be. that's it it's kind of like if we'd not met then at the point that we did would we yeah. meet again in the future because it's all planned. Yeah it's <laughs> funny isn't it? It is. Right so we're just opening these out and then I'm just going to give them another blast just so they're dry. Mm -hmm. Then we can glue these together. I'm going to flip them over as well just to make sure that they're not too damp on the reverse. So you could always pick the ends of the flowers up with a bit of ink, maybe mm -hmm. if you wanted to. So we can give these a nice little blast. It doesn't have to be perfectly dry. No. Oh, and a question coming in from Beverly saying, is gesso just for MDF or can you use it on any other things? That's a really good question, actually. Um, it's not just for MDF, no. To be, to be fair, you know, if you've got a quite a bright paper or something like that and you just think, oh, I want to tone it down a bit. Yeah, you can definitely knock it back a little bit with it and just ah. give it a, a little bit of a, a white um, cover okay. over the top and then knock your colours back. Yeah, definitely. Um, you can put it on pretty much anything. And Brilliant. if you're not sure, just give it a go. Exactly. Give it a try if you've got a little bit of scrap yeah. or a little bit. At work, yeah. uh, the worst, what's going to happen? <laughs> it might turn out to be fab. Uh, Claire <laughs> said, hello, dreamy ladies. Loving all the things from you. Oh, and Jasper loves you lots. Aww. And Jasper. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Jasper's a bunny. Just, why, do I, why do I feel like I know Claire and Jasper? Is this Claire who's... Why do I know? Why do I know Claire and Jasper the bunny? Or maybe you've just messaged him before, but that rings maybe. bells in my head yeah. right now. Yeah, Jasper the bunny. And also, thank you, message. Also, a message coming in from Steve saying, "Enjoying the show uh, while walking the dogs." Oh, look at you multitasking. Lovely. Dogs on the uh, on your app uh, whilst driving a little walk. Careful, watch your step as you go. And um, that look, it does look it does look quite carnation like. It actually, does, yeah. It? But they're gorgeous. If you did want to, in fact, we'll do it with this one. Just going to pick up the ends then, just <laughs> using a little bit of my blue ink. Cat was going for a hydrangea. I guess you could actually put quite a few of those together. Yes, to look you like could. a hydrangea. Oh, head. yes, that's especially with the smaller cats. ones. Yes, that's yeah. what Cat was thinking. Yeah, definitely. I love hydrangeas. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, just one big sort of hydrangea head in a vase looks amazing. Yeah. Right, so I've just picked up the edges then, just with a little bit of blue ink. You might not be able to see it too yeah, much. Can. But you know if you um, then spritzed it, the ink would run down a little bit and it, you oh, get the different, nice. almost like a tie-dye effect. Yeah, lovely. Yes, yeah, so you can obviously make those in all sorts of colours. So next then, we're going to go back to our piece and then we're going to pop another hexagon oh. on top. That, that, those papers are beautiful, aren't they? They really are, yes. Oh, and the teapots are incredibly, incredibly popular. I'm not surprised considering you get three. And the <laughs> envelopes as well. I, 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 am, I am saying envelope. I've, I just did it then again. Scone or scone? Uh, I'm a scone. I'm a scone. We're all having a scone. <laughs> yeah, this, are you a scone or are you a... Adam, Adam's scone. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm just going to pop my happy on there first and then we can position our B above it. I'm just aiming for the centre. That just looks so lovely as it is even, doesn't it? 
Yeah, it's, it is really a nice kit. And like I say, I'm not even using all the elements. So then no. if you use the top part that's got all the honeycomb on, mm. you could use that for something completely different. So pop that B there. And then we've just got the E as well. So you can use normal um, go-to glue for this or yeah. your other sort of glues, just using hot glue for speed, really. Right, so then we're going to create a couple of arrangements of flowers here. So I think I'm going to go for my white one down the bottom. And then I think... Pop. These colours look amazing. Yeah, it is a really nice, pretty colour palette, isn't it? Oh, got a bit of hot glue on me then. There we go. Right, so then I'm just going to add some of the other flowers that I've pre-made as well. I'm going to go for some blue in there as well. So this is the cardstock. We had it on, I think it was launch show with you actually. Um, so you may have this cardstock at home. Yeah. So then I'm just adding a couple of the coiled roses in as well. So these are really simple, just a little technique, just with a coil of paper. Oh, dribbling. <laughs> But that's okay because you can cover it up. Can't of course, you? yeah. I've got some, um, yeah. I've got some bees that can pop on there. So then we're going for two over here as well, and then I'm going to add in some of the loops and lace embellishments. Yep, if you want the loops and lace embellishments, they're on the web as well. We did those in the two o'clock hour, so you can still grab hold of those. So I've got a couple of the bees. So in that set, you do get the outline bee and the shaped bee. So we're just going to overlay one on top of the other here, just with a little bit of go-to glue. So I'm not going to stick his wings down, and then I can give them a little bit of movement. Yeah, it'd be cruel, wouldn't it, really? It would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to dock a bee's wings. <laughs> Never. Oh, so right. sweet. Pop that on the top there, then. And then I'm just going to pick him up and then we can give his wings a little bit of movement and pick up the white piece as nice. well. So then it doesn't obviously have to be realistic, but if you did want to do it mm. yellow and black, you could do yeah. brown and black, anything like that. In fact, I think we'll stick him there over my little bit of glue. Perfect. <laughs> if it's not a bee, it's a butterfly. Exactly. And I did cut some of those out actually from the papers so we can pop so some sweet. butterflies on. And then I've also got... Then I'm going to pop a big B up here, I think, and I'm just going to cover the back, just using a little bit of one of these papers, just oh. so it's a little bit um, solid on the back there. Yeah. And we've got a bit of colour coming through. And I love MDF for this, because you obviously, all you're doing, holding that down, just cutting around it. Yeah. It's really simple, yet the, the effect that you see coming through is yeah, it's that's it. so, so a boutique it's really, I just find this incredibly chic I love it yeah that's it I mean uh, since we've been doing MDF which it's been a few years now mm. but it never gets old no and no. we often find that people will come and they'll say oh I've never done MDF and then we see them every single week afterwards and they're like I'm buying more <laughs> yeah and I have to say it's, it's also a relatively affordable medium yeah. like incredibly so actually to be working with it's not that you're looking at this thinking oh, I'd love to give that a go but actually the outlay is going to be really expensive it's really not for, for you know in terms of what you're getting on the be happy I mean what do we do this at 6.99 for this I mean uh, oh yeah of course obviously you've got the paper you've got the other elements but the actual MDF that you're working with pre-cut for 6.99 is, is, is really affordable and we're all counting the pennies at the moment so I just think yeah, this is wonderful. Exactly and then just out of one of the ah. papers as well I've just cut one of the butterflies so we're just going to pop him on as well. I think, oh we'll go down there. <laughs> right so then I've also got some of the um, sprigs from the loops and lace so I'm just going to pop some of these into the arrangement as well so I've got a few of the different ones. I think we'll go for a normal go-to glue for this. So we can pop that into there. And the best thing as well is you can break them up. So if you don't want them as long as they are, you can just add in as many little bits and bobs as you'd like. And just push that into there. And then we get so many different ones in this mm. collection. It's such a pretty one. And I think it's a must have. You know, if you've not got many embellishments in your stash, it is a nice filler one that works yeah. with most things. So we'll go a little bit of hot glue as well just to make sure it stays stuck yeah so then a little bit more into here and then we'll add some into our bottom piece as well and then we can finish off with a few little pearls as well love my pearls <laughs> mm. right 
popping that into They're such lovely colours as well. They really are, yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel like some of the um, pearls could look nice on some of the words. Absolutely. We do have some pearls coming up, obviously. Uh, they are... Oh, the pearls are already on the... No, we do have another set, sorry. Yeah, we oh, do. Yes. I was going to say. These are new today. New pearls as well coming up. We'll introduce those in a second. They have been selling on pre-order. So you've got your essential box of pearls. Let me grab hold of these. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Oh, la, la. Can't help myself. Literally. Yeah, I did, but I can't help myself. <laughs> 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 Look at these. Oh, my word. Let me just... Oh, come to moment. Now, they do come in the box. Can I yeah. ask how many we're getting you in You can. <laughs> 4,750. Yes. So, 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 so not many then? No, not many. Just <laughs> These we call essentials because they're just oh, every colour you need, gosh. especially for Christmas, the gold and silver coming up. Yeah. Plus your white ones. You know, if you've got some of the Spectrum Noir pens from Crafters Companion mm -hmm. or alcohol markers, you can colour them. Oh, can you? Yeah, so if you st you can stick them onto acetate and colour over them if you're not like confident holding it, right. or you can just put them on your card and then oh, colour over I after. Like that. Yes, I really like. And the gold and the silver again, steampunk. There's lots of different sort of yeah. areas. So the gold, the silver. You've got that wonderful black, black, which still it's not matte. It still has a lovely polish on it. Then you've got kind of the classic ivory, uh, almost, and that wonderful sort of ice snow white. That, look, I mean, oh my wordy. They are fab, aren't they? And you're getting and three, sizes. three sizes. Yes, so you've oh. got four, five and six mil in these. Wowzers. You, it is a bag and a half cat. You're not wrong. <laughs> Absolutely. And you can see, I mean, the sizes are quite, you can actually see the difference in those. Look at the silvers. And don't forget, get your pick up your pick up tool whilst you are there. Those silvers are lovely. <laughs> Heck of a lot of pearls there to be using. Yeah. They're amazing, aren't they? Just exploring. Look at those. Bag of gold. <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. They are fabulous, aren't they? Goodness me. Yeah, grab hold of those. Brand new. 19.99. Love it in the little uh, in the little box as well. That's really cute. I'm sold. Um so, yeah, display boxes. I mean, I love a bit of, I love a bit of, you know, storage. I was going to say a brand name then, but you know, you know where I'm coming <laughs> from. That is amazing. They are fabulous. So yeah, just the box on its own you'd pay. I mean, they you know, they're not look at those. They're not like just a little clip on. That's very, very secure. Brilliant. 19.99. Get a few of those. Stack them up. <laughs> Stack them up and stock up on your pearls. Right. So I'm just getting a couple of lilac pearls yeah. out, and I've got my pickup tool. I'm just going to pop these onto the bees antenna. So these are the pearls that we launched. Uh, well, we yeah. launched you earlier on. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Ooh. Oh, there no. we go. And then I think I might just oh, pop. Sweet. A couple of little ones yeah. just in here, just as a little bit of a filler. And look at all of these pearls. Ultimate yes. collection, 7,200 pearls. <laughs> that's six boxes of pearls. You get three colours per box. That's 1,200 pearls per box. Oh, that's a lot to say. <laughs> um, <and> so, <laughs> it really and is. To, you've got the different, cut, the different size in there, so you've got kind of a small and a large there as well. Hello, Bethan. Bethan said, just started to get into MDF. Lovely medium to work with. Love Dreamies. And I bought three of the kits today. Oh, oh. that's lovely. Fabulous. Well, let us know, obviously, when you've made your designs, Bethan. Don't forget... Send them to us on, on your emails, not the actual items, keep them obviously. Uh, send <laughs> photographs um, because you could be entered into our competition. Every last Saturday, it was done yesterday, every last Saturday of the month, somebody wins a £100 credit to their account uh, just by sending in your designs, which is fab. I mean, you could buy a fair few pounds for £100. You could, yeah, you definitely. Could literally bathing in them. Uh, <laughs> it, oh, wow, that looks gorgeous. Yes. And how, I'm not being funny, but that's not taking a huge amount of time at no. all, has it? No, that's it. And it is just Very about, lovely. obviously, chopping up your paper and getting that on there. And it is just about enjoying it. So it takes yeah. as long as it takes. Or you can do it really quickly, like we have. And you do get such really nice results. That's so gorgeous. I love that. And you look at it, I'm sitting here going, my mum would love that. My sister would love that. <laughs> I'd, I'd love that. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Um, make sure you're checking out on all of these. £6.99 for your MDF there, uh, for your Be Happy. We've got um, Shay Makes obviously coming up at five o'clock. In fact, if you're quite interested in that, thinking, oh, what's that about? Let's show you how to get involved and how to win £100. <laughs> Here at Hobbymaker, we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account sound? 
Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobby Makers account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Welcome back to the show. Welcome. Can you see that? <laughs> see that big grinny face? Do you know why that is? <gasps> Look what I've just been gifted. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you so much. That's okay. <laughs> How lucky am I? Right. Um, I love working here. I mean, I mean, literally, don't tell anyone when I say I would do this for free. Don't tell anyone. Um, thank you so much. That's, that's okay. That's probably going in my bedroom. Uh, Wonderful. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> right, let's do some more demos, shall we? <laughs> right, now I've got, thank you, I've got to introduce to you now the fluttering frames, because these are rather good. Oh, I don't know where to put, let me move that out of the way. And I've had a cup of tea as well from Ellie. I'm just, honestly, I feel like the Queen Bee today, literally. <laughs> so many fabulous treats. So let's have a little look. Oh, I should feel like that every day. I do most days after, you're all lovely. So these are your fluttering, apart from Adam, but he's learning, isn't he? <laughs> fluttering frames shaped die. This is wonderfully, wonderfully detailed. So talk us through this, because you've actually got a couple of different kind of levels, layers to this really, haven't you, I suppose? Yeah, so you've got two, four, six, eight dies in there. I was just oh trying gosh. to work it out, because you do get your outside edges and your detail. So if yeah. you just want to do a shaped card with no detail on that, you can just use the outside edge. And then you've got, obviously got your um, rectangle for in the centre, so your matte yeah. layers. You've got all sorts of different bits. I think there's nine dies, actually. Um, and you can layer it up and just make a card mm -hmm. easily with that. So you just start with your base and then add the, all the layers on top but if you do want to then maybe chop into it use it for all sorts of different things you can do yeah i mean gorgeous i mean you've got very i mean that's got the if i bring yeah. that in front that will show you i think there's so um, a board on the end as well that shows you just in black and white yeah. the let me grab hold of those that'll be a little <laughs> easier so you can just see there so that's that fantastic frame i mean that is i love that in the pure white as well yeah Really love white on white oh i do yeah. something you kind of don't really think of sometimes but absolutely glorious so let me grab hold sorry i'll pop that down i'm losing pearls <laughs> i'm losing pearls here here we go so you can have a little look always a bit easy to see when it's on the um, <laughs> on the board like that isn't it yeah, so obviously you can see how you could layer up a basic card if you wanted mm -hmm. to, just stamp a sentiment in the middle, maybe a couple of flowers and it could be done. Um, but obviously if you maybe want to put it on a scrapbook page, you can use it as a focal point on a card or yeah. it could be its own card, plus them leaves. Maybe if you can't stretch to the loops and lace as well, you get some leaves in here as nice yeah. little fillers. It's great. It's, it's multifunctional, this one. Uh, and if I show you that with the butterfly as well... How stunning is that? So that's really using that frame as, as, as the base of your card, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and that's what we're going to do in the demo as well. So I'll show yeah. you how we get there. Look at all of these. I mean, that's, that's gorgeous. Goodness gracious me. How fabulous does that look? And totally different. And again, here we've gone from those lighter lilacs to a real kind of statement. It's very dramatic, isn't it, that one? Um, they are gorgeous. You make me happy. Oh, uh, you do, Andy. Um, Jojo, Jojo Louise has just said, just wanted to say hello to the Dreamies. I was introduced to MDF a few years ago at Dreamies Workshop and I loved it. Oh, thanks, Fabulous. Jojo. Bless you. Thank you so much for sending in your <laughs> messages. I, I think we're all loving this right now, quite frankly, and it might be brand new to you. Honestly, have a go. Don't be frightened because there's some wonderful, wonderful things that you can create here. Um, and we're going to have a little look at this in, in action right now. Yes. So I've already cut my card base. Um, so this is just out of some pink cardstock. So all I did here is just fold a piece of A4 in half and then just put my die over the crease there. So this is just the outside edge and you can see it go over the crease and then that's just going to leave a join here. And then I've chopped it flat just so that it will stand up. Mm -hmm. 
So if I show you then how we cut the detail, so I'm just going to cut the detail and then I'll show you, you just line it up around it's the edge. Gorgeous frame. It's a bit, it's a bit kind of, I want to say a bit magical, a bit fairy tale sometimes. Yeah. Oh, just moved slightly. There we go. So it does fit through your A5 machine mm. just. Oh, is that not the right way? Is it this side? No? Oh, no, it should be. <laughs> should be. It should be going through there. Yeah, there we go. Um, so then we will get the frame that is like this one. So I'm using the sweet pea papers on this. Ooh. So that's in our big bundle. Yeah. And then it would stay within your cardstock, obviously, if you don't use the outside edge. Mm. So if you did just want to do sort of an intricate detail on a card, you could do that and just leave it within the cardstock like this. So as we hold that up, if I put the mat behind. Yeah. So you'd be able to see that you've just got that detail cut into your card. Yeah. You could then layer up in the middle if you wanted to, just yes. put that on an A5 card. Yeah. And then all I would do with that is then just line up my outside edge and then run that through again and that will cut out my frame then. Perfect. So that is how we then got this layer to go right. on the top. So I'm just going to attach this to my card. So I think we'll just go flat. Yeah, I think we'll go flat. So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on my hand and then just spread it out a bit just so we get an even coverage just around the finer bits. Yeah. I love that sweet pea paper. It's oh, so pretty. Yes. Gorgeous. Those paper pads are selling and selling and selling, by the way, which I'm not surprised because they are all double sided, don't forget, and a great price for all of those. I mean, the, yeah. they are just the ultimate. I mean, I've made a right old. <laughs> Got them all here. 48 designer papers in each one, in each one times by three. I mean, you get a little bit of a, <laughs> she said, a bit of an idea <laughs> and a selection, but absolutely. And then, and then that as well. I mean, just so much, literally yeah. all there's, it's very rare. I think that you can say, I mean, there's 144 pieces of paper there. I think it's very rare to say there's not one I don't like. Yeah, there's true. Uh, there's literally, I can't pick one out that I go, yeah, I'm not so good. They're all lovely. They're all really, really lovely. So massive bargain on those at 16.99. But at the same time, if you do get them home, you go, oh, I'm not a fan of that. I'm sure you've got crafty friends that would love that as a gift, wouldn't they? Yeah. So it's yeah. just worth it anyway. Yeah. So I've overlaid my frame then. So we've just got the card base just as it's going to open at the top. And then I'm just going to flip it over and then just trim off the bottom here. So if you really wanted, you could leave it and it, it would probably still stand up um, if you got the, your card that was this shape as mm. well. But I just wanted to flatten it just to make sure. Yeah. So then we've got that. I'm going to make sure it's stuck down. I'll stick it down after. So then we've got this as then the card base. The reason it's called a fluttering frame is because it does kind of look like a butterfly. Oh, it really does. Yeah. <laughs> I designed this one first and then went, oh, I need butterflies to go with that. So that's oh. why we ended up with butterfly dyes. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so then we've got a, a layer of lilac. So I wanted to pull out the colours from the papers. Yeah. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue just on the back. So a silly comment, obviously, but so you, you've actually, this is one of your, I mean, you, is it both yourself and your mum that creates, that designs all of these or? It's mostly me. Mostly you. Yeah. I was being just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mum gives me lots of ideas I'm and sure. like, she gives me lots of praise and yes, <laughs> she loves everything we do. Yeah. So yeah. whatever we make, she absolutely loves sure. all the time. So this must be quite satisfying to actually see your designs that are in your mind actually come to fruition in a yeah. die or a stamp or. When they arrive, yeah. it's, it's just crazy. Yeah. And yeah, I get so excited and I'm like, Mum, sure. don't touch them. Let me get them out first. Hands off. <laughs> These are mine. <laughs> Bless. And that all came from somebody just saying, oh, that, that's, that's really, that would make a really nice stamp. Or that yeah. Would and on unfortunately, the lady that said that to me isn't with us anymore. Oh. And she never saw us get on the TV. Oh. Um, and she always said to me, oh, you'll get onto TV. You'll be the next whoever at the time. And yeah, yeah. and she never saw it and she'd have loved to. But, I'm sure, I bet yeah. she knows. I yeah, know. I bet she does. Yeah. Right, so I've just used the script embossing folder then for this layer and I've just picked up a little bit of pink just around the edge. It's very subtle, so you probably can't see much of it. And nice, d when, you, when you've got the embossed or the, the deep, deep. Yeah. Debossed. Is that right? De yes, debossed. Yeah. I always want to say embossed and de-embossed for some reason. Yeah. Never. So right. obviously, with um, you could use either side, and it does just look really nice. Yeah. It's got such a deep emboss as well with the um, the script there. Oh, there we go. Oh no, there we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's and fabulous. It the quality of the embossing folder. Yeah. And then again, if I flip it round, like you say, mm. 
It just depends what you want to use it for. Yeah. So we'll just get a little bit of foam tape. So I'm just going to pop this onto the back and then just lift that up a little bit. I'd probably put some more foam tape on at home, but yeah. we might get three demos in if I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> probably not then. <laughs> right, so we'll pop that onto there. And then I've just got another piece of paper. So I've got one that I'm just going to curl a little bit and then we're popping this on this side. And I've got a piece of spot to go across the centre. I think we'll pop that on top, actually. So then I'm just going to add my glue again. And this is going to go onto there. And then we can add our next piece on. So again, using all your scraps, it's great for if you've just got little bits that you just want to tie in and just make a little bit more of a focal point. Mm, I like the little curly corner as well. It's cute. Yeah. Right. So I've got the stamp. So this is from the Heartfelt Sentiments. Okay. And it says, there are some people in life that make you laugh a little bit louder, smile a little bit bigger and live a little bit better. That's you, Andy. <laughs> Right. No one said anything when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show these to you, your heartfelt sentiments. There's some lovely ones on here. So grateful for you. The very purpose of life is to enjoy every moment. That's true. Friends fill life with joy, the soul with sunshine, and heart, the heart with love. These are so lovely. May your troubles be less, your blessings be more, and may nothing but happiness come through your door. Oh, my gosh. They are absolutely lovely. They're just... Nice essentials style. really aren't they you know if you are yeah. just making just to say cards or just something to lift someone's spirits totally really nice really but let's drop the price on those stamps as well so you've got one two three four five six different um sort of stamps on there you've also got heartfelt hold on a second is that that one yeah heartfelt thanks Heartfelt thanks, don't <laughs> couldn't find it, confused myself. I mean, it's, you know, why am I even questioning that? But your stamps, you should know. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, I should, but not always. <laughs> your heartfelt stamps, and it's an A5 set of stamps, but you can see there, different font, different script, different, you've some, some slightly more bold than others. Just, I love those. Yeah. Not one I don't like, though. Oh, <laughs> gosh, it's 9.99 as well, amazing. Right, so we've just um, stamped this out. So I've just, I'm going to use the other side just because that's in grey, but just so you could see it stamped out. And then I'm just going to lift this again just with some foam tape and we're going to pop it onto some bright pink again. And then I've got another one of the same flowers we made in the last demo that I made extra and I had to use it. So it's going on this card too. I find that I'm like that with flowers, just end up making and making and then it's just like I need to keep using them. <laughs> So this is then going into the center. Blimey, 10% of those sentiments wow. uh, stamps have gone literally instantly. I'm not surprised actually, I think they're beautiful. And then I'm just gonna pop this flower on here and then we can see how we want to make the other ones. This is just gonna go as the main one at the bottom corner here. So that's the technique we used earlier. And then I think I'm just gonna use my ball tool and my foam mat just to lift these petals yeah. up a little bit. So I've cut these ones out of the sweet pea papers. So obviously just bear that in mind as well. You can make all your different colored flowers with the papers you've got in there. And it does really tie them in really nicely once you've used the same papers. Go for a slightly bigger one and then it's not gonna take me as long. But it just depends what sort of flowers you wanna make. Maybe if you're yeah. doing something for posting, you want to keep them quite flat. Mm -hmm. You could just do them like a flat daisy. Yep. So we'll pop this onto the back of here again and do look out for those tools by the way if you go onto our website click onto brands go onto dreamies have a little look around you find various different tools and glues and all of your essentials basically so have a good shop around whilst you're there yeah right so we'll lay the, i think we'll just use normal glue for this so i'm just going to pop a little bit of glue just in the center of two and then just offset those and add the third one onto the top we can give that a press in the middle. Again, it does just create a completely different flower. So it's yeah. worth just experimenting with the different techniques mm -hmm. you know. And you'll probably find that just the one die set goes so much further. Totally. So pop that one onto there. And then we can arrange these just on the card. And we're going to pop those gorgeous loops and lace embellishments in again. So we'll pop this just on the side here. And there. 
And then we've just got the little white ones as well. And we can add some of those gorgeous pearls in the center and a few of these leaves. So sometimes my little bits don't come out of my leaves. So if you can see on this one here, yeah. This is how it's meant to look. Okay. So it's got all the little bits poked out. Yeah. Sometimes they don't come out. Sometimes I don't shim it properly or something like that. And it's fine. I just use them solid anyway. It's just a different look. Nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And it does just fill them out a little bit. They don't all have to look the same. No. Again, with it being nature, you can kind of get away with, oh, that's how I wanted it to look. Exactly. <laughs> that was the plan. Yeah, exactly. So we'll pop a few more leaves in in them. I think we can add some moss. What an amazing card to receive. I mean, there's yeah. so much on there. It's, it's utterly gorgeous. That's it. And not too much effort either. You know, you've not used too many materials. Or once you've got your actual tools, the dies, the embossing folders, the stamps, you're not spending that much every single time, no. are you, to make the... Reusing. Yeah, exactly. So we can pop another one. I think we'll go into the top here. And then I'll just add a little bit of the moss as well. Oh yeah, we like the moss. Yeah, I'm going for the green again, just because we've used the green of the leaves. And then that can just add some nice little filler in there. And you actually get quite a lot, the little sort of different coloured bundles of moss, because they're kind of all scrunched up. Actually, when you kind of... I mean, if, sort of as I'm, I'm kind of, I don't want to pull it all apart, but <laughs> it really does, it, it really does spread out quite yeah. a lot. I have to say, you're going to get a lot of different designs out of that. And if you've got all different colours there. You've got 10 uh, different colours to play with. I, I just, I, yeah, I think they are just, oh, there we go, really just going to change your, change your designs. Uh, Joanna uh, just said, hello, studios and dreamies. Please tell dreamies that their pearl pickup tool is the best I've used. Oh, so that's amazing. From Joanna in Yeovil. Oh, thanks, Joanna. Lovely message. Yeah. We love to hear your feedback, good and bad. Obviously, yeah, it improves absolutely. us. <laughs> yeah, constructive criticism is yeah. never a bad thing. Yeah, absolutely. And the pearls, I don't know if you've seen all the pearls today, Joanna, we've got oodles of pearls from Dreamies today. So have a little look on the web. Uh, and that pickup tool has been super, super popular, actually. Um, and well, you can see, there we go, just using it now. Yep. So we're just it's popping. It's a life changer, isn't it? This? It is, definitely, yeah. My aim's not very good today. I keep missing the pearl. That's all right. <laughs> I could have done with that tool when I was, I was, I blinged up my, tra I bought some white trainers for my wedding. Oh, blinged, yes. Blinged them up. And it <laughs> took me ages because I didn't have a tool like this, literally ages and ages to do all of those. <laughs> and then I never wore them. <laughs> I didn't want to get out of my heels on the day. I Fair I enough. <laughs> but I still love them. I still love them. I've yeah. still got them. Uh, so do you still wear them? I've probably worn them probably about, probably, I don't know, four Are they a bit times. too nice now? I just love them so much, I don't want to wear Ruin them. Ruin them. Like <laughs> yeah. la the laces are, yeah, I just love them. <laughs> uh, right, congratulations if you are taking any of these home. That is just absolutely perfect, isn't it? So if you want to get that fantastic uh, die, please do so, because that will allow you to create cards that look as amazing as that. Get your pearls, obviously, your tools as well. And let's very quickly, that's beautiful, thank you, gorgeous. That's all right. Very quickly, let's recap on your envelope envelope. Uh, one of the most popular deals of the entire show. Although I have to say, the T not very far behind the B, also the T and the B, also <laughs> very popular. Teas with Bs. Um, right, have a little look at these. So you get three. And, and obviously, when you get them, you get they're all kind of in it. Are they all in one sheet together? Yes, we've poked these ones out because the sheet's yeah. a bit big. <laughs> yeah, so just so you can see. There you go. So you can, again, just all pop out. And do you have details in terms of how you put those together? Do they yep. come with a little instruction book? You do, yeah. So it it's the it. same um, concept for obviously the medium and the small, but we do show you differently yeah. how to and put together. And you can always together. look back on shows as well. Yeah, and if you do get stuck, all our details are on the instructions and it's what you speak to. Yeah, so. which is amazing. And <laughs> Most get, of the time we know what we're talking about. I, yeah, I, I, <laughs> Most. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, so you can see there, so you get the large envelope and in the MDF and you get the two smaller ones as well. So again, a little bit of inspiration on those so you could put obviously you could put your letters you could put your post in there if you wanted to uh, maybe you want to use those to pop in um if you're at weddings if you're, if you're at a christening or anything like that pop in your business cards if you are out and about at one of your craft fairs i think that's really really a great idea to do actually or maybe if even if you want to pop a, a photograph in there and have that on a display yeah. you could do that it's really up to you it's completely up to you uh, what you do but you can actually hang those on the wall 
That's due to uh, due to uh, Jimmy's thought <laughs> process there, uh, popping those on. But they are gorgeous, and you can literally decorate these in any which way. You've got the lace detail on there as well. So there you can see that's how it's going to kind of come uh, to you. Lots of you enjoying that. Linda, Kate, Julie, Doreen, Dawn, uh, Lorraine, and Job. She's got three. Karen's got two. <laughs> Mary's got three. Absolutely multi -buy. Don't forget, by the way, if you've not tried it yet, try our code for you 15 or friend 15. Um, you can only use it once. What, you can't use both of them. It's either or. Oh, by a blackout. 10 p.m. in the meter. <laughs> uh, but you can only use one of those codes over the weekend for an extra 15% off. But try it. But try it. Uh, right. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been wonderful. It just goes too quickly. <laughs> uh, do you know when you're back with us? Yeah, we're back on the 5th of July with Christmas. <gasps> Christmas. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, it's going to be wild. Christmas is, it is literally arriving on Tuesday. Uh, thank you so much. Thank it's you. And thank you for my lovely gift. Oh, that's okay. <gasps> I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, very excited. Uh, but we talk about Christmas. Christmas has arrived today. We're doing a massive super sale with Christmas. We've got so many more deals. This five o'clock hour is probably the most jam-packed ever uh, brand new deals that you haven't seen so far today we're going to recap on some as well and of course when we say jam-packed deals we are talking jam-packed deals <laughs> Danny's back at the other side of this thank you Mother. thank you <laughs> David David wake up what are you doing I'm catching some rays and having a pina colada. There's no time to laze around. Christmas is coming to Hobby Maker. It's June. I know, only six months to go. Up you get, my friend. There's a lot of love for Santa at Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Hobbymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, Freesat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Hobbymaker, we love seeing what you've been making and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account sound? Every month we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobbymaker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random. I will announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobbymaker. Here at Hobbymaker we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day you still will only be charged one p and p shopping made simple with hobby maker want to know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the tv guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. <gasps> I almost forgot. We've got a brand new show starting on Hobbymaker, Monday to Friday from 6am until 8am, featuring loads of new things. The Early Bird Special, a special offer only available during the Wake Up to Hobbymaker show, Who the Hobbymaker Are You, a slightly extended interview with our guest designers, 
Help Me Hobby Maker, encouraging you to email in with all of your crafting queries, and a sneak peek, the final 20 minutes of the show, letting you know what's coming up later on in the day. So don't forget to join us. Set your alarms 6am until 8am on Hobby Maker. I think I'll get five more Zs in. Let's do it. Gin. <laughs> I love Australia, but Turkey. Cow can in Turkey. I need to go back. It's my heartbeat. A cat. I love my cats. Sleep all day, get looked after, get fed, go to sleep again, get snuggles, go to sleep again, eat again. Cat. Never seen The Godfather. <laughs> Night in, because I'm old. Pajamas, big glass of gin, cats, husband, night in. Torn, Natalie and Bruglia. Uh, you give the talent? No, can't do it. I'm torn, I'm already. No, don't, can't even do, do that again. I can't even do that, that's horrendous. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. David, David, wake up! What are you doing? I'm catching some rays and having a pina colada. There's no time to laze around. Christmas is coming to Hobbymaker. It's June. I know, only six months to go. Up you get, my friend. A lot of love for Santa at Hobby Maker. Hello, welcome back to Hobby Maker. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's it quite frankly been a super Sunday. Simple as that. It's been bonkers in terms of deals. We've had some wonderful, wonderful dreamy deals for you. Uh, so keep checking out on all of your dreamies if you want to get uh, the Be Happy, the Tease, the Wreath, whichever you want to get, grab the lot one set of PMP, remember. However much you buy today, because there's going to be a lot, I can tell you, keep going because you've got until just before midnight to keep collecting and checking out. You can come in, check out, go back, go away for a little bit, come back, check out. Uh, but we've got one more live hour with you, which is literally to the rafters. Loads of brand new deals this hour. Um, we're actually, if you don't mind, we're actually not going to do share your makes today because there's so much to do. Those that have been sent in, we'll see if we can sort of uh, throw those over tomorrow. You will go in the draw. You will go in the draw for the £100 credit, though, so don't worry about that. We'll try and transfer them over. Um, Jan, welcome back. Ready for another I'm hour? I'm all ready. Yep, another ready. hour. Yeah, ready and we've, to... <laughs> I was going to say, well, maybe we saved the best while last, but my goodness, it's been a day and a half, hasn't so it? Much. Yeah, we've so still much. got some good deals to come up with it, but that you've not actually seen yet. Yeah, yeah. Mega, mega deals. Uh, but one thing I will say, I just want to take you very quickly to the web because <gasps> the mystery bag. Oh, my goodness me. Now, people have been buying multiples of these. Now, if you're looking at my hand thinking, it's a lot in your paw there, Ruth considering we're at 29.99, you're not wrong. Because what I'm holding in value, what you'd normally be looking at, is 101 pounds. Over 100 pounds worth of goodies in here, and you are only going to pay 29.99. It is phenomenal. Now, if you wanted to remain a mystery, cover your ears, cover your eyes, just for about 30 seconds, okay? Because very, very quickly, go on, okay. <gasps> Adam, 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 <laughs> naughty! <laughs> <laughs> Naughty! Go on, one quick, literally one second. Yeah, Oops. just very quickly. Oh, he's very good at flashing his R Adam. He's <laughs> very good. <laughs> Thing is, just thinking about that, you could kind of rewind. You could rewind that and hit pause, couldn't you? You really? could, yes. Just think about that. Yeah. Uh, but all I will say is, just these two dies on their own. That's your price point, twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Just those two. I mean, you've got baubles galore. You've got that fantastic winter sort of scene on there as well. They are amazing in their own right for twenty nine ninety nine. But you get everything else now. They're, they're virtually. When we talk about your mystery sort of uh, uh, deal here, this mystery bag of goodies, pretty reminiscent of what you're going to get. To be perfectly, uh, uh, to be perfectly honest. reminiscent. Is that the right word? Probably not. Let's go reflective or quite a good representation 
of why you get, it begins with an R. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> uh, so it's absolutely bonkers. So you should be paying £101. We've saved you 70% on that. Ludicrous. We had 100 sold out. So if you go to the web and it says sold out, it's not because we went and made some phone calls and we've been given some more. Uh, so they are on the web. If it says sold out, don't go, oh, no. click on it because you should be able to yeah. go through at the moment. So Denise, Michelle, Andre, uh, Belinda, Karen, Kelly, Wendy, Valley, everybody that's coming through, super, 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 and many more supers deal save some absolutely great deals for you for this hour though so i'm going to power on because uh, we have plenty more to do right okie dokie so stencils first of all uh over here here we go yeah so let's start with these stencils first of all because we've got three uh, fabulous ones we've got the poinsettia which is the class shall i bring them to the middle is that easier ready scooching over there we go <laughs> Adam, are you eating biscuits in there? Rawr, rawr, rawr. Um, I don't blame you. Share them. So we've got your poinsettia. We're starting with that one. Am I about five ninety nine? You know the drill. Then? <laughs> don't buy it yet. Don't buy it. No, don't not buy yet. the poinsettia. Not yet. Then we have our holly sprigs. You can't have you can't have Christmas without holly, can you? And actually, aren't you getting two images yes. here? So you're getting your holly. Yeah. Big holly. <laughs> you're getting your big holly cash you're getting your big holly little holly uh, holly cardboard box i'm just little holly little holly dog i'm just not that cool so you've got the single image although yep. you've kind of there's, there's three really isn't there you've got the kind of the top sprig and then you've got that secondary sprig i love yeah. that word but and the way the stencils are built allow you to sort of do that main mm -hmm. image and then stencil around it yeah. plus all the backgrounds will work independently you know on other yeah. projects so yeah there's a lot of mix and match um, right. sort of ability with these yeah, yeah. but 5.99 is that a good price jan would you that is a really you good that? price for a stencil i think yeah, yeah but i wouldn't buy it i wouldn't no, buy, buy it buy. yet okay. i think we can do better yeah listen to jan everybody she knows uh, then we've got the bells the bells those fantastic christmas bells that you can see so again wonderful wonderful detail on that that's yep. lovely and then behind that as well, you've got all of those different bells. You can imagine them kind of swinging and singing. Uh, and of course, you can mix and match all of these, can't you? Yep. If you think of those together, your poinsettia with your holly, with the Christmas bells. I mean, I definitely want all of those together. Absolutely. So £5.99 for each. What can we do for three? Because we should... We should be looking at 17.97 yep. for all three of those. I don't think we want to do that today. Every deal has been absolutely... I don't know where these are going to, by the way. Do you know the price these I, are going to? Not off the top. I did, I, I did look through them all, but I still get surprised when I see well, them. Judging by Kat's reaction right now. Are we going half price again, do you think? I've no idea. I think it's going to be... Five ninety. Did I just say they're five ninety nine each? So you're getting two free? Buy one, get two for free. Wow. Yeah, we said we were saving some good ones, definitely. Oh, blimey. That is brilliant, isn't that it? That is amazing. So, yeah. So that's like making them £2 each, isn't it? Mm? That's crazy. Like £1.99, £1.99, £1.99. Yeah. That's just not going to happen. So that's a pound per stencil, because there's two in each that's pack. Two. A pound per stencil. Where could you get that? That's phenomenal. And yeah. we're doing this now... You know, and this is an occasion question of us going, right, what have we got? Let's have a super Christmas sale. Let's grab a bit of this. That's not, you know, that's that's old. That's this. That nothing, nothing nope. could be further. Very from usable. Truth. Massively usable. These are never going to age. These are never, ever going to. When does holly go out of date? Exactly. Christmas bells, poinsettias. These have been around for many Christmases and will continue yep. to be around for many more Christmases. They are just spectacular at five pounds 99 that's one pound 98 look if everybody checks out on those they've gone Whoa. simple as that so you've got to be super super quick on that jane elizabeth leslie sheila christine josephine uh, richard uh, michelle florence lots of, <laughs> my husband's called richard <laughs> i don't know why i just do <laughs> when i go <laughs> when i walk in the back door or front door rather when i go i don't know what i'm saying richard <laughs> uh, look be quick on those that's what i'm saying because the problem is, I might have another bundle. Now, I don't know if it's the same. I don't know if it's the same. Uh, they're certainly different. So let's have a little look and an explore on these as well. Right, got the bells again. That's okay. This is such a low price. 
if you get two of the bells, you're not paying for that, first of all. You could give it to a friend, give it to a neighbour, give it to a family member, sell it. It's completely <laughs> up to you. <laughs> and, you know, as a stencil, we, we all know what to do with stencils. We all love a stencil. Uh, and that, again, is, is a big one. You've got that, that large part of the stencil on there, yep. which could be for the backgrounds of your car. Yep, you've got your background stencil and then that lovely focal image. And I just think these create a really nice finished effect. You can see there how we've used that as a focal That's point. Gorgeous. And I think has the background been embossed on that one? Uh, I th I think. Well, you've got the um, spark, um, or is it a spark sparkle paste? Sparkle. Yeah. Yeah, sparkle paste. Beautiful. Well. Yeah. Annie, that's gorgeous. Annie created that for you. But what? Don't buy it. Don't oh. buy it because two new ones to share with you. <gasps> baubles. So we've got those Christmas gorgeous baubles. I like the fact that you've got the different designs as well on yep. those. It's not yep. just three. The and same. because it's a stencil, you could do three of the same design. You know, you don't have to do the three different three. ones. If you wanted three of the same design, yep. just move the stencil along. Yeah. Totally. See how it's actually been used in the background on that one as well. That's good. Cool. So you've got the background well. stencil oh. plus some of the baubles and then that bauble as a that topper. That's gorgeous, isn't it? And that's Beautiful. by Jane Charlton. That's fabulous. That yeah. is as well. Uh, but don't buy it. Don't buy it yet. I know it looks good. It looks great. But you know what's about to happen. Keep checking out on these now. Go for it. Last but certainly not least, it's Christmas. Yep. Can't have Christmas without a Christmas tree. It's pivotal. Um, and, you know, think about how magical it is at the time of the year when you finally get around to putting your Christmas tree up. I nearly didn't do mine last year, but we did in the end. Oh, I like it. I'm so glad we did. Not too early, but I do like to see it up. Yeah. yeah. Mine normally goes up at the beginning of December. Yeah. Um, it's usually the first Sunday in December that ours yes. goes up. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, I do like it when it's all done and it's, it's all light it at night with all this. the lights are twinkling. It's lovely. But it's yeah, I lo that particular stencil, I love the background in that stencil. I mean, you've got that lovely tree as an, a focal yeah, element. Isn't it? But the background with all the garlands in is, is mm. lovely. Yeah. And that again, the garlands you've got, you could use on a birthday card. Yep. That doesn't specifically have to be Christmas. Yep. So you can see on that. And look at this gorgeous card here as well. Uh, this is beautiful. This is a lovely one. Let me see. It's Kathy. Uh, look how lovely that is. So you've got that wonderful, wonderful detail in there as well. Amazing. But don't buy it. Don't buy it on its own because we can and we will do better. For one, for two, for all three. You're coming in already on this. Let's just, let's just yep. go for it. So that now means that you're one element you what let's say your christmas tree that should be 5.99 on its own you are now getting the bells and the baubles for free which is stunning so literally pulling out all the stops all the bells and whistles here at five pound 99 well done erica and kath and andrea lisa's is there uh, leslie we've got uh, I, I literally can't keep up with you karen kathleen i own as soon as i say a name there's about three more that come in John, best of luck. Well done. You've got yours actually now. Uh, people are multi buying. Why wouldn't you? What a fantastic. That in itself is a present for somebody, isn't it? And you paid $1.99 in essence for that. Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. So if you get both bundles, you're getting six stencils, you're paying for two. You're getting 12 stencils. You're getting 12 stencils. Sorry. There's two in each packet. Thank 12 you. 12 stencils. It's a good job you're here. That's John. crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Really quick. So 12 stencils yep. and you're paying for four. Yeah. It's bonkers. Love it. We are kicking off Christmas with In style. In style, definitely. Imagine what's going to happen on Tuesday. It's going to be bonkers. <laughs> it's going to be... I hope we start... I'm with you Tuesday morning on the morning show. So uh, that will be very exciting. Is that right, Ruth? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm here, there and everywhere at the moment. Keep checking out on those because they are fantastic. Just, Just everything for you today now something completely different that i've i've not brought to you and i've never seen before we've got some 3d ornament dies these are really really interesting actually and the scenes again are spectacular really detailed absolutely gorgeous um, and again we're going to show these to you one by one i'm going to start with the um uh, with the christmas village yep let's start with the christmas village and i'll show you everything that you're getting in here so this is your christmas village um and I'm, I'm going to show you the kind of i'm going to set the scene with what you're seeing here so on the side there that is the scene that you are going to be able to create on this one um, and you can literally and just to give you an idea there as well there's different ways you can you can work with that beautiful christmas scene uh, you can obviously put that onto your cards onto your boxes if you want to that's showing you a different way of setting it so that's actually been set perhaps within a, sort of a dome there you could create that maybe you've got that element at home maybe you're going to see yeah. that as we move forward uh, to, to the christmas shows uh, but that is showing you one way of using it this is what you're getting if i show it to you on the back 
So you can see how that's kind of broken down into your um, into your different elements on this. So this is a this it's, it's a die set. You might be able to get, as I said, that O uh, to, to kind of that dome to kind of place it within. Uh, but it's really, really quite lovely. And again, there's a lot going on in there, isn't there? Yeah, if you're familiar with our edgeable range, it's a little bit like that mm. where you've got one edge of that die that doesn't have a cutting edge. So it yeah. stays attached to your card. So it allows you to make sort of depth and perspective in your card. So you can layer one behind the other and create that sort of tunnel vision as if there's things going off into the distance. Yeah. You know, you can layer them up more than once. And then you also get stamps and sentiments in there with them as well. So that's just one idea. I've put that together and just cut my own aperture Lovely. into the front of the card and made that little sort of Christmassy village scene there. Gorgeous. But yeah. It's fabulous. That's £12.99 on its own, but don't buy it yet. Don't buy it yet. Uh, because what we're putting with these are absolute staple items, okay? Uh, and we will have a look at these in a bit more, more detail in a second. Uh, because also... I'm going to give to you, now this is made by Cats, producer Cats, done this in the break, <laughs> very quickly, you will have more time to do it, um, slightly more successfully, uh, but no, it's a good job, Cat, I just, you've just missed a little bit here, but you did do it in about three seconds flat, uh, we were chatting, this is true, you're making excuses for your handiwork, Cat, <laughs> um, very, very handy, very, very handy these are, I also like the little handle there. A little handle that's so cute uh, because obviously yeah and, and actually i like the fact that you've got your little tag so you can yep. keep everything organized you know what everything is and that brand name again totally tiffany great brand name on here so why on earth do you need that what do you need to pop in there what do you need to keep organized you need to fit you you know what well, you need do you know what you need you need your stamp pockets in there as well. You need your stamp pockets. So let's show these. So what sort of things can you pop into here then, Jan? So it could, you know, you could have a fab file. You could have one with embossing folders in. You could have one with die sets in. You could have one with papers in. There's, there's no limit to what you can keep in here. And they've got the little tab on yep. so that you can actually pop a label in there. But these are designed, you know, you guys have met Tiffany. I know she did a, a show with you a little while ago. And she is a crafter at heart. So these yep, have been designed it. by somebody that crafts. Yep. Yeah. to serve a purpose yeah so the fact that you've got exactly what you need in there to store whatever it is you need so it may be that you have all your sets of stamps for a particular theme if you've got lots of flower stamps you might want to keep them all together in that little folder yeah. pop a little note on the ticket in the top so that you know what it is pull it on and off your shelf when you need it you might want to keep all your sentiments together things like that there might be uh, a set of papers that you want to keep in there there's no limit really as to what you can fit in those little pockets no. very durable yeah. And as I say, very useful. It might not even be craft related, Ruth. I mean, you no. might want to keep receipts or something like that in it. You know, so you could take it away from the craft room and it could be something to do with an office or like you say, you paperwork things yep, like that absolutely yeah. and we're going to do an amazing amazing price point on these as yeah. well we're at two pounds 99 uh, for those fantastic stamp pockets so they they're made to fit perfectly yep. within that box so you are going to be able to create everything uh, that you want to in terms of your organization on those so two pounds 99 lots of you checking out again on these already which is fabulous i'm just going to tuck my talk back on there because it's uh, it's it's been such a busy day my batteries has it out. given up the girls it's given up the girls has so it given up the girls really it's really quiet and lovely in my head right now <laughs> I've got cat there I've got Adam there is this you know, uh, oh, <laughs> I don't know what they're saying right now and then we've got your five by seven yep. magnetic sheets now again they will fit into your box so in terms of the point of these bring well obviously you've, you've bought many different dies today and we've seen that happening how are you going to keep them how are you going to organize them pop them on one of those magnetic sheets so you can keep all of those together if you've got a particular series you might have, <laughs> we saw your hand. Uh, if you want to perhaps keep, maybe you've got a, a Christmas theme again, maybe you want your baubles on one, maybe yep. you want your, your elves on another one, it's completely up to you. But they will also fit perfectly into here so actually it's a great way it's a great system of keeping different themes together as well yeah these are great for your sets that are actually stamp and die sets together so yeah you could keep your stamps in that clear pocket and then pop your metal dies on the magnetic sheep and keep each one together so that you've got a, a you know sort of like we showed you earlier we've got uh, a lot of the stamps come with the metal to cut out those da those uh, elements that you've stamped so this is a great way of sort of keeping them together and keeping mm. track of what you've got in there yeah yeah they're fantastic 
But we are bringing these to you right now. And again, this isn't, this isn't Christmas focused. We're doing a massive Christmas sale today. Nothing about that is Christmas focused. This is a staple. This is a need in your life. This is your organizational tool. And by the way, can I just say the box, those five sort of um, plastic wallets. Plastic wallets, thank you, Jan. <laughs> uh, the, I was going to say envelopes, kind of there. The five magnetic, magnetic sheets and, I don't know where I put it. And here we go. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to sleep well tonight. Oh, I am. My wordy. And your Christmas, <laughs> Christmas dance and your Christmas village. Yeah. All of those. <laughs> it's going to be on TikTok, that is. Uh, and <laughs> all of those for one amazing price. We should be doing all of this for £25.46. All I know is we're not. We're not. We are not. You are going to get the chance to get the box, the plastic wallets, the magnetic sheets and the stamp and, uh, uh, and the die, sorry. That on its own was twelve ninety nine. I literally so don't all know what's those going core core elements that we're going to use over and over again, we're not paying for. No, all of that's free of charge. Absolute all craziness, isn't it? Your storage system, totally yep. Tiffany storage, with the five individual wallets in there, and again you've got the little tabs yep. and your five magnetic sheets. Yep. Free of all charge. All sorted. That's incredible. That is an incredible price for those, isn't it? Yeah. I'm loving yep. today. Apps. I hope you are at home as well. You clearly are. Um, only problem is, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I've got to say there's 50. 50, that's it. And people will multi-buy on it. Why wouldn't you multi-buy? Yeah. I mean, 25 in baskets straight away. If everyone checks out, that's off stock gone. Well done, Linda. Linda! Linda's in capital letters. She's very important. <laughs> Beverly, Kate, Michelle, Rachel, Angela, Wendy, Tara, Shirley. A name comes in, checks out. Somebody else is there. 12.99. All of that is free of charge. All of that. Five magnetic sheets. You've got five folders in there. You've got the box. They all go into that. That is all free. I love storage as well. Yes. It just keeps oh. everything neat, doesn't it? You can yeah. put, you put your hands on it in a second. And as I say, with the little tag, you've got the, the, the little handle so you can pull it on and Brilliant. off the shelf. Or again, you know, if you're out and about and you want to take a set of things with you, you could take it out. Lovely. They're, so yep. They're great. They are great. Perfect. Put me sandwiches in that. Uh, £12.99. <laughs> I tell you what, Jan, do you fancy doing that deal again? Shall we do it again? Yeah, Shall we swap the die? Swap the Shall die. Shall we swap the die out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See what we can do with it. See the what next we one. can muster up. I tell you what then. And it comes just so you know, it does come flat packed yes. like that. And then you just put it together. De honestly, they're so simple. Kat did it. So, so simple. Really easy. <laughs> really easy to, to put together. There she is, look. Dead simple. Uh, let's do away in a manger. Again, very, very again. typically Christmas, Gorgeous. isn't it? Gorgeous. Yep. This is beautiful. And again, if you want to buy that on its own, you can. Uh, absolutely for £12.99. And again, just to say, this is what you're getting. I'll show that to you on the reverse like such. So that's your yep. scene. That's the scene that you're getting in there. Your classic nativity that you can see. All the different elements of there as well. You've got the star. Uh, absolutely beautiful. And then if I flip that over, so you can see that's what you're going to be able to create. If you then wanted to go forward a different day, and, and maybe you've got hold of the uh, the kind of the globe design on that, you could put it inside that. That's, yep. that's not a part of this. That is what you're getting. But it just gives you a lovely suggestion. I love the way that, 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 that sort of Crafters Companion always do this. They give you ideas on there as well yeah. which is amazing not saying you won't ever see that you might do christmas is starting on tuesday but just so you know what you're getting on us all to be clear it's this fantastic nativity scene and i love the way that that's been been colored up so you've got yeah. obviously you can see the blue it's it's kind of the, some of the classic colors you were so just, with the blue just with cut Mary it in different the... colored card it's a great one for using up scraps yeah. and things like that and then just layer them up over so so simple to do but again really effective when they're actually finished they're just gorgeous. And actually, I'm, I'm kind of pointing that to you, but you're not just getting, obviously, you've got the figures that you kind of know there, uh, sort of as, as Mary and Joseph. You've got the, the, the crib, obviously, with the baby Jesus. You are, you are also getting uh, the, uh, is it the three kings? Or you're getting a couple, let me just have a little look on that. So you're getting, you're getting a couple of the kings and you're getting some, I think, the, is it the kings and the shepherd? You've got a staff on there, haven't you, as well? So, oh, there's loads of... And look at the background. Goodness me. This is amazing, the more... Sorry. I just... Look, look at the back on that as well. So, so that's get... stencil, that bit. So you get a stencil with it as well, which no. allows you to create extra layers. So, so dies to cut out the layers, and then there's stencils to create. So the one that I did, if you look right yeah. in the back, Ruth, you can see the tree line in the background. Oh, yes. It's stenciled in there, right in the background. That in the back? 
Yeah, that, so they give you stencil. options. And there's usually a couple of different designs oh, on the wow. stencil to actually bring. So you can make your own scenes. And each one could look different, doing it in different colours, maybe adding your texture paste in there, your glitter paste in there. No end of possibilities for building <laughs> these little scenes. I'm, I'm She's being, going in. I can't help it. I'm She's going, going in. in, aren't you? It, I, 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 I can't because that's just, that's way, way, way more than I ever thought. Yep. Because so that's your main part of the right, die there. there you go. So you. there's your die. Like I referred to the little edge. So the bottom yeah. edge doesn't cut, so that will oh stay attached. My goodness. And then in there, you've got that lovely little oh. scene builder with the uh, the stencil there. Right. I'm going to show that to you. On oh. um, just finding something that's slightly go. dark. Oh, thank you. There we go. So you can see. Yeah. So That's you can create that lovely scene. You've got the stars for the sky at the bottom oh. there. You've got the little palm trees or, you know, depending on what kind of background you want, you've got a minimum of three layers there. You yeah. can always add more to it if you want to add an extra king in there. Just die cut that extra one. Absolutely. They're really good fun to play with these. And each one would look different depending on how yeah. you put it together, what colours you use, what background you use with it. Yep. I'm, I'm actually shocked by that now. And we've not done there, have we? Because we're throwing no. in the storage with it as well. I mean, it's, This it's just goes shocked. on and on and on, doesn't it? <laughs> wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. And don't forget, you're also Crazy. getting... I'm going to pop that back. You're only going to be paying for that die and, and the stencil uh, set, which, again, at $12.99, I think that, that's a mega deal in, in, in itself. You're also going to get the flat-packed box, which, when you've made it up, looks like this. That'll be free of charge. Within there as well, you're also going to get your five magnetic sheets. You're also going to get your five pockets, sleeves, folders, whichever you want to call them. Which <laughs> don't put you no, don't put your bread in there and chuck them in the toaster. That will not work. Uh, but it might be you might have one to put some of your little instruction leaflets in. You might have one uh, sort of with with some of the um, when you get your when you get your stamps and you get your sentiments on the back of it. It tells you what everything is. Yeah. It's totally up to you. you or even just batch making. If you're maybe stamping out sentiments, stamp a few out, cut them out, right. keep them in Pop the pockets in so you've got them ready. Yeah. It's just, I mean, that, so you're getting all of that. Endless possibilities Free. there, aren't there? That is absolutely, these, I love these. Yep. They're amazing. I'm going to show you some more of these designs as well in a second. Should we do one more? One more. Should we squeeze? Now, this we definitely shouldn't be doing like this. It won't quite be the same because it honestly, on its own, it really shouldn't be. Uh, but we're going to do something still fabulous. Because, oh, look at this, on its own. Should be sixteen ninety nine. So you, you know where your bundle price is going to go straight yep. away. So again, you've got fabulous, fabulous opportunities with this one. You've got this wonderful background stencil. I'll flip it around so you can see. And the Christmas tree. Christmas is not complete without your tree. So if I flip that over, you can see in there just to save me opening that one up. Uh, you've got your Christmas tree in that one. This is this is a lovely, lovely one again, isn't it? A lot in there. And look at your stencil. You've yes. got the chimney. Yep. The fireplace. Fireplace. You've got yep. a little fire in there as well. There's a heck of a lot. It's just really good fun to build them and look at where, where do you want is. to take that particular design. It's just giving you all the different pieces. Isn't and then all wonderful? you've got to do is decide on your card shape or your project, whatever it is that you're going to work on. I'm, I'm literally stunned by these. They are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Uh, so a lot in there to share with you. Um, and again, we are still going to do your bundle deal. We're still going to bring to you absolutely free of charge all of this. So you've got your box, which looks like that when it's made up. You can do that home dead easy. Yep. Uh, all fits together perfectly. You've got the little tab. Someone's just put nine in the basket. Don't blame you. Especially when you're getting all of these. This is great. Even if, you, if you're thinking, okay, well, I'm going to get, therefore, I'm going to get three of the, uh, the dies and stencils, you will give these away as gifts. Absolutely, you will give these away as gifts. That was the one that we just done as well, just if you wanted a little uh, reminder. You've got the little, uh, the, the <laughs> just covering you, Adam, always there with you. You've got the handle, obviously, if you want to have that uh, to take with you, or to obviously organize those and be able to pull them off the shelf these are free totally tiffany storage for free is crazy you've got five individual uh, little plastic wallets in there you've also got five not one just not one or two but five of your magnetic sheets to keep all of those dies nice and organized if you want to buy more of those you can but when they're in a bundle today they're free they're free free 16.99 for your Christmas tree, which for E, absolutely well done. And of course, if you haven't yet used your 15% discount code, 
chuck that in yeah, as well. It just gets better and better. It? it must be Christmas room. It absolutely it must be is with Christmas. all these deals. Totally. So those codes again, you've got for you 15 or you've got friend 15. 15. If you haven't used that already, Friday, Saturday, um, go for it today because it's your last day today until just about a minute before midnight and then they will expire. Uh, so very, very well done on those. This is my, literally my head spinning so so much on all of those just make sure you are checking out definitely worth getting all three they are absolutely gorgeous so just keep checking out on all of these they are i've just i'm just surrounded by loveliness simple as that uh, right keep checking out on those because now we've got something else oh, something else jan sick of breath we've still got some more left yet we're not we finished have. yet we've got some and i am going to demo in a second i yes, promise you are. <laughs> we just want to get all that information out there for you and then we'll actually demo as well Yes, we shall let... Uh, I feel as care. if I'm not pulling my weight today, Rue. Well, I've, I've, it's funny, isn't it? Because I feel bad because I feel like I'm just doing all of this and I feel like... There's oh, such a lot to share with all is. our customers and we just yep. want to get all that information Exactly. Across. Too much, which is gorgeous. These are one of my favourites, so, these. I love these. They are beautiful. Yeah. Which one do you want to do first of all, darling? The bottom ones. The poinsettia, the winter blessings and the ring out the bells. Tell you what, why break the habit of a lifetime? Let's go individually first. <laughs> <laughs> Is this repetitive today? I like it. I love this one. Absolutely love that. Festive <laughs> poinsettia. I feel it's very Christmassy because I feel like we're also verging on panto. <laughs> what do we say? <laughs> don't, don't buy don't it. Don't buy it. <laughs> so we'll have to do it again then, won't we? Um, oh my gosh, Kat, where do you watch your pantos? Birmingham Hippodrome. Oh, I didn't know because it hink because I was I grew up in Hinkley and the um, and the pantomime. Like, it's there's some classic things that you kind yeah. of that, that's one of them. That I've seen that in them, Sheffield as well. Yeah, yeah. With the mop. We'll have, to do, we'll have to do it again then, won't we? Brilliant, absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Uh, so your festive poinsettia. There's such such wonderful detail on this one again making those festive creations really really stand out so you've got these wonderful wonderful dies in here again there are so dies and stamps again yeah the dies are split in this one as well okay. which gives you again different options and i like that about as i say this no, is I one do. of my favorite collections that we've brought today you get sort of two separate edges so rather mm -hmm. than one whole die that cuts out the image you may want to cut that on the outside edge of your card and cut the right hand side of it away you may want want to fold back your card and cut it on the left hand side cut the left hand side away you may want to use them together and cut it out in its entirety so mm. you've got three options in one packet with those dies the way that they've been designed and then there's a smaller element yes. with each one yep. that's got its own die to cut it out as well and I'll show you that we're going to demo these yep. in a little while yeah they are beautiful and you've got Merry Christmas you've got festive greetings um, really haven't got my glasses on. There's some From lovely sentiments our home in there. to yours. Yep. And then it's the most wonderful time of the year. Dun, 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 dun. Back to that waltz yeah. again, aren't we? Well, <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. So 40, <laughs> 14 pounds 99. Don't buy it because you've also got two more to choose from you won't have to choose trust me you won't have to choose um when choose you lose there you go uh now winter blessings we're going to see a demo with this in a second these are really pretty as well those gorgeous florals you can see in there and broken down again into many many different elements use these all year round they don't have to be just for christmas at all on that one with your winter blessings you can see that again at the back you've got wishing you join laughter winter blessings have a wonderful christmas celebrate the magic of christmas i don't know how i've just read all of that don't buy it and i'll show you that in a second oh these are lovely as well ring yep. out those oh ring out the bells. those bells yeah gorgeous i mean great for weddings Great but I was just thinking that, yeah, I mean, if there is any sort of elements of holly and that in there, just, just snip that away and, yeah. and sort of decorate it and maybe add some of your own foliage in there. Like you said, you've got a wedding card, an anniversary mm. card, whatever. Yeah, They're yeah. Fast. And I love the, these. The sentiments really on do. there, you've got joy to the world, you've got sending Christmas cheer, as I say, sending Christmas share. She's not, she's not around at Christmas. <laughs> Uh, we, <laughs> maybe next year. Uh, you've got ring out those bells and you've got da, your Christmas thing jingle your christmas may your christmas jingle there you go don't buy it because i want you to have all of these together should be coming in at 44 pound 97 there's a lot of detail the dies are fabulous the stamps are amazing heck of a lot of them in terms of the designs the sentiments do you fancy going under 20 
We're going to do it. Three. My yeah, goodness. All three. Here we go again, look. Instead of £45, back up. Instead of 45 we are going down to 90 99 There is just so, so much in there. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And like we said, if you look at the bells, cut away the holly. If you don't want that little Christmas touch on there, poinsettias are just beautiful anyway. And the florals, for any day yep. of the year, literally. Yep. Colour it up different, looks totally different, yeah. That's you know, so, this, if so you gorgeous. like your colouring, these are beautiful to colour. But if you're not a colourist, stamp onto pattern paper. So you can always stamp straight onto yep. a pattern paper and cut them out that way. You don't have to colour them in. You can stamp onto pattern paper and add a little bit of highlight with some colour. So many different ways of using them. And having those dice to cut them out as well does save time instead of having to fussy totally. cut all the way around them, yeah? They're utterly gorgeous. Oh, and look at this. You could do a shaker card. Who's that? So that uh, card was from Kerry. I've got another one here from Leslie. Oh, shake it. Shake it. Shake it. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? So you've got all of the shaker elements in there as well. So beautiful. I love really the detail pretty, on these. Isn't it? Amazing. Yeah. So for £19.99. I've got one more bundle. I've got one more fabulous epic bundle. Um, let's just do it. Let's do, tell you what, let's just do the bundle because otherwise. I'll, yeah, it's 26. I know. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Jan. Don't worry. So, I mean, I know no, you. We need to get anyway. that information across, don't Absolutely. we? I know people seem to be enjoying the show, so uh, oh, well, I, I, we've got yeah. lots of. I just see it get the names just keep coming up, don't they, on the screen at the side? I know. Cause... It's crazy. Uh, right, okie dokie. Am I? Let me have a little look. It might be here somewhere. Knowing me, I've put it somewhere. Uh, we'll have a little look in a minute. Uh, so you've got three. There we go. So I'll bring you the pictures. So we've got, uh, we've got festive banner. We've got cozy by candlelight, and I've got. Did you miss one? I'm missing one. Christmas bow. Mm. Who's run off with me bows? Uh, well, it's okay because I can show you a card by Leslie just so you can see that one. That's, that's your Christmas bow. Again, so many different words. You've got, oh, you see, I like this. With the festive banner, you've got single words as well. So you've got bright and happy, merry to you, Christmas, joy, peace, have a holly jolly Christmas. My word, season's greetings. The set, that's like yeah. sentiment city. I, to be it. honest, even though I love these for the actual um, images on there as well, but yeah, they I are do. a go-to for the centre. There's a lovely, across this whole collection wow. of them, there is a lovely range of sentiments in these. Yeah. They're they often are. my go-to ones for Christmas cards. Yeah. Look at that Beautiful, as well. Beautiful, aren't they? Just, I just can't believe everything that you'll get. The candles are gorgeous as yeah. well. So you've got sending warm wishes. You've got time for cosy nights by candlelight. That is lovely. Stand up, you. There we go. Uh, so I think we should do a demo. <laughs> 19, I'm almost out of words, which is very unusual for me. So 19.99 again for all three of those. They are apps that they're just jam pack full. So you've got your stamps, you've got your dies. Jan, it's over to you. Mostly. Over to me, right. <laughs> We're going to do that winter blessings one because I just think this is a really nice one. And like Ruth said, you know, yes, there are little elements of um, mistletoe and things in there, but just coloured up differently. There's no, uh, no end of possibilities. Yeah. So each set brings you a set of um, stamps and there is one really large and then a smaller one. And then you've got all those beautiful, I love the sentiments in here. There's a really nice range. And then, like I said, you've got the... Um, the dies split into two parts so for example if I just take these off because we're going to use these in a second anyway yeah you can actually if I use the back of there you've got the die which will allow you to cut around we just get it the right way around so you might want to just cut this away and have this part attached to your yeah. card They're you may size, decide they? yeah that you want to cut this side away and have this side attached to your card doing them together which is what we're going to do we're going to create a topper and then you get the full die for that smaller element so what I was going to do was stamp that out for you just to show you because like you've just said Ruth they are a good size mm. that main element there on the uh, and they're all like this they're all got a really nice sort of decent sized element in there so I'm just going to stamp out that main one again I've got one that's partially done we do need some ink she says there we go so again I'm just going to ink this up and I want to show you how we can cut this as well mm -hmm. So your chosen ink, like I said before, just be mindful of what you're going to use as a colouring medium to get your stamping ink right to start with. And then transfer that down 
whether you're using your stamping platform, whether you like an acrylic block, a rocker block, however you decide you want to stamp, you can actually get that image down. Mm -hmm. So lots of pressure on there just to get it to transfer. And I'm just using some smooth cardstock. You can just see how I've got a little tiny bit missing there. Yep. That ink will still be on your stamp. So literally just press where that should be and it fills in. That's why I like to use this particular system. Okay. And then again, we can take that away. And I'm just going to add a little bit of colour in here just to show you the colours. I had a look uh, at Christmas roses and had a look to see which um, colours they were. And honestly, it came up beautifully. So we actually came up with like a shade of green. So I've just got my tri-blends here. And I do actually need a scrap of card to go underneath there just to rest on. But all I'm going to do here is just take my colours and I'm not going to colour the whole thing in. Obviously, the centre was like that greeny colour. And then I'm literally just going to take really quickly, no skill involved here, I'm just flicking that pen. I wrong, I turn your artwork round so that I'm going in the same yeah. direction with the lighter one and then I'm going to go round again avoid the centre this time but just add that slightly darker shade and that literally in the middle of all the flowers that is all I'm going to do so you can just see there how quick that's come together and then I chose a different green um, where are we so we'll go with that one just to add some colour into the leaves. So again, wherever you want to go with this, if you like to use your colouring pencils, I know last time I was here, I bought you those lovely Aqua Blend pencils. It may be that that's your go-to. Just change your stampinging out to uh, a waterproof ink. Mm -hmm. It may be that you want to go down the route of um, sparkle pens, something like that. So many different ways of doing this. But again, all I did was just go through some different greens and add that detail in yeah. there. And you can and just see how you can build up these designs and if I bring the one in that I've done and finished at home you can just see the vibrancy there of those so I wanted to get this ready because like I said earlier the colouring does take a wee while to do and you'll have plenty of time to spend on that at home but now what I want to do is just show you how the dies work so again I need a couple of bits of tape at the ready now the little one self-explanatory because that one just fits around your image so at the top here all I'm going to do is make sure that you write over the top of your image and you should be able to see all of your image inside the die and then tape it into place okay. now these two like I said if you're wanting to do this on the edge of a card and leave part of it intact you might just use one side of the die nice. now I actually want to cut this out as a topper to go on my design so all I'm going to do again is line this up so that I can still see that line art inside my stamp. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to pop, make sure that this is taped in place because you don't want that bit to move. No. And then I'm going to use the other one at the same time. If you prefer to cut them separately, you can, but they don't actually touch. So this one goes this way. And again, if we just slot it into the gap and line it up so that I can see the outside of that image and once you're happy with it get it stuck into place okay now those two dies aren't actually touching at the top here right so it's not going to be a problem as far as die cutting is concerned mm -hmm. so I just need to grab my plates there pop that on and then we need one two I don't need my metal shim at the moment and then pass that through our die cutting machine so I'm just going to slide that through the Gemini yep. and that's going to cut that and that all I'm going to do is just my little snips just to snip those two top and bottom where the dies didn't quite me and the reason for that is because because of the pressure in the Gemini here the last thing we want is your dies to overlap because the pressure is going to damage the metal yep. work so just to leave that little tiny bit top and bottom gives you the chance for that not to happen so to move those out of the way there the little one, as I say, is self-explanatory because that one just cuts that whole yeah. image out, oh, like okay. so. So again, you've got, you, could, you might use these on the corners of a project. How nice would that look on the flap of an envelope as well? Oh, wow. So you could decorate your envelope to match with it. It's and awesome. then again, this side, I'm going to take the dies away and then just snip into that last little bit just to release it from 
that cardstock there. So again, just get rid of those out of the way. And I'm ripping everything as I'm going, honestly. <laughs> I'm not worried. I don't want that bit. So, oh, that one's actually connected there. At the bottom there, if it's not quite connected, just take your little snips and release it there. Yeah. And you can see there again, you've got that beautiful image to work with there. OK, so to just pop this together then to make a design for you to actually put it as a card, I've taken card blank. Yeah, I've just created myself some uh, some detail to go on the top. And this is one of our older uh, embossing folders. Lovely. It's just I know I've done it in white, which is not easy for you to see, is it? it says, oh, come all you faithful. It's got the music Aww. score on it again, which is a really nice one. You can oh, just wow. see yep. that there. So again, we're going to use that tape pen. Pop that onto the card. I've just popped a little bit of ribbon round for extra mm -hmm. detail. And then we're literally going to make those flowers the focal point on the card. Now, I have got a card all finished because I did take it to a slightly different level when, uh, when I finished it off. So I'm going to pop that here. I'm going to show you where I was heading with this. I was going to go here with this one and then offset this one at the other side, like so. But what I did with my one at home that I've made, I've stamped this more than once. And for the second layer, I took this flower, this one and this one, and just cut those out. Okay. And the third time, I've just done the big flower and nice. then done some decoupage. And then just before I actually finished it together, I've gone round the outside of all the petals with a little bit of glitter. Because oh, it's Christmas, nice. we can bring some glitter in and you end up with this kind of uh, effect as the finished sample. Wow. So I don't know whether you can pick up here that there is a little bit of dimension yep. under that edge there. You can just see... And then, as I say, there's just, if it just catches the light, there's a little bit of glitter around the edges of the, uh, the flowers there. But yeah, really, really pretty. It's Unusual colours for Christmas, but I just thought yeah. that was really, really fresh. And again, just one way of using those. That's fabulous. Okay. I mean, Christmas, wedding card again, christening, baptism, yep. anything like that. Yep. That I mean, in the packet, so cool. I've got some that I actually, I always keep these just in case, but these are some that I coloured up previously for another project that didn't get used. But just look how different it oh, looks wow. done in a different colourway. So pretty. So that's got like a very pale peach tone on that yep. one. And again, looks as different again. Totally. So it's all about the different colours and your backgrounds wow. and, and what you want to do with them. Because I guess you could go cla you could go really classic Christmas with that and you could go full on red. And Absolutely. Reds and greens and golds yep. and what a completely different look yep. uh, as opposed to that which is perhaps a little bit more subtle. A bit more contemporary, classic, yeah. yeah. Totally different. Beautiful. Look, we've bought you so many deals today, so many opportunities. Um, something from the start of this hour did sell out. Uh, our stencil bundles. I'm not surprised they were... Naughty. Crazy Naughty. price there, wasn't they? They really were. Kat's been on the phone. She went very quiet. She's been on the phone. Last minute favour. We may have just grabbed you a few more. Now, Ooh, wow, literally, yeah. Literally, only 40 more. That is it. That's everything. So the first bundle, you've got the bells, the, the, the holly and the poinsettia. Uh, so they were absolutely, I mean, they're, they're amazing. So this is, oh, there's a one. Let me show this to you again. A just crazy deal. Uh, no, that's the second one. That's my tree. Uh, up higher, there we go. So the holly, <laughs> it's been a busy day. Holly, poinsettia and the Christmas stencil and uh, bells. So you've got, you, you've got six stencils there, don't forget, because you've got the main, uh, uh, sort of the main image, if you like, either or really, you kind of classic background image in your main image. So there's two stencils on your bells. You've got two on the poinsettia, two on the holly. You can still buy them for £5.99 each on the web. I don't want you to do that. I want you to get all of these three, which is actually six, don't forget. You're back background and your main focal stencil so you've actually got six there for the most ludicrous ludicrous low I think we've done 5.99 so basically 1.99 for two basically a pound a stencil yeah nuts absolutely not what would be Christmas nuts that would be would that be a walnut potentially maybe <laughs> just nuts <laughs> roasting on an open fire nuts whichever whichever you want to <laughs> Monkey nuts, they're quite a, those long sort of wobbly ones. Uh, five pound ninety nine, amazing. Elaine, Helen, Mandy, Hazel, Carol, Rosemary, Pauline, very well. I just like a salted peanut myself. Ellen, well done. Crazy opportunity. I don't have anywhere near the quantity of stock we had first time round when they've sold out. We've managed to get you about forty more of those, but that is it. They will go. If you're grabbing those though, get the other bundle. Did we manage to get quantity of the other bundle? Yeah, okay, we did. Uh, brilliant. She got that. She got that. So the other bundle, so I've just put 
somewhere here is, <laughs> is wowzers. My husband's going to love it when I go home today because I'm going to be so quiet. <laughs> um, you've got the bells again. The bells are there, so you could give that to a friend if you wanted to. You've also got Christmas baubles. You've got the Christmas tree. So once again, you've got two, four, six stencils. And again, fabulous price point, £5.99. So you've got your main stencils. You've got the background stencils. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So you're looking at about, I say, Pat, you're basically looking kind of at 99p yep. to make it even more wonderful. It's around 99p per stencil. Who, who has ever bought a stencil like that of some of these sizes for that price? Christmas, Christmas has come early. We're starting again on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. I mean, honestly, today has been back to back, deal after deal after deal after deal and it's not over because even when we pop off in a few minutes time you've then got nearly six hours left to keep adding all of this to your basket for one set of post and packaging even though we're not here and i will say when you go onto the web if it says sold out if it's these or if it's the uh, the big mystery uh, um, a bag that we did if it says sold out don't believe it necessarily okay because that would be the first quantity Click, if you can't click on it, call the call center just to double check because some of them will have quantity in there. These, I think, are going to go pretty quick because there's only 40. There might not be many of the uh, mystery bags left, but we do have some. I'll, I'll show those to you again. But it's worth the phone call. It's a free phone number anyway, 0800 001 4433. Free phone number. So you might as well just give it a quick tinkle, have a chat and say, are there any there? They're here 24 seven. Uh, they're, they're not like, they're not here for 24 hours, by the way. We're not, we're not that cruel, uh, but it's manned 24 hours. Uh, right, okay. So let's, let's finish where we started, shall we? We may as well start at the very big get another song. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be all sung out when I go home tonight. Right, if you want to keep this a mystery, well, well, as in you don't want to know, I'm going to flash it very, very quickly. So turn away now, put your fingers in your ears. That won't really matter, just turn away now. You turned away, shut your, shut your eyeballs. Okay, this is a quick flash of what you're potentially going to get from this mystery bag. It, and I'll be very honest, this is a very good representation of what you're gonna get. There might be one element that's slightly different, there might not be, but generally that is what you're going to get. Um, did I mention you might actually be getting cards and envelopes in here as well? Like six by six, oh, I should be saying that, are you really shut? Six by six printed cards and envelopes, 10 pack in there, 240 GSM. Amazing, 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 amazing. But this bundle should be, the value, Value in here da -da -da, is £101, just over, over £101 in there. You are only paying today £29.99. You're basically paying for those two. That is it. Everything else, freebies. Free, 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 free. So that's over 70% free for you today. Even if you're going to split the whole lot up and give them to friends and family, brilliant. But I think you want the whole lot for yourself as well. So keep checking out on those. You're not limited. People are buying five, sixes of those. Keep checking out. You've got until midnight for one set of posting packaging. Jan, you are a joy and a pleasure as ever. Thank you so much. It's been a blast and thank you. You've done a sterling job there, Ruth, honestly. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm I won't lie, I'm ready for a cuppa. Ready for, uh, yeah, for, for ready a lie down, I think. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> been lovely, honestly. I've really enjoyed it. And I'm just glad that we can bring all those exactly. bargains. Exactly. It's been amazing. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us. Don't forget, we'll be back with you bright and early in the morning. Uh, here's me in bed, actually. Uh, back with you at 6 a.m. Take care and thank you for joining us. I almost forgot, we've got a brand new show starting on Hobby Maker, Monday to Friday from 6am until 8am, featuring loads of new things. The Early Bird Special, a special offer only available during the Wake Up to Hobby Maker show, Who the Hobby Maker Are You, a slightly extended interview with our guest designers, Help Me Hobby Maker, encouraging you to email in with all of your crafting queries, and a sneak peek the final 20 minutes of the show, letting you know what's coming up later on in the day. So don't forget to join us. Set your alarms 6am until 8am on Hobby Maker. I think I'll get five more Zs in. David, David, wake up. What are you doing? I'm catching some rays and having a pina colada. There's no time to laze around. Christmas is coming to Hobby Maker. It's June. I know, only six months to go. Up you get, my friend.
There's a lot of love for Santa at Hobbymaker.